Good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street. My name is Vicky. We are feeling all a bit, well, a bit strange today, the, the day after the party. I must say, yesterday, I feel like it was all just a bit of a blur. It was the most amazing day ever. So thank you so much for everybody who sent in lovely messages, everybody who just was, was watching and keeping us company all day because it was a brilliant, brilliant extended day. I had the best time. And yeah, we were saying, oh, we don't want to have the, the baby shower blues. So we've got Alice and Marion here. We're gonna go to a tropical island this first hour. We've got tropical fabrics. I put on my tropical fabric dress as well. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep the, uh, the joy going because it just felt so so lovely even though obviously the, 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 we have to still be really careful and it's not normal yet it was just really nice to be able to see John Scott there and Hannah McCain through the uh, through the window and Paul and everybody it was just so lovely so Alison said she watched from home and she said oh it really came across from home just that we we're all part of the party so i hope you felt that too that's exactly what we wanted we're going to go through the answers as well in a bit by the way of all of the uh the babies the the baby guess the babies emma wasn't here yesterday so emma it'll be good for you to see if you can guess any of them as well right shall we start with today's early bird we've got gutterman threads a massive thread pack now this is already called a value pack and today it's the early bird special and you're saving four pound which basically means you are looking at your p and p off aren't you there you go your p and p is paid for the day with this saving um, remember it's only one p and p all day anyway is that tom rickles in first one today morning hen thank you do you know i haven't worn this is was my friend's hand me down top and i haven't worn it for so 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 long and i saw it this morning i thought i know cats tell me we've got loads of tropical fabrics today so i thought right i'm going to a desert island i'm going to a tropical island today i'm wearing my tropical top um so you're getting 50 weight spools of gutterman thread all 10 100 meter spools and they're lovely colors as well aren't they for spring look at all these gorgeous yellows oranges greens the spearmint color the reds and the pinks the white and then i mean the value for money just in your spools is brilliant we'll go through that in a minute but you've also got 10 of your bobbin mates which are uh i call them bobbin mates bobbin clips they're designed to put your spool on the one side and then you've got your matching bobbin that you can put on the top there as well You'll never be without a matching bobbin. It's nice to be nice and organised, isn't it? Uh, we're all about organi getting organised. We're all about, you know, getting ready for spring and summer as well. These are such beautiful colours. And I suppose whether you want them to stand out or whether you're using them for piecing, where you want them to just soak into your fabrics, you've got a great array of colours there. So you can use them for applique and, and quilting and make them really stand out. But if you're doing EPP and hand stitching and you want them to just completely blend in any of your piecing, they're perfect for that. You can use them in your bobbin, you can use them in your machine. Uh, they are your Sew All Gutemann polyester threads. So the value for money, Let's just break it down a second in your uh, just your threads alone. So you're getting 10 spools here. What does that make our price per spool? £1.50. Well, £1.49. £1.49, which is already fantastic. You're then getting all of your bobbin clips as well. Big saving today. Oh, love the elephant cushion behind you. There's still some of the... Um, the instructions on their own available. I think all the kits sold out. If you type in Helen Newton on the website, in fact, all three cushions that you can see behind me, the elephants, the potting shed, and the sewing room, um, they were all, oh, so popular yesterday. And they're just so gorgeous. Let me move my head out of the way and you can see them there up close then. They have got the most beautiful free motion technique on them that just look all doodled. So have a look on the website. Oh, we still got the bunting up cat. Thank you. We took down the balloons and the uh, the confetti and things, but we thought, oh no, it looks all bare. It looks all bare. Sorry about all the confetti, Emma. She had to do all the vacuuming this morning and it was, um, yeah, it was a lot of confetti. Hello, Margaret. Good morning. Uh, it was a lovely day yesterday, Vicky, and you look so, uh, you look so radiant. You, today I look radiant. It's because I've had such a good sleep. I got home and Kat said the same. It isn't just because I'm pregnant. Kat said, um, Oh my word, I'm just exhausted. It's just the adrenaline of the day. It was just brilliant and the excitement. So we both, did you have a nap yesterday afternoon? No. 
Oh, yeah. I did. I went straight to bed about three o'clock yesterday and it was so lovely. And then I managed to get up for a couple of hours, have my dinner, and then I went back to bed. I've had a, I feel very radiant today. Uh, thank you for all your messages. Uh, looking so lovely today, Vicky. Oh, thank you, Caroline. Good morning, Vixen crew. I loved yesterday. Looking forward to today's show. Well, as I said, we've got the absolutely amazingly talented in more ways than one. Alison Marion is here um, to continue the lovely joyful celebration. So we've got a really nice show today. Um, Caroline says, I already have this. And she said, it's fab. I'm guessing that you mean the, uh, the, the thread pack. Good morning, Siobhan. Good morning, everybody. Come and say hello on Facebook Live. Get in touch with us. We want to make today as interactive as possible because it did lift all of our spirits, didn't it, I think, yesterday, just having that interaction and playing a few games. $14.99, I know lots of people who are buying multiples, lots of people buying multiples of today's early bird. 100 metres of your gorgeous, gorgeous thread. Oh, hello, Sue. Sue said, morning, mum and mama, baby. Mama, baby is going to be here today as well. Hope you slept well last night. I slept so well, Sue. I really did. Love your outfit. Looking forward to today's show. Love you all. Oh, we've had a, a nice little morning, actually, because obviously the, lots of charity shops and things aren't open. Kat had got <laughs> bags of clothes and all sorts because she's moving into a new home tomorrow. Um, so she's done a big sort out. So we had a good old raid through and we're like, yeah, I'll have that. I'll have that. I'll have that, please. So that was brilliant. Um, it's the most fun ever. We've had a lovely, really lovely um, little uh, finds today. I think Alison Marion's taken all of your bed sheets, hasn't she? She's going to make some twiles and some shirts out of them. Brilliant. Sophia said, morning, Vicky and crew. Yesterday was a lovely day and looking forward to today's show. Oh, it's going to be brilliant. Shall I show you what is coming up on today's show? We've got a jam-packed day for your Thursday lineup. Um, we've got tropical treats. This fabric uh, is absolutely beautiful. We've got bundles. We've got pattern fabrics. We've got linen mixes. We've got panels. We've got brand new fabrics all this first hour. At nine o'clock, Mama Baby, our Alison Marion is going to be here um, with the Everybody shirt, which you might have seen on Facebook. She put a picture of a lovely husband husband Mike um, wearing this top and she's going to teach us how to do you can't quite see it there but it's got really lovely pin tucks on the front there's some really lovely detail and I know Alison has the book that we're uh, that we're working from and she can't recommend it enough so we'll be talking through that one at nine o'clock ten o'clock We've got Sashko. We've got embroidery as well. So it's going to be a nice hand stitching show. We've got, um, we've got loads of great hand stitching uh, kits and threads and needles and frames and things like that. Uh, recently, we've had a lot of people who've been requesting more and more shows of hand sewing. I think it's just nice and therapeutic, isn't it? So uh, yeah, we're going to be talking all things hand sewing at 10 o'clock. 11. We are going to continue with the baby shower theme, the most adorable baby cuddle nest, which also sort of doubles up as a play mat as well. It's great. Look, there you go. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so it's Alison Marion's pattern. Uh, it, we've never seen it before. New pattern. And we've bundled it with some really, really lovely colours as well. Pattern is also selling. It's on pre-order and it's selling on its own at the moment. So if you do want to make the most of any of the kits, or the pattern, have a look on pre-order. At 12 o'clock, we've got some gifts, we've got sewing room tools, we've got lots and lots and lots. We've really raided the stock for that hour, so it's a, bit, a really, really busy hour uh, with lots of product in there, so do have a look through on the website on pre-order. If you do want to jump to the website, it's www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch us live, but you can also check out on any of the products that we have on today's show. Plus, we have lots of categories of different patterns and kits. As I said, the Helen Newton patterns. We also have a new kit section. So if you click kits, oh no, click it. Oh, normally this works. Normally you click it and it will break it down by designer. Have a go at home and let me know if it works on your computer. Um, it breaks it down by designer. So if you want Helen Newton, if you want Delphine, if you want Alison Marion, if you want... Oh, here we go. Did it work? There you go. 
Delphi, living in loveliness, village fabrics, which is Yvonne Makatamni. Amber makes the Rebecca, Rebecca Reed. The um, I think the tote bag kits might be on there. So it's definitely worth having a good look through as it's only one p and p all day. And then click on watch live for me, cat. Because if you scroll down, you'll then see a pre-order section on the right-hand side. Oh, well, it's it's there at the moment. It will be on the right-hand side when we get going. Um, this fabric is already selling out. Ooh, that's lovely, isn't it? We've got some great bundles in there. We've got some uh, real cool floral fabrics and quite uh, Aztec fabrics in there. Your camper vans, the panel. We love it all. So... Do make the most of the pre-order section, including the patterns for the, the baby carrier. It's all on there. Is the Liberty already sold out? Uh-oh. Right, that's coming up in the shirt hour. Um, the book is brilliant. The book is absolutely brilliant. If you do want to make yourself a nice, smart shirt. We're thinking at the moment, look, we are hopefully seeing a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel and lots of friends of mine and I know a lot of people who have had occasions that have been postponed, like weddings, uh, and where you want to wear a nice, smart shirt, and whether it be for a gent or for yourself um, or for, for a lady. So if you do want to make a beautiful shirt, Alison and Marion said that book just for the diagrams and the, the descriptions and the, the breakdown of how to make a shirt. She'd buy it for that alone. But there's loads of other garments in there as well. So, right, let's get going. Do you want to do the fabric that you said is almost sold out? These are brand new. So these came in and then Kat decided, do you know what? This is the inspiration for the whole hour. I want to do a whole tropical show. And this is so beautiful. Starting with this beautiful floral print. It's brand new in today and I think it will sell out today. Now it's 100% cotton. Half a metre is 6 .99. I love that it's got these teals in it as well as your corals. Brand new, half the stock already gone. Half of the stock has already gone. Um, just six pounds and 99 pence a half meter. It's 112 wide. It'd be really lovely for bag making. If you want to add some H640 to give it some more structure or if you want to, um, to make a shirt. Oh, in fact, it would look completely different if you were to do today's shirt in a fabric like this, your tropical Hawaiian style shirt, ready for all of the, uh, the picnics and things that we're gonna be able to enjoy this summer. Six pounds and 99 pence a half meter as I say this one is brand new in today and already selling very very quickly it's lovely and soft as well you really want a kimono Emma I'm really into the kimonos I think they're really lovely and they're very on trend and they're something that you can just chuck on and wear to go out and they're lovely just a plain black dress and then this would look lovely would you have quite a short one or long one long i like i do love a kimono do love a kimono and in fact if you're making if you're getting into dressmaking watch today's show because at nine o'clock alison's going to give us lots of dressmaking tips with a brilliant book but also a kimono is a really good place to start with dressmaking i know there's lots of different tutorials out there on the website uh, and online in general and um yeah, because you're not having to worry too much about too many fittings or fastenings and things like that. Um, this would be lovely as a throw-on kimono to just go out in the garden in the summer. It's coming, it's coming, the sunshine is coming. Morning, Pauline. How are you today? Um, the birds were singing this morning. It was actually light when we went to get our breakfast. It was so lovely. It was light. We had birds singing. I thought it's... Spring's coming. In fact, on my way home from the baby shower yesterday, in my car it said it was 15 degrees. I think some places reached 18 degrees yesterday, which is, um, I think I heard on the, the weather forecast that it's that's 10 degrees hotter than the average sort of this time of year. So, fingers crossed it means we're going to have a nice spring. Um, just 6 99 Right, so, should we go on to another brand new fabric? Because I'm already chatting, chatting, chatting away. And Kat, yesterday when we were getting all this fabric out, she says, do you reckon you're going to be able to do all this? I said, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Oh, let's do the seashells. Another brand new fabric. Oh, I do love these bright colours as well. £6.99. Storage tubs for your new bathroom, Kat. 
maybe cushions or seat pads from motorhome, picnic bags to be able to take to the beach. Can you feel the heat? Can you feel the warmth? <laughs> Six pounds, 99 and a half metre. I love those iridescent colours, the corals, the blues. And it just looks like the, the light is reflecting off them, doesn't it? You can see here, look, you've got the, how the light is reflecting. Morning, Joan, how are you? Morning, Vicky and crew. How is everybody this morning? Is everyone feeling good? I'm feeling really good today. I think I'm just still on a bit of a high from my... Um, from my lovely day yesterday. It was brilliant. Kat, do you still have the photographs of the babies? All of us as babies. We'll have to show everybody and give everybody the answers as well to go through. Alison said, did we do it? And I don't know whether John did yesterday afternoon. So we'll make sure that we uh, run through all the answers for everyone who took part at home. Brand new in today. It's nice that it's got the, the dark background, but also you could fussy cut these, couldn't you? Just have some little shells that applique onto different projects. Make a little um, drawstring bag that you take to the beach to collect shells and your little finds. And then we've also got a new panel today. Oh, I just can't wait to go and jump the waves. Can you? <laughs> right. Are you ready? This is exactly why we wanted to do the tropical theme today. I'm opening this out. It's a panel. Oh, it's so cool. Emma, it's amazing. Wait till you see this. I'm going to show you like this. It's so cool. Look at that. Oh, I absolutely love it. And I'm thinking you could actually do some... Um, hand stitching over the top of it as well. You do some really lovely quilting, some echo quilting, couldn't you? It's amazing. Just £12.99 for your panel. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, do you want me to spin it and... Oh, I love, it's got the waterfall, the amazing parrots, toucans. You're naming them all. Why are you naming, what? what Oh, I love them. So you've got this lovely border around the edge. You could take some of those colours and carry on that border. I mean, you could just do the most incredible quilt with this. I just love the detail. What do you think? It's so cool, isn't it? Brand new in today. £12.99. Look at his face. Oh, I remember one of our one of our family used to have a parrot, and I can't remember what his name is. Did you? You are African grey. Oh my word! They are, they live. I was going to say they live like for a hundred years, don't they? Chanel, have you seen that video? <laughs> so, what was his name? Bill. Where is he now? Yeah. Oh, it, honestly, they, 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 they live for like a hundred years, don't they? But this one that I remember from um, my mum's, some of our family, uh, they, they had a parrot and it swore. Your parrot swore as well. <laughs> Just £12.99 <laughs> for your panel. Right. He danced the Jersey Boy songs to Frankie Valley. Oh, brilliant. Kat's telling me all about her African grey par parrot. Right, so... I noticed on Facebook um, a couple of days ago... I. Follow those of you that follow lovely Jenny um, McCreary. She's uh, a fantastic dress dressmaker. She lives up in in Glasgow, and she runs a company called So Confident. Uh, and she's now opened um, a So Confident classes in Birmingham as well in the Midlands. And as soon as 
all this lockdown is over. We can't wait to get her back on the show. I know that I spoke to her this morning because I saw this dress on her Instagram and everybody who who doesn't follow her already, if you want some, she's just brilliant on social media. One, she's hilarious. She's always putting up really, really funny stories, but also she does great tutorials. She's another brilliant dressmaker, uh, really clear demonstrator. And we were lucky enough to have her on the show last year. Um, but so confident, Jenny, if you want to follow her. And she was wearing this dress. And then when we were putting together the tropical show, uh, I saw that we had this fabric and it is beautiful so i messaged jenny and said the dress that you've made it's amazing we've got the fabric here and she said you need to tell everybody that it is so easy to sew with it sews beautifully don't be afraid of it and she says actually it was surprising how little it frays for a, for a linen mix it's really really lovely quality so if you want to make a beautiful dress like jenny or whether you want to use it for bag making for home furnishing it looks gorgeous though didn't it in that dress i'm thinking for a shirt as well just an open shirt would be really nice it's 55 percent linen 45 percent viscose so i like working with linen mixes because you get the benefits of what we love about linen it's nice and cool it'll be really lovely for the summer but because it's got the viscose in it as well you're not going to have as much creasing. It's not going to crease as much. Um, it's £8.49 and a half metre and it's extra wide. Let me show you how wide it is. So if you do want to make the shirt, maybe today's shirt, this would be really, really nice in a shirt, wouldn't it? Still got that sort of structure to it. £8.49. Oh, you're thinking a matching shirt and short combo, like a co-ord. A jumpsuit, little play suit, like short version. Big beach bag would be gorgeous. But I thought Jenny looked absolutely gorgeous and what an amazing dress. It's so, 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 so soft, really beautiful to sew with. Um, and just seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. She couldn't say enough good things about this fabric. She says it's perfect for, um, for the dresses. Yeah, this was bright and early this morning. She was awake uh, to send us the photos in, but how beautiful does it look? That looks amazing. Pockets in there as well. Nice pair of white sandals. She's got a tropical plants in the background. I think her caption on this on Instagram was that she was ready for um, she was ready for summer. And I, I did say to her because she lives in Glasgow, and we always used to joke saying she used to come to Birmingham, and the the weather was always sunny here compared to um, to Glasgow. So I just say to her, come to the tropical city of Birmingham as soon as you can. You've got to be back here. Uh, Eight pounds forty nine. We just had to show you that picture of her. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. It's eight pounds and forty nine a half meter. Good morning, Vicky and all the team from Donna. Hi, Donna. How are you? How are you today? We've got a jam-packed day. We've got Alice and Marion here as well. So the, the, the joyous celebrations continue this week. Now we've also got a similar fabric. It's similar. It's the same uh, feel to it. I think it's the same weight. This time it's got a different colour, it's got different coloured striped backgrounds. This would be again absolutely beautiful to sew with. Um, do you think that this is more retro? It reminds me of beach huts and you know when you see, um, oh, 90s Miami it reminds you of. I do love these colours. Beach huts and um, lovely beach loungers, sun chairs, oh, palm trees. Yeah, maybe you could. Kat's wondering whether she could make her own sort of upcycle a deck chair we're all into our upcycling at the moment we're thinking about reinventing and recreating and we're going to talk about it with Alison actually um, with the shirt about how you can reinvent things that you've already got at home as well but this would be a really really beautiful um, for a dress or, or, or a uh, a shirt uh, and of course the stripes are going vertically which you're right is very very flattering isn't it they're going vertically so they're going to look lovely in a lovely long dress Alison Marion's just emailed in 
She's literally just, um, she's just in the other room and she says, there are some shorts in the book as well. So if you want to do a shirt and short combo cat, there you go, get your book. Um, the book is already selling on pre-order. We'll talk through it at nine o'clock. Uh, we've, we've ordered it in especially for today. So um, yeah, do make the most of it. And we're gonna talk through with Alison exactly why it's fab. Uh, just 8.49. So that's your linen mix again. It's the same, uh, it's a viscose linen mix. Now shall we do, some bundles next. We've got tropical bundles galore. All of these tropical bundles are brand new. Now we've got it. I want to just show you the difference. This is what a mixer looks like and this is what the solids look like. Just so you can see the difference that it's got this mottle effect. So we're going to start with a mixer. Did you eat all the cakes? Jenny's asked. Well, yes I did. <laughs> I ate them all, all 19 of them, and I don't regret it, Jenny. No, I don't. I didn't. I had one yesterday. I only had one. And I've, the one with the bear on the top, I think I'm going to take the top of it off and just keep it and put it in the freezer or something. I don't know. What, what, what can I do to preserve that? Because I want to keep that. That's too lovely to eat. I haven't got a piece of my wedding cake. No, because I didn't have a traditional wedding cake, did I? I don't even know. When I got to the wedding, we had like a wedding cake table of different um we had like a victoria sponge and different ones that were all these rustic ones by the time i got to the cake table they'd all gone they'd all gone yeah i didn't i didn't get a slice there was a gluten-free one for john yes um but i really want to keep the little topper it's lovely no i did dish them out and hayley who is our head of tv they all now work over in the other building down the road and she did message on facebook yesterday saying um are there any cakes left oh was she oh cats just said hayley bryant messaged and said she was really sad that she didn't get to see me i'm going to go over there today and take them some cakes but i did dish them out i mean Jules Mayu took some for her and her, her daughter. Catherine took one as well. We had um, Elliot and Amy from the warehouse took one. Um, Kat's mum and dad got one. My mum and sister and, and my mum's partner got one. Emma's got one. I took one for Kieran as well and he, oh, they were delicious. They were delicious. So yes, there's a few left anyway, which I am gonna take over to the office today. It takes a lot of courage to eat them because they look too good. You just don't want to do it. So, this, you're thinking, if I put the jade at the bottom, does that change how it looks? You've got your tropical mixer. Now, let me talk you through what colours you're getting here. Jade, which is half a metre cotton mixer, half a metre of your magenta cotton mixer, lavender cotton mixer, half a metre of your bright pink, sunshine, and tangerine, these look lovely together. But even if you're using them separately, they're going to go a really, really long way. You're thinking of putting magenta and jade together. That colour combination looks really nice, doesn't it? Obviously, maybe your yellow and orange together. Maybe your pink and your purple together. For linings, for cushion backs, for the, the background of a plique project. So much that you're going to be able to do. What was that that's coming up in the last hour? Some quilt patterns that are coming up in the last hour. Oh, Alison's project that's um, coming up today, the snuggle, um, snuggle wrap, the cuddle wrap, that's going to be perfect as well. We've got the pattern available on its own. These would be really, really lovely with that. Just $22.99. You're getting all three metres. We also have the solids. Now our last tropical solid bundle came, uh, sold out, so Kat has rebundled it with different colours, slightly different colours, or one of the different colours. This time, um, which I, I don't know which one you've changed. Is it one of the pinks? Oh, it was the we had Imperial before, didn't we? Now we've got magenta. So we've still got jade. By the way, there's some available by the half meter on the website. It goes with so many different fabrics that we've bought in recently. That is so bright and vibrant. This is my favourite. This is my brilliant. Um, yeah, you're right. Amanda said it would make a brilliant Bargello quilt. Once you've done it, send in your pictures. We'd love to see. I would love a bar yellow, around the world quill, all of the different strips together in these colours would look really nice. 
So with this one, you're getting half a meter of lime, half a meter of orange, half a meter of sunshine, half a meter of bright pink, half a meter of magenta, and half a meter of jade. All three meters for 19.99. And remember, they're 112 wide. They're beautiful quality, quilting weight, Rose and Hubble fabrics. We want to just spread a bit of joy, bring a bit of sunshine. Just nineteen ninety nine. Hi Sue. Good morning. Good morning. Hope everybody's feeling nice and awake today. I actually am. For once, I feel really awake today. Who's that? Sorry, Jill. Asking me if I was tired after yesterday. I was really tired yesterday after the show. I went straight to bed and slept so well. I know this morning I just feel. I just feel really fuzzy and warm and nice. It was just such a lovely day. I think when I got home and I was telling Kieran all about it, it made me all emotional again. I thought, I'm so lucky to have had, and, and lots of my friends text me saying, I'm so pleased you've managed to have a baby shower. And it was just so lucky. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Uh, okay, so half a metre of each of your tropical treat fabric. We're down to single figures now though. We are down to single figures, three meters. Okay, we've also got some poplin weight spots. These are slightly lighter weight cotton. They're still absolutely fine with your, uh, to mix in with any of the Rose and Hubble quilting weights that we've seen, um, but they're so pretty, aren't they just? In fact, these would be really lovely for the, um, for the cuddle blanket that we're doing later on. $16.99, this one is gorgeous. That lovely sort of turquoisey light blue. You're two and a half meters in this. We've got an extra half meter, haven't we? Um, this is $16.99, uh, just go for it. That is such a brilliant price point. It says two meters on your graphics, but you do get two and a half. Um, you added the sunshine, didn't you, at the end, but she forgot to change the graphics, so you do get more. What colours have we got here? We have got turquoise, lime, lemon, cerise. Yeah, cerise is a colour. And purple. Uh, this is very, very popular. We're down to single figures on this. You are getting two and a half metres. Don't worry, they are all half metre pre-cuts. If you are buying multiples, then they will come pre-cut. The warehouse have cut these all ready to go. 16 99 for two and a half metres of your lovely soft cotton Rose and Hubble poplin weight spot fabrics. Oh, June said it was a lovely day, wasn't it? Did you feel it at home too? Oh, it was so lovely. I just wanted to be able to project through the screen how lovely it felt here. Oh, the atmosphere is amazing. It actually, yeah, we had no seco and everything. Yeah, there's still um, there's still some in the fridge if you want some. Try some. Um, Sue said, uh, just can't sew to deadline. Five hours work is taking, oh no. What are you sewing? What are you making? Let me know, let me know. I saw one of the ladies put on the Yarn Lane fan page yesterday that she'd finished the white bubble blanket and she says, I'm a complete beginner. So I messaged her, how long has this taken you? And she says, it's taken two weeks. I wish you could see the state of mine. Oh my word. I don't know whether your knitting is something that you can just get better and better at or whether it's just in your genes, it's in your blood and you should just be able to do it. Oh my word. It's... <laughs> I think, I think I need to try it with um, a wool that's not as fluffy. I keep putting it down and picking it up and just knitting and picking up too many stitches. You found your knit, so Kat's been doing all her clear out, hence why we've had a nice little rummage through all of her, um, all of her old things today. But she said, I've got, I found some old, some knitting needles, so she just needs some wool. Go on the Yarn Lane website. $16.99 for all of your spot colours. Oh, Derek, you missed a brilliant show. It was so good. It was so, so good. Um, don't forget, you can catch up on YouTube, Derek. It's lovely to have you with us today, though. Just so you know, 
There are over 30 of you that have got that in your basket and there's less than 10. Six left, there's six left if you want it. Cat loves it. She gets such a sense of achievement when, to, when it, uh, a bundle that she's put together that's really... She says, just, I just feel accepted. Okay, let's do some lovely pattern fabrics. I love these. They look so arty. The Dina designs. So we've got three different prints that are all from the same collection. Um, this is the ochre colourway and it is so pretty. I can imagine Kerry living in loveliness in a beautiful dress with this fabric. 749 a half metre. The pink, the green, the ochre. Oh, Susan said, I saw that bubble blanket too. It was stunning. Isn't it? I can't believe that she was saying that she's brand new to knitting and, and done it in two weeks. And she was saying, just remember, you need to cast on and cast off this one on your second and your fourth row. And I was thinking, oh, my word, you are so far ahead of me. I, I am understanding it and I can do the little bubbles, but I really have to think about it. I'm so slow. Do you know how people are knitting, watching the television or talking and knitting? I have to sit in complete silence with real concentration to do it. Um, this is absolutely beautiful. It looks like it's been painted, doesn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. Wendy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you up on that. She said, um, bring your knitting in next week and I'll get you going on it. I can't have it sitting there, not done. I'll bring it in because that's what I need. Just somebody to help me to see where I'm going wrong because I keep picking up 10 stitches each row. And you need to cast on for um, cat. Casting on isn't difficult. I can cast on for you. I can cast on for you. It's the picking up stitches by accident. Um, oh, I love this teal green. This is lovely. What colour does this say it's called? I don't know. No. <laughs> this is lovely. You've got your blush pinks. You've got your bright pinks. Lovely greens and yellows. Again, it just is very arty, isn't it? I'm seeing lovely, um, not bolster cushions, just small rectangular cushions. Um, they would look really, really nice. Or some bags, you could do dressmaking with it, all the shirt. Definitely, definitely, definitely stay tuned for our nine o'clock show. For anybody whose New Year's resolution maybe has been to start dressmaking, you know how amazing our um, Alison, or as John calls her, Mama Baby, um, is at teaching. She's brilliant. Seven pounds, 49, a half metre. We've had a message from Karen. Um, Vic, put your fluffy wool in the fridge before knitting <laughs> it, and it will stop the fluff coming off. Okay. I'll try it. When Kira goes into the fridge to get a drink out, or something, be like, what are you, you are going crazy. I did a few funny, weird baby braid things and he will officially think I've lost the plot if my knitting is in the fridge. I put, I went to put my, um, I made a cup of tea, went to put milk in the tea and instead went to the top cupboard, got squash out and poured it all in my tea. Before I realised, what am I doing? I, I blame Kat for trying to get me into warm squash. It's not going to happen. 749 a half metre. Okay, I'll try it. It isn't that the fluff keeps coming off. It's that I can't see the stitches as well, Karen. Okay, we've got one other from Dina Designs. What's that, sorry? Maybe it'll stop it from separating. Okay. Oh, we've worked out how you pronounce the colour of this. Aegean. Aegean. Aegean, is that like a tealy colour then? Okay, this is your more pastel pinks and aqua. Aqua, Aegean, and ochre. Aegean must be the pinks then. <laughs> what did we do without Google? What did we used to do without Google? Seven pounds, 49. Oh, yeah, I suppose before Google, we used to ask Jeeves, didn't we? We just used to ask Jeeves. Or we have to work it out in our brain or just wonder. Ah, right. Derek has said Aegean is the sea around Greece. So it is the blue. 
it must be that, oh, you know, when you see beautiful, um, bluey, sea foamy, greeny blue then, Derek, am I right? Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a deep teal, isn't it? Deep teal. Oh, I love that. Just £7.49. Did you see that at home then? Did you just see the colour of it? No. <laughs> they were getting up all the, uh, the colour cards for me to see. Okay, they're the Dina designs. We've also got some canvases. Let's do the um, cotton canvases. I say cotton canvas, they're still quite lightweight. These ones are heavier. That one's amazing. I love. In fact, let me do this one first because this is unlike any of the others. This is really lovely. I would love, 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 love um, a seat cover in this. I think this is a really nice fabric to upholster with. Actually, um, it, it's really lovely and weighty. It's got uh, it's got great weight to it and lovely colours. This is really, really in. I was on um, on the, this news article and I was looking on Instagram, a different home, a, a home decors. And you know how grey's been very, very in recently? It's all changed now. It's more the boho, indoor plants, more sort of um, bamboo colours, greens, whites. And, and this is absolutely perfect for that bang on trend i'm thinking a big bag as well a big weekend bag or a dress similar to the dress that um that jenny made it would be more structured because it's a, a, a cotton canvas it is weightier but uh it's absolutely beautiful big cushion really big oversized cushions for in a conservatory or to just be able to put outside that you can have a lounge outside when it's warm it'll be beautiful yeah, thanks, Wendy. <laughs> she says, you've picked one of the hardest yarns to start with, Vic. Even us harder knitters shy away from it. So, top marks for having a go. Don't worry, we'll sort you out. Thank you, Wendy. Always, always believing in me. This is what my mum said. And I did pick a blanket to start with, which I had to cast on 157 stitches. <laughs> so, I'll always remember that number. I've counted it so many times. I'm like, how have I got 170 stitches? Or how have I got 180 stitches now on my... Uh, my needles. I think my needles are too small as well. Uh, right, we've got the really bright blue with the lemons and oranges. Check this out. It looks like a digital print. Lemons. Wowzers. Look at that. 140 wide, 100% cotton. Beautiful colour. I'm thinking like sort of um, to make a big basket fruit bowl. You could do it with your bows or foam inside, couldn't you, to give it real good structure? Or to do a, a lovely lunch bag. Maybe um, when we're starting going back to, to work or commuting, you know, to different places, if you want to make yourself a picnic bag or a lunch bag. Nice backpack. We also have the same, but with, if the blue is a bit too bright for you, I don't believe it should, I think this year we should go all out, wear lovely bright colours, wear what you want to wear. This one is lovely though, this is softer and would be really lovely for uh, blinds in a kitchen maybe, kitchen, country kitchen. I love that you've got the, the detail, that isn't the, the reverse of it showing through, uh, the other side of it, these are all shadowed leaves. Hi Pam. Morning, Vic. Oh, what a brilliant show yesterday. It was fabulous. I started knitting in my 30s. Started to knit. I had a jacket for my three-year-old son. He was five when I finished it. <laughs> Don't give in. Okay. Oh, thank you. She says I look ready to say thank you. Thank you very much. I will persist with it, even if my baby gets it for the 10th birthday, this blanket. Or I'm, I have thought, right, maybe I'll just try like a little bonnet or some booties or something. I had a beautiful hat that was sent to me yesterday, uh, a knitted hat. It was gorgeous and it was wrapped in the most adorable Peter Rabbit fabric. And they didn't leave their name or a note or anything, so I can't send you a thank you card or say thank you so please if it were you you must let me know whether it be on Facebook or email the studio and tell me if you sent it in to me because I'd love to say thank you so honestly it's so so thoughtful I've had such, such beautiful gifts 
Okay, so that's the lemons with the uh, with the the sort of tan background. We also have the butterflies. This is the last canvas one, slightly lighter weight. This is really lovely for bag making. This is really lovely for bag making. In fact, Kat made her friend Maisie's daughter um, a pair of dungarees out of this. Oh, and they were so cute. They were so cute. We started them on the show. We started them on the show and then we um, we finished them off and uh, Kat sent them in the post to, uh, to her friends for her daughter. And we had really lovely little buttons on there as well, didn't we? And oh, they were just so cute. But you could do matching, couldn't you? Just for your front pocket. Even if you don't want full dungarees in this as an adult, you could do, um, yeah, you could just have a little pocket, an accent of it or a bag to match. That is such lovely fabric. And this is exactly what I think of when I think of spring and summer and tropical. I love it. So there are all the cotton canvases. I am going to move on because I'm aware of the time. But all of them are available on the website. We just want to have a good look at them so you can see them in the flesh. Do you want to do some more cottons? Yeah. Any in particular? Yes, these two. So we've got two different colours, orange and like a violety bluey purple. We'll start with the periwinkle blue. This purpley lovely colour. This is again really lovely for, um, for children's garments, isn't it? Little dresses, little dungarees, little sun hats. Sun hats would be cute with this actually. Five pounds and 99 pence. And I love the fact that you've got this almost stitched line running through as well. Real beautiful attention to detail. Hi, Carol. How are you? Good morning. All lovely fabrics. All lovely fabrics. I have to do a bit of a, a register check every day to see whether Kerry is watching. Kerry, Cumbria, have you got a baby yet? Every day it's like, oh. Oh, did you enjoy your your uh, your baby shower with us as well yesterday? Because it was your baby shower as well. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for you, Kerry. You need to keep me in the loop of everything um, of everything that's going on. We have. Um, let me find her on the. It was Sophia, wasn't it? She's watching this morning. Sophia's pregnant as well. Very busy, busy, busy. Um, Lorraine said, hi Vix, what a lovely day for yesterday. Honestly, Lorraine, I'm still on cloud nine. I, I haven't come down back to earth yet. You're blooming. Could you tell me the colour of your nursery, please? Lorraine said, I haven't, I, haven't even, I haven't even sorted a nursery yet. We haven't really got a nursery because we were planning on moving house and the sale unfortunately have fallen through. So um, yeah, we're, we're waiting to see as well if we have a boy or a girl. They're going to be in our bedroom for the first first however many months anyway so then we can plan the nursery when they're here but um I'm, I don't know I still really like the neutral colors I think I still really like the yellows and grays and and yellows and grays and whites and creams love the guess how much I love your range and all you know that sort of just just unisex lovely um colors five pounds 99 Although if I do have a girl, they will probably be in a tutu very quickly, like in a bright pink tutu. <laughs> Pardon? Oh yeah, boy or girl, my, um, my friend, she runs an Irish dance school. She, she was the Irish dancing uh, uh, champion. And she said, there's no getting out of them not being an Irish dance. They have to be an Irish dancer, boy or girl. She's brilliant. So, so yeah, in fact, she's just moved to Redditch from London. She literally lives down the road and I've not, I've not been able to see her. Uh, £5.99. Look at how vibrant this orange is. It's one of my, it's one of my favourite colour combinations, orange and pink. It's quite a clash, but it works. It's one of those clashes that really works. I'm really enjoying pink and red as well together. I know that sometimes people question orange and pink. Um, people also question red and um, green together. Do you know, we're saying all this, we know Lorraine is watching. She is not, she's not afraid of just absolutely 
tearing us apart going no you're wrong you're wrong that does not work Vicky <laughs> oh thank you Trisha the Poplin spot bundles completely sold out we've got another bundle less than 10 of the solids and the mixers we've got the sunshine should we do some sun and sand first oh the sun and the sand sorry I'm just imagining just taking a moment to just close our eyes and imagine the sun, the smell of sun cream, the feel of the sea just coming in and out, the sound of it. Oh, let's just take us all there. Lynn in Cornwall, she messaged in yesterday and she said, oh, she's by the sea, but it wasn't very nice, was it? She says it was all um, grey and miserable and horrible, but just mad. it's still lovely and the sea breeze. I love the sounds of the sea. I think it's just because we live the furthest away that you could possibly live from the sea that we <laughs> that we really crave it. Right, so this one's really interesting. You're getting mixers here, solids and your natural cedar cotton as well. So you've got your sunshine mixer, natural seeded cotton, lemon, then you've got tan, and then you've also got bright yellow. Sunshine, sunshine. Yeah, this is the sea in the, this is the sunshine in the sand. The sea in the, the sea, not the sea in the sand, the sunshine in the sand. Trisha says, looking lovely. Oh, thank you. Oh, here's some names for on the list. Hope you put Cody for a boy and River for a girl. I've heard so many people say River lately. River for a girl on the list. Just humour me, please. I'll put it on the list. It's on the list. I really like River. I think that's a lovely name. Um, Catherine was making a blanket and started with just four stitches and then increased as you knit. Might be worth a try. So, oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to try anything because at the moment mine is just not working. It's going to be a really strange size. But it's a blanket and Rebecca Reed said I could put a crochet board around it and then no one will ever know. Um, Tom wants Sunshine Carol on the list. Is this a is this a name suggestion? <laughs> Thank you for your name suggestions. I think it was me. I think it was me. Marilyn! Oh, Marilyn, Marilyn, Marilyn. I will send you a message after the show. She says, I'm not a great knitter, so the hat was the best choice. You are a brilliant knitter. And it was so, 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 so soft. I only had Christmas wrapping paper, so I had fabric. fabric. I'm so glad you liked it. Marilyn, it's absolutely beautiful. It's sitting in the cot already. I've put it there at the top of the cot already. It's so cute. So thank you. Honestly, thank you so much. Just £17.49. Oh, I'm so pleased you're watching, Marilyn. And then our final bundle this hour, I've got the blues, the sea colours. This is the tropical sea. We're going tropical theme. Can you tell today? <laughs> oh, Lorraine says, loving your tops and great fabric. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did you go tropical today, Kat? What are you wearing? Oh, yeah. In fact, actually, we should get Kat on so you can see her sleeves. <laughs> we'll just do your sleeves again. <laughs> Kat is literally like on Top Gear, the Stig. We never know what she actually looks like because she just is like, don't show my face. <laughs> You're not showing me, but I'll show you my tropical sleeves. £12.99. You have to come in a bit closer. <laughs> there you go, a tropical sleeve on the desk. Oh, they are lovely. Woo! She's gone very tropical as well. Oh, it goes with the early bird. Pinks and the oranges. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Careful. You look like you're going to fall over me. <laughs> oh, it's on both. It's a lovely jumper. Is there a bird on that one? Oh, yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? Very, very nice indeed. Very nice. So, yes, cat did go tropical as well. Um, we, for £12.99, we're looking at two metres, four half metre pre cuts, all ready to go. Four different shades of blue. You are looking at what shades have we got here? Marine blue, peacock, sky, and candy. They're lovely colours, aren't they? 
Blue, I know, is always very, very popular. Whenever we get blue bundles in, they disappear. I'm just thinking if you've got any like the Dina Designs, these go together. If you've got, well, there's loads of fabrics that these are all going to tie in with. Hi Nova, hi beautiful, I think you're having a boy, but my 10 month old granddaughter's name is Beatrix Audrey, that's a lovely name, Beatrix, I love that, um, but she's known as, as B, B, oh super day estate, oh it was great wasn't it, it was so lovely, B, that's lovely. My uh, mum's friend's uh, son's just had a baby and they've named their daughter Livia, not Olivia, just Livia Violet, Livia Violet. I thought that's really pretty as well, isn't it? Can we do these lovely bright origins? Do you know we had the bird panel the other day? This is the fabric that goes perfectly with it. So it had this around the border of the panel, didn't it? There might be still some of the panels. Oh, mm, I say that. I don't know whether they sold out. It's worth having a look on the website if you type in Origins. Oh, I think there might be some available. This would be really lovely to do English paper piecing with, wouldn't it? Or if you were to cut this into strips, it would look really cool. It'd look like you've patched all of these binding and borders. Whether you're cutting them into smaller pieces or whether you're keeping them as quite large prints. Really interesting indeed. We've also got a couple more fabrics before we get Alison Marion on. I can hear her eagerly awaiting in the wings, wheeling a trolley in. This one is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All of these scream holidays, don't they? All of these scream holidays. Should we do the answers to the babies with Alison at the start of the next hour? Let's do it with Alison, because I want to see who Alison thinks everyone is as well, because I know she was playing along from home as well. Uh, £7.49, a half metre. And then we've got one other one for, uh, from the uh, Aztec range. Origins, Origins range. <laughs> this is not like a grey, it says cream and it's not, it's definitely more of a grey. Dennis says, I have five daughters. Aren't you lucky? Five daughters. Esther, Jessica, Georgia, Lolita and Emerald. Leticia, isn't it? Leticia, sorry. Um, I love unusual names. Oh, I love that. That's really good. They're all lovely names. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I should go down the gemstone route. Mm, uh, honestly, we're really bad at picking names. I said we need to sit down and actually do a bit of a shortlist. So many people have said, you'll know when you see them, you need to see what they look like first. Annette's messaged in. I had my 13th grandchild last week. Oh my word, congratulations. A little girl whose name is Clementine Love Day. What a beautiful name. Um, I think you're gonna have a girl, Vicky. No idea, no idea. I must say, I think girls' names are a lot easier than boys' names. There's lots of very pretty, lovely girls' names. Oh, Kat doesn't agree with me. She says, no, I've got my boys' names all sorted for if she has a baby. Um, but she says, I have no idea on girls. No, I think there's lots of really pretty girls' names and I really struggle with boys. I'm, I haven't got as many boys' names. I've got a couple of boys' names, but they're very unusual. They're very unusual. So I'm a bit scared to even say them to you, but um, no, I'll... I have a bit more of a think and see and see if I've got the courage to tell you and see if people say, oh no, don't go with that, don't go with that. Uh, yeah, well that's it. It's a bit, it's a big decision, isn't it? Because they've got to live with it forever. You're right, Maureen. Anyway, let's get my Alison Marion on. Don't go anywhere. We've got dressmaking and this lovely shirt. You've all seen it on Facebook. Lots of people have been commenting on it and a brilliant book coming up right after the break. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. 
Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also applique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Um, we've got such a lovely day today. We've had a, a brilliant week. It's just been um, a whirlwind, hasn't it? It's gone so quick this week. Uh, but thank you all so much for your company. We're going to do some dressmaking with Alison Marion today. Uh, we've got a brilliant book, which I will go through quite uh, in depth with Alison in a moment. But this is Sewing Basics for Everybody, um, as in every body every shape which is fantastic because this is going to be such a great go-to for all of your wardrobe builder essentials so there's five basic patterns but then there's loads of different hacks of how to be able to construct them in different ways so i know that alison owns this book herself so we'll be able to talk with her about uh, why she got it and why she likes it but it's for it's not just for, for ladies there's gents garments in here there's lots of different brilliant techniques of uh, and tips of how to how and where to measure yourself when you're constructing, um, how to choose the right fabrics, talking about easing. Um, when we, we look at a pattern, 
it's all well and good looking at the, the size of um, a, a garment, but you need to look at it with ease because obviously you want to be able to move it. So it talks about that and also how to adjust patterns. Quite often when we're looking at dressmaking patterns, we have a lot of questions in saying, right, well, I'm a size uh, 14 on the top and then I'm a five, uh, but but I'm, uh, I'm shorter. I need to be able to lengthen and shorter the, uh, lengthen or shorten the, the um, sleeves or the body, or I might need to grade out for, for the, the trousers or the bottom of the skirt. So it's brilliant. We talk about moving bust darts here, look. It's absolutely brilliant. So it goes through all different techniques at the start. It's a full techniques book, which is really, really clear and very, very thorough with diagrams. I was talking to Alison earlier and I completely agree. She was saying that um, sometimes with photographs, it's hard to see exactly what is going on. You might be distracted by the fabric or can't quite see exactly what's happening. But with these diagrams, it makes it really lovely and clear. So it's got all of your techniques at the start, but then it goes into all of your patterns. And they are patterns that we all love, we all wear. The things like sweatshirt, hoodies, you can change it into a tunic, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt. There's different bonus, um, different bonus uh, tips as well as you go along. So it isn't just about getting a pattern and just making it once. These are really big wardrobe builders, adding in pockets, what kind of pockets you like. Oh, there's loads of people who I know already have this book. If you have already got this book, please will you message in, because we love to hear from you. Ellen's messaged in about this, and she says, Morning, I have this book. I'm very new to dressmaking, but it's really easy to understand. Um, I'll be using this when I... Um, when I have my unfinished projects completed. It's brilliant. Uh, in fact, I will we'll talk to Alison exactly of why she wanted to get this book. But look, so not only is the sweatshirts, there's joggers, there's trousers, there's shirts, and this is what we're working on today. But you can do a huge variation of shirts of how you change it for him or for her. It can be really smart or it could be quite a nice little day dress, summer dress. Tunic style, different style collars, jumpsuits. It'll talk to you how your jumpsuits are constructed, which are simply trousers and a top that are, are brought together with a, a waistband, stitched together if you want it elasticated or, or, or not, it's up to you, which is really cool, isn't it? Uh, Dylan coat different jackets. We've seen this on the show a couple of times now and every single time it's absolutely flown out. We've got it especially back in Fallison show today. It's £10.99, which bearing in mind, you think about how much you normally pay for a fabric pattern, I think it's brilliant value for money. So you've got all of your pattern pieces included as well. Just £10.99. Uh, now we've got different fabrics, but just before we, um, we move on to those, I want to talk to Alison firstly to say, Thank you so much for yesterday. Well, that's all right. You're very welcome. It you, was a lovely day to watch oh, as well. Did you enjoy yeah, it? Really did. Oh, yeah. Alison came in the, the oh. day before for a meeting with <laughs> Ian. And they were being ever so sneaky and brought these amazing cakes in. And those of you that didn't see them, well, this is what this is what you used to do in a past is, life. Yeah. And everyone was saying yeah. to me, they can't be real. They're too good. <laughs> you can't eat those. They're too good to eat. But they were also delicious. Oh, so thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, this book is something that you actually own yourself. Uh -huh. Yes, I've got this. And I got it from when, because it was my very first show on Sewing Street that I did this shirt. Um, filmed from home, <laughs> which is quite difficult. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when you haven't got your producer and your director. <laughs> um, yeah, and I loved it so much. And I've made shirts in the past. And you get your pattern. I, I tended, when I sewed before, it was more like your simplicity, butterick, new look and things like mm -hmm. that. There weren't the um, no. newer patterns mm -hmm. that there are around now. Um, and I never quite got the sleeve placket. Okay. Um, I used to go from the pattern instructions to a book and sort of Try put it all through, it. yeah, put it all through from there. And it never, ne didn't seem right somehow. Okay. But when this book is a revelation for anybody that would like to do shirts, I'm not saying they've all got to be dress shirts like right. this one. Yeah. Because I will go through some of the techniques for the dress shirt. Um, but I'm wearing one as well. Yeah. And this is my toile, so it, it's, oh. 
you know, for fit. And this is where it's always handy to do to one. To do it as well, because yeah, you'd want it's it too shorter. long. Yeah. And the arms are too long. So I'll show you now how you uh, would adapt how it. I adapted it. Yeah. So uh, that's why I wore this one, because you can see, because if I put the sleeves down to where they would be, and I put my arm down. <laughs> when you walked in, I thought that was Liberty. It's yeah. such a lovely floral print. It's and an old bed sheet. <laughs> when you said that. But you've I'm acquired a couple more a bed, bed sheets to do some more shirts I have, today, yes. haven't you, from Kat? Yes, thank you, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> but it is really good, like you say, to make a twirl and, and, and see, and, and do it in fabric that, I mean, you still can wear that. It looks lovely. Well, I do wear it around yeah. the house, and I never thought it would be on telly. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I mean, you can go through uh, the book and where we're saying about fabrics. Yeah. This, the, the only thing with this is the, um, the fabric is all worked on a 60 inch width, which means that if you're doing a 44 width, which is a standard the cotton mm -hmm. like we would have here on the bolt, um, it, you need to work out how much more you would need. And you've done that for us this morning. Well, I've worked out for the shirt, because, let me find the, where's the um, cutting plans? Rachel Ilsley says, this book is so valuable. Uh, I'm joined by own garments and customising it. I've recently bought a dress deliberately too long and shortened it to suit me using a fabric and inserting pockets. So this book, it's even, like you say, going to help you with those hacks of being able to alter things and adjust things. Well, yes, things. because it, it shows you in such lovely um, diagrams how things are assembled. Okay. So you're going to know how something's been put together. Yeah, oh, brilliant. Um, but yes, when you're using a 60 wide, there we are, when you're using a 60 wide, you put your front and your back pieces beside each other. Mm -hmm. But obviously, if you've got a 44 width, you haven't got enough width here. So you, what you need to do is still doable, but obviously you need more fabric because you've got to move this one here up. It doesn't have to be on the fold. The only one that needs to be on the fold is the back. Yeah. The front can go up and then the sleeve has to go up again on top. Okay. Then all of these little ones, I mean, these two are on a fold. That can be put up here because you'll have your sleeve over here. Mm -hmm. And all these can be cut out of bits. But obviously you need enough length of fabric to take the full length of the back, the front and the sleeve. Right. So for the largest size of the long sleeve, I've measured all the pieces and you need 2.25 metres. Okay. So, obviously, if you're buying by half metre, it's going to be two and a half metres. But I'll show you how easy the patterns are as well to and so follow. So that's for a, for, for a man's shirt? That's for, a that's for the biggest, biggest size. size? Shall I tell you what the sizes are? Because there was a gentleman on Facebook last night said about the sizing. Um, they give you where you take your measurements and they also give you a little chart here to write in so that you can work out you take all the different measurements of your body measurement and the actual sizes the finished garment measurements and then the adjustments you need to make which right. is really really handy yeah um so for the biggest size it's the chest is 55 and a half inches mm -hmm. but i'm also going to show you in a minute how to make that a little bit bigger Brilliant. So how you can size it up. The waist is 52 and three quarters and the hips is 52 and three quarters. So that's a very, a very good size for mm -hmm. a large. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got small, medium, large, extra large and extra, extra large. And is that across the whole book or are they all yes. different? Yeah, that's no, across, across the whole, the whole book. book. So all of the patterns are made from those finished garment measurements. So it, there's five basic patterns in here, aren't there? But then yeah. there's lots of different adaptations. Lots of different them. things, yeah. I mean, it's like the shirt. When, with the collar, you can do your collar like I've done. Um, this one, because it was going to be worn with a tie, actually a bow tie, mm -hmm. um, it needed to have more a stiffer interfacing yeah. or oh, I keep touching my microphone sorry <laughs> um, whereas the uh, normal shirt that you would wear just open it doesn't need such a, a stiff interfacing but I mean a lot of people I think with uh, weddings postponed or occasions that That's you might right, yeah it'd be really lovely to make something really yeah. special as yeah. well it just goes to show to though you don't need separate um, separate patterns no you know it, it can be dressed up or it can be dressed down yeah um i was just looking for the collar options here there this one here 
for you can do a granddad collar and all those. that's doing is leaving off really trendy. the actual this part of the collar you've still right. got your your collar at stand yeah um but you're finishing it off without your actual collar oh i mean that's so, really on trend isn't it yeah i mean fabulous it really is a lovely lovely book and it explains about you know all the diff different buttonholes and different ways of finishing the edges because even though this is i'm wearing it as a lady shirt i've still got the shirt tail yeah at the back although yeah. i'm going to shorten it um i'm, I'm still leaving the shaping in the back yeah. because i like that like that but you could if you didn't want that you could just chop it off and make it as straight so i know that you said for anybody who is after a good pattern for a shirt you would recommend this book just solely for that reason. Definitely, yeah. I mean, if you, if you want to have a go at making shirts, this would be, I think I'll go so far as to say, the best book I've used. Brilliant. Um, because there are um, photographs, but the drawings, the illustrations are so fabulous. And I keep saying, <laughs> keep saying about the placket, but look, we've got, three pages well nearly four pages on how to do the placket which makes it sound complicated but it's taken it step by step and makes it so easy oh brilliant because it, it goes from fold one fold two fold three you know all the way through which and like you nice. said sometimes if they brush over it and presume you know how to do that on a pattern then you're finding yourself digging out looking for a book or going online yeah. looking for tutorials yeah end up doing a bit of a mishmash and it takes you along and you get all yeah that's right bamboozled. i mean the, the big pattern um producers you know, you get a couple of instructions for the placket. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this has gone into in such depth, it's absolutely brilliant. Brilliant, yeah. thank you. Sorry. So that is the book that we're looking at today. We are going to be doing some demonstrations, obviously, with Alison in just a second. But as Alison said, fabric-wise, our fabric isn't 60 wide, it's 44. So just be aware of that. I don't want anyone to get it home and think, oh, it's not quite wide enough. Alison did show us how we, um, we can sort of lay our fabric out differently, but you will need two and a half meters to do the largest size of the shirt. Now, I also thought what would be nice is if you've got white or if you're upscaling, if you're upcycling, if you're doing anything and you just want to do the pocket, uh, the placket or a pocket or the cuffs or the, the, the collar in like a beautiful cotton fabric like this, we've just done a tropical hour, just even adding a little bit of that beautiful vibrant colour would be brilliant. So if you want to do the whole shirt, remember, you'd need two and a half metres um, in the if you want to do the largest size. But if you just wanted to add in elements of it, uh, I think that this would be a really, really lovely fabric. Just six pounds, 99 and a half meter. Uh, two and a half meters, remember, if you do want to make the largest size, just to be able to get the width. Oh, it's fab, isn't it? It is really lovely, those coral, beautiful colors. It looks very tulip pink, actually. Um, the Liberty that we had scheduled for, for this show has completely sold out on the website. We've got one other Liberty that we want to show you. And again, this is beautiful just a little nod to liberty it's not you know screaming in your face liberty is it it's just a subtle beautiful liberty shadow fabric for just 749 and a half meter and again if you just want to add elements of liberty into shirts that you've already got um as alison said when you get the diagrams home and you get the patterns home, you start to see how everything is constructed. So then when you go into shops and we see shirts and different things that are made, you can actually see, dissect exactly how they're put together and change elements and, and adapt it. And the great thing about the book as well at the start is that it does go through lots of ways of adjusting different garments that are, are already made. Um, but this is lovely. Reminder, if you do want to make the largest size shirt, because of the width of this, you are going to need extra fabric. So you'll need two and a half metres. Can I just um, chip in there? Yeah, absolutely. Please do. With the accent one, if you have half a metre, you can get your um, one side of your cuff, your collar stand here. Oh, nice. The back of your collar, your plackets. Oh, it's on there. There. Your plackets. And also, um, what else? Oh, and if you wanted to do... Oh, you've Part, got like a... Um, yeah, I've, I've got a covered placket here, yeah. a co placket fly. But um, if you wanted to do um, down the front there, you would easily get that out of half a metre. Half a metre, just one half yeah. metre. Go for it, absolutely, yeah. go for it. If you've got the book today and you've paid one P&P, &P, 
definitely indulge in some liberty i love it and then of course if you just want plain classic white cotton uh, then we have it again at a brilliant brilliant price point uh, it's only three pound 49 a half meter so there you go it's her 349 and a half meter two and a half meters a nice crisp white shirt um, we've had a couple of messages because i know that uh it was advertised about doing the hopscotch uh, the yes. hopscotch design. There's been a couple of issues with shipping and, yeah, and delivery, etc. So it's going to be coming up soon. Yeah, later. Yeah, it will be here yeah. soon. We can't do it today, no. but um, no, it, it's going to have to be rescheduled because okay. of uh, deliveries and things. Okay, but we'll yeah. um, we'll keep you updated of when it's coming back. Sorry on. about that. <laughs> Brilliant. Over to you then. What do you want to show us today, then, Alison? Well, there's been quite a, you know, people have done shirts and um, I know Mark did the burrito method for putting on the, oh, um, yeah. the back there. I have got everything cut out, so if there's time, I can carry on. But because this shirt has got pin tucks, I thought you might like to show me to show you um, a little bit about pin tucks because it, it takes a foot on your machine mm -hmm. and a twin thread. That's all you don't need um, or oh, a twin needle. You don't need anything else. Um, you don't have to change your plate on your machine. You don't have to change any tensions or anything like that. Because the twin needle, when you use a twin needle, it actually changes the way the, um, the stitch is done at the back. And it, does your machine just know that? Or is there a stitch that you need to put it on? Is there a twin yes, needle stitch? Yes, it does. It just it's knows. very clever, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because obviously you're threading two threads yeah. through your twin needle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't put any settings. It's strange, isn't yeah. it? You would think you would put a twin needle setting, but no, you don't. And you have this foot. You've it's got, got grooves in, in the back. Yeah, I bought mine in because there aren't any on the website at the moment. Okay. It, I mean, what, what everyone's foot is having that? it. Sorry? What foot is that, Alison? It, it is a um, pin tuck foot. Pin tuck. Oh, is it nice. best on the white or on the wood? No, that's perfect. There we go. Yeah. So you've got little grooves, um, and then you put in your twin needle. I've actually assembled the pin ne twin needle, but your twin needle should be the same size as being able to go into two of those grooves. Okay. Um, and this is the one I've got here. I've done this in coloured, whereas that one in, you can't actually see it, it's very subtle. So is it all white there's, on yes, there? Yes, there's, there's a panel on both sides. It's really smart. So um, that's, it's quite subtle, but you can use a coloured thread I've put a coloured thread in one side here, a rainbow thread, and then a white in the other. But in the machine here, I've got two pink, so it, that'll look different again. But it's such a nice little thing to be mm -hmm. able to do. I thought I'd just very quickly go through that. But you if need, Do you need to think about your fabric? Yeah, just come into that. And yeah. your pattern that you're on. Yes, because if obviously, so. if you're pin tucking, you're taking in yeah. some of the fabric. Yeah. So what you need to do is you need to decide how you're going to do your pin tucks. You might just want to do a row like this. You might to do, like to do a double row, then a break, and then another double row. But if you take a piece of fabric, this one was six and a half inches, do your um, pin tucks how you want to do it on your shirt front, and then remeasure. Okay. So all these pin tucks then took this piece of fabric into six and a quarter inches mm -hmm. so that means that I've lost a quarter of an inch on the width of the front so all you do is you simply decide where you're going to have your pin tucks and add a quarter of an inch in oh. so you would just fold that you can cut down if you wanted to what you can do is you can cut down here where you're actually going to add it put in a little bit of tape and then just extend your, your pattern for a quarter of an inch. So then you know that you're, um, you're going to be able to still fit your collar. Brilliant. Would you trace out the, um, always trace out your patterns from the, the ones in the book, just so then you put um, all the sizes? Yes, yeah. shall I get one out and show are you? Are they overlapping? This, they are, yes. Yeah. So yes, you will need to trace them if you want to use them all more than once or one you know, a different pair of trousers and things like that. But it's nice and easy because they've got the different sizes here that you cut out. You've got your um, different patterns, oh, but all, all also, that's the, yeah, that's the sizes. Mm -hmm. But um, 
in the pattern here, you, your shirt is blue. Mm -hmm. um, your coat is green, the sweatshirt is red, oh, and great. the trousers are grey. I mean, and the last time I did a pattern on here, it was a multi-size, and that's what I actually do. I take, a, because they were all black, I take a marker and, and, and actually draw them out myself in yeah. a felt pen. So if you get one that isn't coloured like this, but this one's already started. Already done. Brilliant. Yeah. So you can, by looking at that, you can see that the blue is what you're going to need for the shirt and your different sizes. What do you trace yours out onto? Well, this is, um, it's a, like a non-woven curtain um, not interlining. Right. Um, I've got a friend, one of my ladies in Staffordshire Stitches works in a um, curtain yeah. shop and I buy it by the roll. Yeah. <laughs> um, I actually used it in face coverings because it's it's similar to the stuff that they use yeah. for the filter, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, a particle filter. So all my my um, face coverings had it in as well. But um, you can use tracing paper. You can buy Swedish tracing paper, which is almost very similar to this actually, because it can be sewn. Yeah, so oh, you brilliant. can make up a. If you don't want to use an old sheet, yeah. you can sew that to yeah. make your toile. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, not your muslin. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about that earlier, yeah. weren't we? <laughs> When I used to sew, I used to be called a muslin, but then when I came back again after a little break, I'd gone on to quilting and came back to dressmaking and all of a sudden it was a toile and it, it just... Is it a French strange. word, toile? Yes, I was going to Google it and find yeah. out what it meant. I bet it means something like practice or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the patterns are really easy to follow because they're colour-coded. Uh, I know that some of my ladies in Staffordshire Stitches, they buy... Um, dust sheets from one, one of those shops where everything's the same price. Oh, right, okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put that away. So I need a little bit of fabric. Oh, can I grab a bit from down here? Absolutely. You go. need to explain as well the red and the green sleeves. Oh, yeah. It was a Royal Navy reunion, so we've got port and starboard sleeves. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> and I put a little panel down the side as well. <laughs> I know you put a picture on Facebook, but you need to send it into the studio so we can oh, show right. it. I'll on do it. that in the break. What Mike wearing his shirt yes. and me in my finery. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, also there aren't any buttons, so there's 19 or 20 buttonholes Gosh. on that. <laughs> right, but don't be put off by buttonholes. We no. want to do that on another show, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't got the machine and everything set up, but buttonholes do put people off. But with the modern machines and the one-step buttonhole, it is so easy. Yeah. So I'll try and build that in. If no one else does it, I'll try and build it into a, a programme. Brilliant. That, yeah, when I'm doing something with buttons. Um, but... Uh, yeah, because obviously when you're, you, I've got, there's five buttonholes in there because when you're using cufflinks, you've got the four and then you've got another one to take it in another size. So, yeah, it's quite heavy on the buttonholes, that one. But when you had the tropical fabric this mm -hmm. morning, yes, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. And then you've got the trousers. They've got like Bermuda length trousers, so oh, it would be cool. perfect. Somebody's asked the sizes again, what this goes up to. Is it in this, is it this box here, Alison? I'll tell Alison? you what size, hang on, and you can, uh, fin finish garment sizes is on page 80. Thank you. Who They've is that? They've got the page measurements, uh, um, body measurement chart on 11 as well. So you measure yourself from your body measurement chart mm -hmm. and then on the next page, They've got um, this little chart here that you fill out with your body measurement. Oh, your, that's good. Yeah, and then the finished garment measurement, which would be this measurement here. Right. And then that will tell you what adjustments you need to make. So with the, um, the shirt, the largest size is in... On the end there, 55 and 55 a half inches. inches yeah. which is your chest, 52 and three quarter inches on the, the waist and... 52 and three quarters on the hips but um you, there's dress sizes there as well when you get the book it's all so so clear um if you have got any other questions helen let me know right okay so i've got my fabric in now if you're doing this on a um i would practice first obviously but if you're doing it on something like this i would have used a friction pen and marked out my line to make sure i got it straight nice and straight yeah okay Good i idea. mean i'm just going for it now but oh the 
Dawn says toile means canvas. Oh, really? Is that right? Oh, oh right. Well, we used to call it muslin, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Because obviously people used to make their mock-ups in the muslin yeah. because it was a cheaper fabric. Speed it up a bit. Right, so all I'm doing is I'm just feeding it through like... Oh, just got like a you're cutter. doing a normal running stitch. Got a cutter. Yeah. Yeah. So that is now, that's made a little ridge there. And then where those ridges are on the foot, you now run that ridge that you've made with your stitching along the, one of the grooves. So if I go to the next groove along, can I do that this way round? Would you, will you be able to see it any better? That's if perfect. I do it like that. So if we go, so that groove sits on the last set of stitching you've just done, basically. Yeah. Is that right? There we are, and there's, there's the second one. It obviously needs pressing. So what that's done is that's run in there, look. Oh, yeah. So then you can miss a couple. It depends on the pattern you want. And I've got two threads. You don't have to worry. I pulled the two threads through together and then just put them through the, the needles. So let's move, well, move that one along a little bit. So you might like a little gap. But once you've done your first line, it's just, just plain sailing. And is this I'll tucking show you the, the back fabric? Now. Yeah. Well, what the twin needle does is it does like a little zigzag on the back right. and it's just pulling them together, look. Oh, I see. I mean, and you can if you... Some of the feet have a little hole in them that you can put a cord through. So if you want a more pronounced mm. um, tuck in there, you can actually run a cord through it as well. So that's on the back, but you've got a lovely little um, raised pin tuck on the front. That looks, looks lovely on it, children's clothes. It looks very designer, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks so impressive. Yeah, it does. People think you've done something really clever, but... It's just your foot. So, oh, it's definitely worth speaking to um, Janome about those different feet. We'll have to try yeah. and get them on the show as well, won't yeah, we? Yeah, I said brilliant. to Ian he's going to try and get oh, some. Yeah. brilliant. Yeah, um, because it's nice to be able to see different things being used, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So if I do that one again. Sarah's asked how we found you on Facebook, Alison. Sorry? How do we find you on Facebook, anybody that wants to follow you? Do you know, I'm terrible because I don't have a website and... <laughs> Um, I'm in, on Instagram. I am on Facebook, but I need to do, need to make myself a proper Facebook yeah. page. I think. So, what's your Instagram? Uh, Alison Marion Designs. Alison Marion. Not a lot on it. It's double L, <laughs> A double L. Yes, and Marion with a Y. Okay. But uh, yeah, there's not a lot on it at the minute. I'm kept so busy. <laughs> <laughs> you are very busy. I don't know how you do it all. I've got a message come in as well from Anna Maria. Um, and Maria, hello, morning, uh, loving the demo and loved yesterday. Oh, thank you. Oh, it was such a good day, wasn't it? Uh, I buy a king size sheet from a certain shop for a mock up. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And I mean, it's nice, even if it's not 100% how you would have it, it's still nice to wear it. Yeah. And, you know, you can wear it around the house like I do with this one. I mean, I'm forever hooking up the sleeves, yeah. but uh, yeah, I'll show you now actually with the sizing what we, what we do. Yeah, so if you've made your toile and you're thinking, right, actually my sleeves are too long, it's a bit too yeah. long in the length. Yeah, I need a bit round here, I need to add a bit extra. So obviously when you're adding to the body, you don't just add, say you want three inches, you don't just add um, an inch and a half down here because then your sleeve won't fit. Oh, that's so true. You yeah. need to you need to keep this sleeve intact. So the easiest way to do it on a shirt is to put the pleat in the back. Now in the book they okay. do an inverted pleat. Yeah. But I I personally like a box pleat, so I'll show you how I do that now. So say we needed three inches. This is cut on the fold. This is the back, and it's cut on the fold. So what I've done is I've moved it an inch and a half forward. So that is now going to give me three inches extra room. 
it will be in the back, but it really doesn't matter because pulling your sides forward, it's not going to be that pronounced. Okay. So, I mean, you can go a good amount by doing that. And all you do to get your pleat in the back is I'll just take this off and take that forward because I'll show you in a second about the length as well. Let's put that over there. So I've made a mark there just so that you can see it. I mean, I, perhaps a friction pen or something like that that will go when you press it. I've done everything in chalk so that it shows up on the camera. So this is my inch and a half. Now, if you're doing an inverted pleat, you would turn it inside out. Yeah, and that's how and it shows in the, in the book. The in, yeah. But I prefer a box pleat, so I'm just going to go down. Oh, I haven't changed my needle. I'll, oh, yes. I'll just change my needle and everything because I need to get that. Um, just uh, so you're aware, the book that's your main graphic at 10.99 is brilliant value. Not only do you get all of the patterns, you get so much inspiration, uh, inspiration and information. All uh, it, I just love the way it's all spaced out. So if you if you buy one of the, don't get me wrong, there's classic patterns that I know lots of us love. Um, but you get a couple of lines, and you it does presume that you know a lot of the different techniques already. Whereas here you get lots of photographs, you get great descriptions, and you get diagrams all the way through. It also talks you through. Right, okay, so if you've got the shirt, for example, what fabric should I use? What are the finished uh, jumpsuit measurements? Uh, what are the, if you want to do pattern adjustments, if you want to prepare, how to prepare your pattern pieces. Uh, so it, it is really good that you can see, not only have you got diagrams for each step, you've also got a really big description of how to do it. It breaks it down really easily. So we said about a shirt, but there's trousers, there's um, coats, hoodies, sweatshirts. It's absolutely brilliant. It's got all the layout diagrams for each of them. We bought extra of this book in, especially for today. Loads of you have already started making the most of this already. Look at this. I've never seen one of these in a book before. It's a fabric glossary. So there's lots of books that give you a bit of terminology in dressmaking, briefly, or give you a bit of a description of why you might use a certain fabric. But this goes into, I didn't even know there were this many fabrics. Bamboo, cotton, linen, silk, rayon, polyester, nylon, spandex, wool, viscose, uh, cheesecloth, chambray, chalice, crepe, denim, uh, dupion, there's French terry, needle cord, uh, pontaroma, and it will go through as well. So, for example, with your linen, a natural fibre. Linens come from the flax pant. It's mainly, uh, it, it's main quality of linen that most, it's the main quality of linen that most people recognise is its um, tendency to crease. However, uh, it, worth nothing that the high street, that, sorry, the higher thread count um, of fabric linen, it's less likely to crease. So it goes through into lots of detail about each fabric and why you would use it or what's uh, what's the nature and the properties of each one. Here you go, muslin and calico, needle cord, tweed, the satin, there's quilting, cottons, poplins. I've not seen that in a book before, Alison, where it breaks down so many different fabrics. Yeah, I had to be honest, I hadn't seen that. Yeah. No. That's really good, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's always a bit bamboo. Because if you want to it? know what something is, yeah. Yeah, for a particular job. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Right, so I've just put um, a really large stitch. I've gone up to a five because you want a basting stitch. And I've just gone down about an inch or two inches. And then that's a, an inch and a half. No, I can't do it with that on. I need to take that off. Hang on. That's it. So this is the outside. And you're just going to pull that out. And then your, where your fold is will be on your stitching Do you say that's called line. a box pleat? Well, I call it a box pleat, but it might be a knife pleat. Oh, no, a knife pleat is a single one, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. yeah, that's what I've always called it. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, box pleats. I'm thinking of them. They're on skirts a lot of the time, aren't they? Yeah. 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 So then you would just sew... I mean, you can sew a couple of lines to hold it in place so that it's... and. Uh, very often on men's shirts, you have a little loop there mm -hmm. as well, don't you? Yeah. 
So you can do that if you're doing it in your um, alternative colour as well. That can go what just the on there. For? What is the loop for? It's actually a hanger. Oh, is it? Yeah. Cat thinks it's to pull them up. Yeah, <laughs> that as well. <laughs> No, apparently in the um, days of sports days where people were getting changed and they had lockers with hooks. Oh, I see. So they didn't, obviously didn't have coat hangers, so they had, they had these and they just hung their shirt so ah, they didn't get creased. Right. Yeah. Um, if I've got time, I'll show you how to put that on. But that basically is your pop box sleep in the, in the back. Um, so, yeah, that's added your extra width there. That's what your inverted pleat would look like mm -hmm. if, if it was on the front, but I prefer it the other way around, especially if you're going to put that because this looks nice um, yes. around the outside like that. That is lovely professional yeah. finish. So that's that one. Right, so if you need to lengthen or shorten, lengthen nearly every pattern will have a lengthen or shorten here. And do you always lengthen then at the sort of torso as opposed to just adding length onto the end of the shirt? Yeah, because there is a bit of shaping. If you have a look, there is a bit of shaping. Look, it goes oh, in yeah. like that. Yeah. And if you were to carry on there a couple of inches, mm -hmm. you'd have a bit of a funny shape. And they do, on the pattern, they'll, they'll have a line and it'll say lengthen or shorten here. Yeah. So to lengthen it, you would cut down across and then you would put in another piece of paper underneath and just lift it. But with shortening, I'm going to do this two inches shorter in the body. So I folded it along that lengthen and shorten line. And then I'm just going to fold it up an inch. So that's actually taken two inches out of the length of the body. So how do you know how much you, is it trial and error? Will you sort of pin yours and see how well, much, how short you want Well, they do tell you it? what the finished measurements are, but yeah. it's like you can measure a sleeve, but unless you've actually made it, how do you know where your, yeah. um, your top is going to yeah. finish and your yeah. sleeve is going to start? So I would prefer to just make a mock-up yeah. and um, take it from there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, on my sleeve, you do exactly the same but I was taking three inches off of here yeah. because it's so long. So now I've got exactly the same. You've got your lengthen and shorten here. So you can see that looks that looks like that might be at the elbow, doesn't it? Yeah. It's on there. So I've folded it on that line, measured an inch and a half. So that now folded up there will take up three inches. And then because there's shaping in the sleeve, mm -hmm. All I've done is I've just folded that in and that will then give me the shorter sleeve. Mm -hmm. So it's quite simple, but very effective to get a nice a nice fit. And I think that's why lots of people get into dressmaking, isn't it? Mm. It's through frustration of things yeah. just not fitting quite yeah. right. When was it that you started dressmaking then, Alison? Oh, I did dressmaking at school. Really? Yeah, I can remember it taking a whole term to do an A-line skirt. <laughs> <laughs> But then Probably you said you, you took a bit of a break because you went into the quilting and then you recently got back into it. Yeah, well, in the 80s, it, it kind of went out of fashion. Right. You know, dressmaking, wearing your own clothes. I mean, I made my own maternity wear, yeah. but that was in the days we wear really baggy dresses yeah. and big bows around the neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that, uh, after that, I did a lot for Becky. Yeah. Loved it. She had dungarees galore. Oh, cute. Yeah, and little pretty dresses. Um, and then sort of dressmaking went out of fashion a bit. So, yeah, I went on to quilting. And then when I, I moved, I started it up again. Yeah. yeah. And I love it, all of it. When did you, when did you have time to do cake making? When did, was, did that, that come was, in? That was, that was kind of in between sewing. Right. <laughs> and I ended up teaching that. It's a bit strange, really, because I've ended up teaching sewing as well. But... Um, when Becky was little, I used to make her birthday cakes and one of the mums at the school gate said, oh, you would be able to do, make them and sell them. And I said to her dad, I said, well, if I'm going to do that, because people did want them, I said, yeah. if I'm going to do that, I really ought to learn to do it properly. So I went and did a City and Guilds course, an evening yeah. class, and the tutor was leaving. Right. And she said, you wouldn't like to take over the class, would you? Oh, <laughs> my Oh, do you know why? I it doesn't said, surprise me. It doesn't actually I surprise I said, I can't me. take over the class. I'm not a teacher. She said, 
if you say yes, I'll convince the college to pay for your teaching qualification. I haven't looked back. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah. Oh, you're so, so talented. <laughs> so, yeah, I taught um, cake decorating, sugar flowers and things like that. And then went on to general craft, which did silk painting and things like that. And we did a little bit of sewing. But I've still got lots of really good friends from that. That's oh, lovely. So fascinating. And, yeah. You need to write a book. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> Cakes and sewing. Yeah. I don't think they go together, oh, they really. Do. Oh, the apron. They do. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, I've got to get on. <laughs> so, the placket. This is the one placket. thing that you said this yeah. book is brilliant for. I'll so show, you the, show you the placket. And I'll also hopefully have time to show you the um, folding for the covered buttonholes. In fact, we've got 15 minutes. Yeah, right. Okay. So, I would recommend, firstly, that you cut out and mark what they give you on the pattern with all the lines because if you can see here can you see it on that wood mm -hmm. yes you can it very clearly you mark your tailor's tax here I still use tailor's tax um, and it shows you very clearly all your folds you're going to do fold one fold two fold three four five and six now that if I'd seen that years ago, mm -hmm. I'd have made more shirts. Yeah. <laughs> but and do you always transfer all of this information onto your pattern piece? Well, yes, I do. I've done it, as I said earlier, I've done it in chalk, but normally I would do it in a friction pen or something like that that's going to disappear once it's actually done. So I'll take that off because you're going to start, this is a bit of a funny fabric to do it with really because you're going to start on the back of your sleeve but the front of your fabric is this is the front of my fabric so have you how do you know that do you put a mark or do you write yeah. front yeah. or something on it so that you're aware yeah. that you're not doing it the wrong side um, I've got little chalk marks here look so that I know that that's the back and this is going to be the front because that's the bit that's going to be turned through. So normally you would put right side and right side or wrong side and wrong side, wouldn't you? But this is a little bit different. That's why I say do read the instructions and your ta tailor's tack on your sleeve is going to line up with the centre tailor tack on your placket. So we're going to put that on there. And this row here, it explains in the book that row there is the one that you're going to sew on so that needs to line up with your line on your shirt right did i say that's the one you're going to sew on that's the one you're going to cut <laughs> we are going to sew all the way around here so that's what we're going to sew okay okay let's show you this first Right, so now we're going to press. So we're going to go number one, which is my first line. I'm going to press over. Are we in? No, sorry. Yeah, we can see you. And then line number two. Then line number three. Now, if, you, if you're having trouble what you can do is take a piece of card. There is actually um, a piece of plastic that you can buy to do this. I, we did it's have the them in stock. It's rulers, isn't it? Yeah, we had them Lovely in stock, but rulers. I looked online and we haven't got them at the moment. So you oh, can, if you want to, use a piece of card or one of those gadgets to help turn. And then number four, we'll do that again. We'll turn that one. Then number five. Julie said, got this book and the children one presented last month. And given the cost of patterns, they're really good value, br mm. brilliant value. Yeah, 10 99 it really is, isn't it? It's a nice, I mean, there's a lot of patterns in that. Big, heavy book, sturdy book. There we go. So now we'll just sew that line around. I'll put that one back again where it was. Oh, 
that's funny because the last time I was on I did those tulips and it was done and gone wasn't it and we still had loads of time left <laughs> oh this I mean we could we could talk for ages going oh, through lots whole, of different yeah. yeah it can be a whole be day, a whole day of yeah. masterclass of, of making a shirt do you know how to make your own jeans I ne I've never done it. I've got a pattern in preparation. <laughs> I'd love to learn how to do my own jeans. <laughs> yeah. Right, now I'm going up past the tailor's tack. And there's another line on the pattern. I'm going to go slowly there to make sure I get to the right line. Turn. And then go back down mm -hmm. the other side. And I would do a um, either a lock stitch or just a little reverse stitch to hold everything in place because you don't want you're going to be turning this through. Ah, uh, okay. So you don't want to uh, to have it start unraveling. So there we go. And this line here, we're going to cut up there to the tailor's tack. And then we're going to cut out very close, but making sure you don't actually cut into your stitches into the corner. Right. Is my head in the way? No, a little V. Yeah, that's Take it. Take out the we tailor's tacks now because we've they've served their purpose. Right, now all of that is going to fold through to the front. So I need my... And the bit at the top here, you need, may need to pull that through a little bit. And I've got pink thread in here so you can see what I'm doing. So normally you wouldn't see this here because you'd be doing it in a matching right. thread. You can't go wrong with a nice smart white shirt. No, it's lovely, isn't it? There we go. So with number five and six, we're going to fold those over. I love the, I can, I can imagine the, um, the shirt dress actually for the ladies. Yeah, they've got that yeah. in there. It's lovely. And yeah, I like and that with the shirt bottom as well. Yeah. Right. Now five and six are going to cover over that row of stitching. Okay. So there we are, I've just turned that one over there. Yeah. And I'm going to sew up, up there. Bear in mind that this is on the front, so you want to, well, it's not clever, is it? Will this all be in white if you're still doing a contrast? Does the contrast come at a different point? Or if you're doing... Um, um, if you're doing a contrast one, this would be your contrast. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're not sure about top stitching, have a bit of a practice. Or you, could, you could hand sew it. Yeah. Oh, okay then. You could hand stitch it down. Yeah. Julie said, Alison is using my favourite scissors. <laughs> oh, I know. They're wonderful, aren't they, those snips? And Sally Ann said, great demo of oh, Alison. It's so you. clever. Very clever indeed. As long as you don't look at my stitch. <laughs> what a fabulous demo. Thank you. Uh, that's from Carol. Thank you, Carol. I think everyone calls you Marion. Yes, John yeah. Scott's got you. It got yeah. everyone confused. <laughs> right. Does it show up on that board? If I leave yes, it, it on does. that board. Right. Okay. So here we've got our one and two fold that we had, and our three and four. Mm -hmm. So that's folded there. Now that is now going to fold over the one that we've just done. So that's going in underneath. Right. So I'll pull that up there. You, uh, you would, without the time constraints, you would press that out. So that, that's now going to go underneath this pair here. So that one, five, four and five there. Oh, excuse me, sniffing. You're not cold in here, are you? No. Oh, good. <laughs> No one's going to tell me they're cold, but everybody's freezing. Even John Scott came in yesterday and said... Oh, he did say yesterday. Here. Yeah, he did, yeah. Just like that. There we go. Right. 
Now I would normally try and tidy, make sure it's tidy underneath, it's not too bad. Let's tidy up this shape. Julie, what are you apologising for? She says, so sorry, totally confused this morning. <laughs> Alison, you've, uh, Julie, you've even spelled Alison's name right with double L. Oh, only <laughs> points for you. <laughs> right, now I'm going to go up along the outside edge. And this is really well explained in the book, I have to say. It, uh, it is very good because you're going to go up around the outside edge. We need to meet Wendy Ward, don't we? We need to get her on the show. Yes. Last time I was on, and I did her book, I did um, message her through Instagram, actually. Did you? Yeah, and said, thank you for the lovely book. I've just demoed it on Sewing Street. and She's not paying me, by the way. Oh! <laughs> did she message you back? Yes, yeah, she did, and oh. said, thank you very much. Yeah. So we're going up around the outside. And then when we get to the shaping at the top, we're going to go around the shaping. You can square this off if you want. I did do that on Mike's shirt. I, I squared off the top and did it in a little box rather than the, the point. And then that goes down. And then you're going to go down the other side. But here you want to make sure that you're actually sewing down so that you're catching in this underside, the bit that you sewed ah, initially. Yeah. So we need to come down to here. So we'll take that down. One more will do. We've decided with Staffordshire Stitches, when we can get back, that's going to be our first thing. We're all going to make shirts. Oh, there you go. Nice. Our first meeting, we'll sort that out. Everyone will bring their pattern and stuff. The lady's messaging about the pin tuck foot. We're going to try and get one in, but um, you just need to know what category you're... Because you've got a... Do you have I, a Janome machine I do, home? and mine's a category D. That's why I'm using this machine, right. because I had to bring in my category D foot, yeah. Yeah, Janome and Alna are under the same umbrella, so yeah. you just need to make sure that you're getting, obviously, the right foot for the correct category of your machine. Um, we don't... Unfortunately, we don't sell them here. We're going to do our best to get them in. I know Alison did speak to our buyer, Ian, the other day about getting more. So, um, yeah, getting some more feet in. It's worth speaking to, to Alna and Janome if you've got one of those machines anyway to get your pin tuck foot because that's a brilliant technique, isn't it? It is, yeah. Looks exceptional on little dresses. And look at how smart so that There we go. Looks. And that is so quick and that's... Nice and tidy there, and then it's nice and tidy on the back as well. And the the tucks in the shirt always go towards the placket. Right. I will just mention that in the diagrams, there is an error. Oh yeah, you said the description is correct. The description's <laughs> right, but if you go by if you go by the diagram, this diagram has got the placket at the front of the sleeve where it should be at the back. It's right on this one. Ah. Oh, it's right on that it's one. A bit of a typo. And it's right, yeah, it's right in there. I think somebody has just reversed the picture. So don't just so go by images. Don't give just it a go good by read the images. Yeah, do are. give it a read. That's the only thing I found with that. If you do it that way, then you'll end up having to take your sleeve out yeah. and put it on the other side. I mean, yeah. it's not an issue because, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's just that one there. That that particular sleeve should have the um, placket at the back. Right. right. Have I got, just got two oh. minutes to show you the folding for this? Go on then, yeah. Very yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah. We've got to guess the babies, remember, as well. We'll <gasps> oh, do that yes. as well. We'll do that as well. We've forgotten. Um, John made me laugh over Mama, Baby, etc. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, I know. It's so funny. I, we all call her Mama, Baby now. Yeah. Um, I'll stick to gifted lady from now on. <laughs> yes, very handy. Right, okay, you've got everything marked out on your your piece. Or it looks a bit daunting really when you see all these lines, but everything is just folding. It's like a concertina. You're going to fold your first fold, you've got interfacing, your first fold goes in. Mm -hmm. Then your second fold goes in the other direction and the third goes in the other direction which means that you've got a little extra there and also this has got a hangover but what you do is you tuck that underneath and then you just sew up here then that folds over 
and that's where you get your your covered and i really like that from. covered um packet yeah. as well yeah. uh Pam's just said, brilliant de demo. Oh, I've always you, avoided men's shirts because of the plackets, but she said, thank you for making it look so easy. Yeah. Well, thank you, Wendy, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Jan's um, also messaged in. Oh, there's so much I wanted to say. But so, thank you for the detailed placket demo. I usually get there in the end, but this one is oh, now I've got to watch that yeah. I go back to. Yeah. So, jot down today's date, yeah. Jan. Good idea. There's, like you said, there's so much well, to talk about. I think because they're drawings. And they can show arrows and things, whereas when you're using, um, I mean, I do a lot of photographs in my instructions, but it's very difficult to see a stitch in line and things like that yeah. unless you, it's actually drawn in on top. So, yeah. But because it's um, a line drawing, it helps a lot. Oh, brilliant, yeah. brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. So the book, very, 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 very popular indeed. It's just £10.99, way over half the stock has gone. It's got um, such a variety of, of um, wardrobe builders here. So you've got five basic patterns to make 20 wardrobe essentials uh, from waist size 26 to 43 and a, uh, a quarter inches, 66 to 111 centimetres. But everything in here is just brilliant. You've got all of your patterns, colour coordinated. You've got beautiful pictures, descriptions, uh, diagrams as well, as Alison was saying, your pattern layouts for a coat, a jumpsuit, trousers, shorts, shirts. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Different style collars as well, shorts, uh, short sleeves, long sleeves, no sleeves, dresses, longer. I love this one with the granddad collar as well. That's the one I was thinking in a white shirt and you could, I don't know whether that's a fabric itself, but you could applique a little bit to Liberty, couldn't you, on yeah. it? There's so many great options in here. Trousers, really smart trousers, but how to turn them into more of your um, jogger bottoms. Hoodies, all sorts. Nice loungewear as well. Just £10.99, brilliant value. Way over half the stock of this is gone. And we had hundreds and hundreds of those. Uh, for someone who is new to sewing, may I say thank you for a wonderful demo. Uh, a real change from yeah. quilting as well. Yeah. It's nice to do some dressmaking, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, nice. it is, yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Okay, are you ready for Guess the Baby? I want to know... Who, oh, yes. I want to know your answers. Did you... Now, I thought number one were Jules. Correct. Oh. That was the first two. one I guessed, actually. Oh, I recognised. Really? It's the eyes. I just noticed Jules straight away. I thought number two, Mark. Yes, correct. <laughs> uh, number three, Cara. No. Oh. Right, number three, I didn't get either. Did anybody get it at home? Number three was Fiona Hesford. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I can't see that at all. <laughs> no, I thought it might be Cara, actually. <laughs> Go well, on, I number four. I thought Neil, but it's not, because I know someone said that Neil was upset, or someone was upset, because we'd said that. Oh, no, 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 that's a different one. That's oh. a different one. <laughs> oh, yeah. That one, you'll know straight away oh, when no, I tell sorry. you. Yeah, Clive. That's Clive. Yes, Clive, yes. That's Clive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone looks just yeah, like Clive. No, I think I did put Clive in there, yeah. No, I didn't know number five at all. So number five, you didn't get? No. It, it was Susie Duncan. I didn't get that either. Oh, right. <laughs> now, I that think... photo looks too old for a Susie's age. Yes, it does. It does. <laughs> I thought it was John Scott. <laughs> yeah. yeah, initially you did, yeah. Um, and that's six. you. Oh, my, I can't believe you can tell that's me. <laughs> yeah, well, you did give us a really big clue. <laughs> <laughs> Emma is like laughing in the gallery yeah. now. Don't I didn't at my know picture. number seven. Who's number seven? I didn't get number seven either. Catherine Wright, number oh, seven. Really? Oh, <laughs> I thought um, Janice, number eight. Oh, um, I can't see that actually, but oh, no. But obviously not. <laughs> Emma Bradford. Really? Yeah, Emma oh, Bradford. Goodness. And then number nine. Yeah, that was Adele, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I think you can tell. I think you can, yeah. yeah. I didn't until someone else said. Yeah. I didn't see it until someone else said, yeah. And then, we've got more, got more. Yeah. Number 10. No, I didn't know number 10. Number 10's Wendy Orlando. Oh, goodness. Oh, she's so oh, cute. Yeah. I thought 11 was Delphine. Yes, it is. It is. Oh. Delphine, you're doing really well. Yeah, no, sorry. Number 12, I thought was Neil. But yeah, that was, yeah. this is Lots the one. Lots of people did. This yeah. is the one that a lot of people thought was yeah. Neil. Oh, my word. This is our Paul. This is little Paul. Really? <laughs> no, I can't see that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I have no I can... idea who 13 is. 
<laughs> this is so beautiful. Look at your gorgeous mum. <laughs> my dad was in the Navy and we used to send lots of photos. My uncle was an amateur photographer and he used oh. to send off post photos, you know, oh. so yeah. That is a gorgeous photo in your dress yeah. as well. I've still got that. Have you? Yeah, got that up in the loft, yeah. Oh. And that's Hannah, no question. Absolutely, yeah. straight away. That's still, yeah. it just looks like Hannah. It Although does. she's blonde. Yeah. But the blonde curls, Hannah. the curls are there. And mum's put, uh, tried to comb them out. But the yeah. <laughs> she's now just knows <laughs> to just let the curls go free. Yeah. I was uh, wrong on 15 because I said Jane Greenoff for 15. Wendy Gardner. Yeah, no, I said I think it was not because of the photo, but because what she was wearing that I thought it was Jane Greenoff. Ah, oh. yeah. Yeah, Wendy Gardner. Yeah. Sixteen. Right. Do you know who this is, Emma? No. Do you know? Is it Rebecca? Yeah, Rebecca yeah. Reed. Yeah. Seventeen. Now I thought. Sorry, Cat, because I think it's Cat, but I thought it was Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> My guess was Joe. I thought it oh, was, was Joe. It? Yeah. But it's Cat. Yeah. Cat at I did 17. hear that yesterday afternoon. I, and I there's think no question every about what single person is. got 18. Yeah. Everyone got 18. Of course, John Scott. I and, think oh. it's sad. He said that's his earliest photo. Yeah. He said that was the, yeah, he said it was about two and a half. Yeah. It's the earliest photo that he has yeah. of it. Oh, he's so gorgeous. So is 19, Elliot? 19's Neil. Yeah, 19's Neil. Oh, it was such a good fun. It was such a good fun. Oh, thank gosh, you, yeah. Kat, for putting that together for us. And um, yeah, thank you for playing along at home as well. There were a lot of people who were guessing on Facebook. And, um, yeah, it was a brilliant day. It really was. A lovely day to watch. It was yeah. great. Right, we'll see you in an hour. Yes, and we've got go. another new pattern from you, yes. haven't we? A baby cut on this. We're yes. going to carry on with the baby yeah. shower. <laughs> thank you. This is so adorable. <laughs> and doubles up as a playmat as well. There you go. Um, the colourway that you can see on your screen, um, it's called Heart Colourway is virtually sold out on the website, just so you know. So have a look on pre-order and see what is available um, before Alison is back at 11, if I were you. Now we're gonna do a little bit of slow stitching. We're gonna talk all things Sashko and hand embroidery, so don't go anywhere. I'll see you after this. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project. So. I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance so I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills um, you know, slowly. Um, and 
I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. What an amazing demo from Alison, can I just say. Brilliant demo and hopefully that's demystified plackets and pin tucks and all things dressmaking for you. If you've got any questions for her in the next hour, get them in. Um, and we've got, don't forget, coming up in the next hour, another new pattern from Alison Marion. It's her own pattern. We've put together some fabric bundles as well for it. Um, and it's the most adorable, adorable little baby snuggle cuddle wrap which is so cute isn't it absolutely adorable and um yeah i love it absolutely love it continuing with my baby shower theme how lucky about that three days really haven't i because the day before we had yvonne mcatamney with the um the quillo and then we've had um obviously all day yesterday and today lovely baby make so no excuse for me i'm going to um get all kitted out aren't i so this hour we're going to talk things all, all things slow stitching i think it's been a lot of people's savior over the last year just sitting down and doing something mind mindful um and it is really really important and i hope even you know that we can see the light at the end of the tunnel we can still continue on our sewing journey and i know a lot of people who have actually learned a lot from the last year i certainly have that i do need to do some things that just calm me I am obviously always really busy. I still am. I'm not very good at slowing down. But I, I have sort of 
obviously had to start listening to my body but also just quite enjoyed the downtime and not watching scrolling news and not just um, it, it sort of letting my mind get consumed of everything that's going on in the world right now it's really really important to just sit and do something where you can lose yourself and hand stitching I know has been a saviour as I say to so many people um, and especially now the sun is starting to come out fingers crossed March April uh, of course then into the summer but I've really got a feeling we're gonna have a nice spring to be able to sit outside whether it be in a park or sit in your garden and just doing some hand stitching it's really portable as well so we're gonna start with some Sashko which is very addictive by the way if you've started Sashko before then yeah you're probably uh, diving dip into the realms of Sashko we've had uh, some brilliant books that have come in as Go and I think they've all sold out. Um, do have a look on the website and, and see uh, what is available, but I think they've all sold out. Do you want to go for some of the panels? Because these are designed by Susan Briscoe, who is the queen of Sashko. She really, really is. Uh, those of you that have seen her on the show, or if you've had the, the ple pleasure of meeting her in person at exhibitions or craft fairs or any of her workshops, she is such a fountain of knowledge and she's so passionate about um, Sashko. So she's designed these beautiful, beautiful panels and they're already pre-printed with the designs onto them so you don't need to worry about transferring any design it's always the question is it to wash or not to wash your fabrics before you start sewing with this highly advise you do not wash your fabrics because those lines that you can see that are pre-printed onto the panel uh, will completely disappear when you wash it uh, but it gives you an idea of all of these different prints that you are going to be able to do uh, it's on like it's a beautiful cotton but uh, it it is it looks like a linen. It it, it does look like a linen. I'll have to ask. Uh, in fact, let me see if it says it on the um, hundred percent cotton. Markings disappear when washed. Just be aware. But it is made in Japan. Sashko is a Japanese hand stitching technique, which uh, actually originated for workwear and farmers wear. There's so many different panels on here, and whether you want to do it as a sampler quilt and work all of these stitches and then have it as a quilt, or whether you want to, to um, use these lines here, not as stitch lines, but as cut lines, and have that as a centerpiece of a bag, have this one as a centerpiece of a cushion, have these as wall hangings or little gift cards. There's loads that you can do. And as I said, it is, um, it, it is a technique which you can delve so deep and, and do loads of research into. It's really, really interesting because every single stitch is a basic running stitch. If you can do a simple up, down, basic running stitch, you can do Sashko. Uh, and the end results are amazing. But they all have different meanings. They all have different uh, stories behind them as well, which you can research different names in, in Japanese uh, and, in, uh, and in English as well, so you can read up on those. I think this one's called Seven Treasures, if I'm not mistaken, or, or Hemp Leaf. Um, I can't remember, but it's all in Susan, uh, Susan's book. If you know, because my brain is just useless at the moment, uh, let me know if you can remember the names of them. But this is on that lovely burgundy background. The red is gorgeous. We've got the same patterns again, the same prints again, but with different colour panels. All of these are the 2020 versions. There are also 2019 versions on the website as well, but these are all the 2020 ones. As I said, uh, Susan Briscoe did team up with um, Olympus to be able to do this. And Olympus, we've seen the threads in the past, they are absolutely beautiful quality. So we've also got it, it's exactly the same patterns, the same pre-printed panel, so I'm not gonna open this one, but um, this one is LS9985, please. This one's what they're calling light blue. It's like a slate, I would call it. Maybe denim. -y. They traditionally use indigo, so this is a light blue, isn't it? <laughs> if you compare it to indigo. Uh, but it is absolutely beautiful. Maybe start with one like this, where you can just see the stitches and the formation of how it goes, but then 
if you uh, get this home, you also have instructions of, of how to, to work with the Sashiko thread. It will tell you also in Japanese. <laughs> it will tell you in Japanese how to do it. <laughs> 1997, but we've done so many great Sashiko shows in the past, which will all be on our YouTube channel so you can watch back. I can't recommend it enough. £19.99. We had some lovely photographs last time I did a Sashiko show of ladies who were sent in their pictures. So please, will you send them in again? to me so we can show it on air we've got the indigo this is your deep blue so this is your more traditional colorway you could even use them as like placemats and coasters or have it as a, uh, a big wall hanging like this applique them onto it or have them as center blocks of, um, of quilts bags cushions Susan's what sorry yeah, she's cut them up in the past. You don't. You could use this as a stitch line. You could just ignore this completely. Um, I don't think it's stitched on, on on the example here. Or you could use them as stitch lines and stitch all around them if you would like. Loads of options. Um, and even if you just want to do a little section at a time in different colours as well. Traditionally, you would probably use like a, a white or an ivory thread. But I mean, there's some really cool variegated threads as well that you can use some nice bright colours. So you could do this in different coloured threads as well. £19.99. pence. So that one is called Indigo Blue. There's another shade of blue that I've got here. Which, oh, in fact, it's black, isn't it? I'll, if I put it next to the indigo, then you can see this one is black. The finished size of all of these panels, they're all exactly the same patterns. Finished size of this one is 108 centimetres by 61 centimetres. Cara's used them before. Um, and she's cut the panels up into different sections and she's made... Um, purses she's made aprons she's used all sorts she's appliqued them onto different projects you don't need to just see it as a panel that has to be a, a sampler quilt or a wall hanging you could use them for coasters and and dining table mats after Yvonne's show on um when was it Tuesday? After Yvonne's show on Tuesday where we had the beautiful Japanese inspired needle cases the fabrics were absolutely stunning and lots of people Love them. These would be really beautiful to go with any of Yvonne's kits as well. £19.99. You could turn it into different needle cases, couldn't you? As I say, though, Sashko does come with a bit of an addiction warning. It's something that you can just sit, lose yourself. You could do it in front of the television. If you can do a basic running stitch, you can do Sashko. Lovely technique to get uh, into. And then the possibilities are endless. I've seen some amazing designs on denim jackets. I've seen some brilliant design on denim jeans and uh, it's absolutely brilliant. Last one of this pattern. It started off, it was traditionally used as a um, repair technique for farmers wear. Uh, back years and years and years and years and years ago, it's quite a, a, an old technique used uh, in Japan. And Susan Briscoe actually went to Japan to teach English. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Little calf, my ginger biscuit just went down the wrong way, I think. <laughs> Sorry, just have a sip of my drink. Now it's lovely, thank you. Sorry about that. I had a little biscuit in the break. Alison Marion has also made, not only did she make cakes yesterday, she's bought in ginger biscuits today, homemade. I have no idea how she has the time to do it, but they were delicious, absolutely delicious. But I think the ginger just got in my throat then. So this one cut, this colour is called <clears throat> grey, but it's definitely got a warm tone to it. So this one is the last of the same, and remember it's the same panel, the same patterns, the only difference this time is the colour. Um, if I show you again, if I open the red one, then you can see all of the patterns and how versatile they are. I think you can use them for, for greetings cards and things like that as well. Because they've all got meanings, you could also do a little um, cut out you could print it off exactly what each one means couldn't you if you are doing it as a gift for somebody 
Um, but these ones, oh, they're all absolutely beautiful. If you Google Sashko patterns, um, what was it that I was saying before the ginger biscuit got involved? I think it was about the... Um, that Susan went to Japan learning, she went to teach English and she was taught Sashko and she was completely hooked, completely hooked. And she's gone every single year, obviously the, the year that we've just had uh, was a bit of a write-off for her, but she has gone every single year to Japan to, to learn even more and now as I say working with Olympus sourcing fabrics, um, getting new designs, but she's so passionate about this technique and yes it will make your fabric stronger because you're using lovely thick thread so if you do want to use it for bags and things like that or placemats it's going to to make your fabric really really nice and durable the red by the way has been a really popular color very very popular color indeed um, we had a picture come in from Louise. Oh, Louise, thank you for your picture. Just finished my Sashko panel with, with complementing co koi carp fabric. So is that the, um, the ochre one going around the edge? Oh, no, it's not. It's the one in the centre. I can see the blocks now. Sorry. Um, that uh, I bought from Susan Briscoe on the show. Uh, made into a bed runner. It's such a lovely panel to stitch from Louise. Louise, thank you. So, did you cut them up still? Yeah, you did, didn't you? And then you've put your other blocks in between. Put a border and your binding. That looks amazing. As a bed runner, oh my word, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, so, that was the last colour, which is called grey. We also have the Camon. Which, these are family crests. Uh, so that's like your geometric prints where these are all different Japanese family crests. I will open one up. I'll go a different colour this time, but we've got it in red. Which colour should we do? Should we do the indigo? I'm going to open the indigo because this is um, the traditional colour uh, that, that farmers used to wear uh, in Japan. And then just having that lovely stitch not only made it decorative, but also made it sort of really durable. The boro is another Japanese technique, which is another mending technique, but this was more sort of decorative. These ones, as I said, are family crests, which are so cool. Don't forget, do not wash these before because all of your markings will disappear. But it's good that you can see exactly what they're going to look like stitched. Uh, so, each one of these has its own story. Each one of these has um, its own journey. And I wouldn't necessarily start with one of th these ones. They, if you are new to it, just start with something really simple. Just start with maybe one of the smaller ones in the middle. You've got the, the smaller ones, which um, Kat's calling coasters already. Oh, in fact, Kat, yes. Kat moves into her new house tomorrow. And she's got um, a wish list of all the things that she wants to, to get and buy. And there is a very heavy, there's a bit of a mood board going on. And there is a very heavy Japanese influence on all the whole of the, uh, it's very tra tranquil. Yeah, she says her other half absolutely loves all Japanese art and, and different fabrics and things. These would be beautiful as coasters. Because you need coasters, you see, when you have visitors. I think, was I the phone to you, Kat, when Kieran was, um, no, I don't think it was when I was on the phone to you. I was sitting on the phone the other day to one of my friends and, um, yeah, Kieran was around me, like, picking up my thing, putting a coaster down, tidying up. I felt it was a bit passive-aggressive. <laughs> I felt like he was tidying up around me. I'm like, sorry, I haven't put a coaster underneath, so, yeah, you need coasters. If you're going to get a coffee table like you want to get... And you need your coasters. These would make beautiful fabric coasters. Look at this one, the bat. That's so cool, isn't it? That is so cool. And this is on indigo. So it is cotton. It is 100% cotton. It's um, got a bit of a fleck to it. It looks like linen. It's really beautifully soft. Going to be great to sew with. Susan Briscoe, she only works with the best. Um, if she's going to put her name to something, then she will make sure that it's... Uh, what I love as well is that she, she really likes to go down the very authentic route with it. She'll go for the lovely quality fabrics, the, the really um, fab patterns, like the different family crests. I love that. I wonder what all these mean. If anybody at home 
No, it's the, sim the symbols. Message me on Facebook. Message me on Facebook or email in. No, because Kat, Kat doesn't tell me if you email in. <laughs> I see it straight away. Kat, yesterday, she's like, I'm not helping you. I'm not telling you what everyone's emailing in. She says, I wasn't going to tell you the answers on the baby game. Did everybody else get it right? Was everybody else... Um, I wonder if anyone got all 19 right. I saw lots of people having a good go at loads and getting loads of them right. Um, I didn't see anybody get them all right, though. Hannah was on there. Hannah was the blonde one. So we've also got it exactly the same um, family crest panel, 108 centimetres by 61. You can mix and match these, absolutely. You don't need to just buy one. You can mix and match these and they will all look beautiful because they're all the same weight. They're all the same patterns. Just £19.99 from Olympus, designed by Susan Briscoe, 100% cotton. I've had a picture come in from Leslie. Leslie's made them into table runners. So, the geometric ones on the left, and then you've got the family crest ones on the right. Love doing Sashko. Here are my table runners. They're amazing. Thank you for sending those in, Leslie. Keep your pictures coming in. It, it's very therapeutic, do you find, Leslie? It's very uh, soothing, and it's something that you can do. Don't get me wrong. At the moment, I'm not finding knitting therapeutic. <laughs> I have to still think about it. But Sashko, it's a running stitch. You're following the lines. You're not having to create your own design, which is just brilliant, isn't it? If you want something that's really mindful, uh, that you can sit and take on the move, it's really portable, this is brilliant. I know lots of people who watch the telly who need to still sit and do things with their hands. Um, uh, uh, honestly, my screen time, though, on my phone has gone down. <laughs> yeah, it's gone down so much since I have been trying to do my knitting. We've had a picture from Wendy come in. Ah, borrow. Right, so, borrow is something that we're going to be doing very soon. I think we, I think we did do it with, ja uh, with Susan here. I think we have. I think we launched a book here. The book's on the website, in fact, yes. So use Japanese borrow technique and my blue and grey panels for my quilt. That's Wendy. Look at that. I mean, that is impressive, isn't it? Borrow, can you see the, the um, patchwork pieces? So that's borrow. It's, it's very sort of make do and mend, isn't it, Wendy? Where you're just taking small pieces and you can make incredible, incredible um, garments and all sorts out of it. In fact, it's worth having a look on the website of the book. Um, if, you've not, if you've tried Sashka but you've not tried borrow, have a look at the, uh, the book. And Susan goes through all of the different history of borrow as well. Uh, so... This one is in, in what colour? This is your light blue. Your light blue. So compared to indigo, it is a lighter blue. But it's more of like a grey slate colour. Teresa says the coast is a spring, summer, um, autumn, winter, I think. Ah, great show yesterday. Oh, thanks, Teresa. I'm still on cloud nine. I'm still, honestly, completely just feeling all warm and fuzzy from yesterday's show. So lovely. We've had a message from Rosemary. Um, if you can use the small ones as coasters, maybe use the bigger ones as placemats. Really good idea. Get ready, Kat, for your... Uh, yeah, I love Japanese food as well. You could do it from home. Yeah, Kat's got her chopsticks ready. She's got her chopsticks ready, absolutely. Oh, she says, I just need to learn how to cook now. <laughs> You can take out. You've got Deliveroo now where you live. I wonder if you've got... Um, oh, I love, love Wagamama's. Is that near you? She says, I've already checked. I've already looked at all of my restaurants that are delivering there. We have to go to a restaurant soon. But it would be nice to do some lovely uh, placemats, wouldn't it? I think that was the last time we went out for dinner, wasn't it? Wagamama's. Oh, a long time ago now. long time ago. <laughs> 108 centimetres by 61 centimetre panel. This would go really lovely with the denims, actually. This would go really lovely. It's worth having a look on the website for any of the other Japanese fabrics, um, inspired fabrics that we had from yesterday. 
they're really beautiful we've also got it in two other colorways This one isn't called grey this time, which is exactly the same. Can I just show you, if you're buying both of these, if you're buying the geometric and you're buying this, they are exactly the same colour, so this one's got to be called grey. XQ9970. Yeah, it is. It's called grey. Grey, and we've got a dark green as well. It just looks nice. I'm seeing them all with white because I think that's the... Because it's the colour that's printed onto the panels. I'm just thinking they will look really nice with white, but mm, maybe with some of the variegated. What do you think? It's worth having a play, isn't it? Nineteen pounds ninety-nine for the price of the threads. It's definitely worth having a bit of a play around with it. Um, we'll come to those afterwards. Uh, we've got the dark grey. Sorry, the dark green. So just so you can see the difference, cat. That one's the grey. And that's dark green. It looks black on screen, it's not. It's 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 um, definitely a dark green. And Maria. Oh, God, oh right, you need to get that cat. Anne Maria got her daughter a Wagamama cookbook. She's got a cookbook for Wagamamas. That's really good. I didn't know that they did one of those. Because they are delicious, aren't they? Oh. I really like the smoothies that they have there as well. I love that, the raw juice. Oh, oh, I miss Wagamama's. 19 other Japanese restaurants are available. Is it, is it Japanese or is it, um, yeah, I think it's Japanese and I'm not sure. What's, oh, uh, really? I'm not sure. I don't think it's only Japanese restaurant, is it? Um, this is lovely, 19.99 for your panel. Um, all of the panels very, very popular. Whether you're going for the geometric or whether you're going for the uh, family crest ones, all extremely popular indeed. <laughs> Kat's now added it to her wish list. In fact, Elliot keeps saying, what do you like as your housewarming gift? She's just sent him a hint, hint link <laughs> to a Wagamama's cookbook. So, <laughs> Anne-Maria, thank you. Thank you for uh, Kat's gift from Elliot. Should we do some threads? Can we do the white? Now these, we've got the big chunky 100 metre thread bundles. If I'm being honest, it is something that you're going to want to do a lot of. So at 4 99 you might as well get the big packs. They are different to embroidery skeins because you don't split your stranded cotton. They are super duper strong. They're designed to go through um, denim and really heavyweight fabrics. They are made from 100% uh, made from cotton. They are Olympus and Susan Briscoe does do uh, a bit of a tutorial on our YouTube channel of how to work with Sashko thread. So uh, basically what she does, and it feels like a crime to do this, but she literally snips straight across it and then plaits it and pulls it through, pulls it out of a very loose plait. As I say, she's done it on um, on YouTube, on our shows on YouTube. I think there is a diagram of it as well on those instructions with the panel. So if you've got the panels in this, then you'll know how to work with it. But it is super, super strong. Susan, I remember when she came in, she was a bit taken aback by the prices that we did on the threads. In fact, she even said that she can't get them at these prices. Um, so I don't actually know how, I don't actually know how we've managed to get them so low, but uh, it's 100 metres for 4 99 We're over allocated in baskets. We've got other colours. Can we do the ochre? Because I love this. I think this with your indigo, I think this with your grey, uh, that greyish colour would look amazing. <gasps> Sue! Oh my word! No, Sue! I don't agree. My husband makes me laugh. He says, why go to one my mama's when you can stay at home and eat a pot noodle? No, it is expensive, I think. It is expensive when you go there, but um, that's my opinion. But it's a treat. It's a really lovely treat. It is a lovely treat. But um, no, it's not the same as one of those noodle pots. No. I'm livid. I'm livid. Right, four ninety nine. Oh. Oh. We're all in the mood 
now, Sue. We're going to have to go and get pot noodles in the break. <laughs> Four pounds, 99. 100 metres of your 100% cotton thread. Oh, if you've only used your ivory or your white before, try using different colours along with it. That's with your, um, your dark green. That looks nice. You could do it with... Your black would look really, really nice. Oh, there's some beautiful variegated threads as well, as I say. So it's, it's worth absolutely having a bit of a go with these. Um, we've also got the grey and the light blue. The grey. You could do multicolours. You can do... The way that Susan always shows beginners how to do it is to use different colour threads so you can see the journey of the stitches. So, for example, when you see this, I would almost think of it as cross stitch like that, but it's not. So the way that it stitches, the running stitch is here, running stitch there, running stitch there, running stitch across, running stitch across and running stitch down. So when Susan's t uh, teaching, she will always do different colours. So this all in grey and then she'll do this one all in blue and then she'll do this one all in ochre. So then you can see the thread paths, but it's up to you. Um, that would look really lovely in all different colours. The white is all completely sold out. This is probably the closest colour, obviously, if you do want to keep it quite neutral. Uh, just £4.99 for your grey. This on the red, what do you think? This would look really striking on the red, actually. Just £4.99. Then we've only, the only other 100 metre one, so the big skein, the only other one we've got is the blue. The blue's a lovely sky blue as well. Nice for summer, isn't it? It's really fresh. It's not what we generally see for Sashko, but imagine this on a denim jacket. Imagine this on a, even on a white denim. Doing Sashko would look cool, wouldn't it? For bags, for tote bags, oh, it's lovely. Just £4.99. I think a lot of people, um, when you think of embroidery and you think of hand stitching and you think of um, Sashko, you think of wall hangings or or quilts whereas actually you could just do some really lovely simple um, flower pot covers you need to make yourself a flower pot cover don't you um, but yeah John Scott bought cat a lovely plant and um, a camellia which is really sentimental to cat and he didn't know although I don't know whether you heard us talking about this yesterday with John Scott, but when I told John that I was pregnant, he said, I already knew. And I said, what? How? And he says, Paula's told me. I have no idea who Paula is. Paula doesn't know that I'm pregnant. But Paula was um, his psychic and told him that uh, she didn't let it slip. She just knew. So he said, yeah, I already knew. But anyway, he must have already known that you, um, uh, that's a very sentimental plant to you. I said I think Paula told him. I thought Paula would have told him that cats, uh, it's a very sentimental plant to cat, because she used to make perfume with it when she was little. When she was about seven years old, she used to fill up an old sandcastle bucket, pick off all the petals off the floor. You used to get your mum's perfume and pour that in. I didn't know that part. And she used to think that she'd made perfume with the roses. Um, Lena said, how do I buy this book, please? Which book are you talking about? Which book are you talking about, Lena? If you're talking about the um, dressmaking book that we had in the last hour, it's underneath us on the web. Um, if you want to buy the borrow book, maybe, the one that we showed up on the website, if you go onto the website, this one, the book of borrow, type in the word borrow in the search engine, this book will come up, B-O-R-O. -O. Or if you want to phone the customer service team, Lena, the item code is here. R-O-P-U-25. Let me know if I've answered your question, Lena. Uh, okay, we've also got the variegated. Do you want to do the blues? Because we've just done that lovely sky blue and this will just subtly ombre into different shades of blue which will look amazing with your Sashko. Now, these are such good value. They're 179 If you want to dip your toe in and have a go, if you want to add a bit of variegated thread into your Sashko, then it's one of those that just 
oh, add to your order, add to your basket, you'll only pay one PP. Can't stay on them long though. Um, now these aren't 100 meters, these are 20 meters, just so you're aware. 20 meters, we've got the greens. The greens, it goes from white to like a light spring green, to a blue and then a deep, beautiful jade color in there as well. You know how much I love my jade color. £1.79 for 20 metres of your Sashko thread. Again, lovely and strong. You don't take strands out, you do it with one big chunky thread. Um, we've got three sort of shades of pink. Let me show you them all together so you can see the difference. Pink and red. One's pink and purple and one's pink and white. Let's do pink and red. Is that this one? SX9949. They call it blue red. It does have a blue. It does have blue. It has a light blue. It's got this corally red um, and, and, and purples in there. Navies. It's lovely. £1.79. I'd potentially put this onto black. I think this would look really striking on, a, on the black panel. Because even if you um, are putting navy on black, the navy colours would still stand out. We've then also got the pinks. Now this is pink into purple. And then there's pink into white. Pink purple. 20 metres again. Multicoloured, variegated, Olympus quality thread. It's the same story with these, by the way. Uh, Susan Briscoe has no idea how on earth we managed to source it at these prices because she can't even get them at these prices. One seventy-nine. If you are brand new to us, um, hello for one. Thank you for joining us. You'll only pay one PMP all day long. You'll only pay one PMP, and that's across uh, our show and Yarn Lane website as well. So if you do love crochet and knitting and you've bought something from Sewing Street, it's worth looking on both of our websites as it's only one P&P across the show and the websites. Um, and then the final colour of the variegated thread is your pinks into whites. For the shirts, please, Lena's asked for. Um, right, so we'll run the graphics through for you, Lena, so you can see the item code. £1.79 for your pinks into corals, into white as well. Are you ready, Lena? The uh, item code number for the sewing basics for everybody, which we were looking at the shirts from earlier um, with Alison. Your item code is there on your screen. It's QXPU51. I hope that helps, Lena. Um, hundreds of you have checked out on that book today. Amazing. Oh, please send in your photographs. If you've made any of the shirts, the jumpsuits, the trousers, it's a brilliant book. Really, really clear book. Can't recommend it enough. And Alison can't recommend it enough. We've got the smaller Sashko panels. I've no idea where this hour's gone, so we are going to go quite quick. The cranes, two cranes. Let's do the uh, two that are on the indigo colour um, cotton first. Finish size. On this is 12 by 12. This is what it's going to look like once it's stitched. Um, remember the ink that's used to, to, on, to print onto the fabric is water soluble. So even be careful with your iron if you've got a steam iron. Um, I said about chucking it in the wash. Don't chuck it in the wash because you, your lines will disappear. But also be careful if you are using a steam iron. Make sure that you haven't got steam. The other one is Autumn, which has got your dragonflies, which are so symbolic in Japanese culture. You've got your waves, you've got beautiful, um, which in, in quilting we know as clamshells, but in uh, Sashko, they're known as waves. The panel, you can see here, but if you look on the website, you can see it clearly. You can see it nice and clearly. We're just running out of time, so I'm whizzing through these. £12.99 if you do want to do a smaller panel to start you off, um, as opposed to one of the larger ones, go for it. It's a really nice affordable hobby to start because you don't actually need, you don't actually need much to get going. Needles, thread, and your fabric. Um, Serenity. That's a nice name, isn't it, Serenity? Do you think that's a nice girl's name? <laughs> Everything I'm looking at now is, I'm looking at it in names. 
Oh, this one's beautiful. If I show you this part here, I love that it's got the sun, it's got the flowers, it's got the beautiful leaves. That is gorgeous. £19.99 for a 12-inch square. There you go. That's what it looks like. What colour would you do it in? Would you do it in different colours? You could do the petals in a variegated pink, couldn't you? Sun, you could use your ombre, uh, your ochre. Look lovely. Purity. This is your purity. Oh, this looks... See, this looks very complex, but actually, remember, it's just a running stitch. That is all that it is. It's a running stitch. So, um, really achievable, and this is what it looks like as a finished panel. It's uh, 35 by 65 centimetres, which is uh, a, a 12 inch square finished size. 19, um, hang on, is that one 19.99? 19.99, it's slightly bigger this one, and that's in greige. Um, then we also have this, which is really interesting. So you could start, to create your own Sashko designs. So if you've got any uh, templates that you want to transfer, if you're just going wild and you think, right, I know what I'm doing now, I want to create my own designs, you've got your grid, which will completely disappear once you've washed it. So it's good that you've got those markings to know the length of your stitches. So they're all gonna be square and in line. You could even draw it out. What I would do is I'd get this grid, get your friction pen, and draw it out, exactly what you're doing. Then you could stitch, um, so you've still got that sort of mindfulness. You don't have to think about it as you've already drawn it out, you've designed it out there. And even if you're thinking, actually, I don't like that design, I've drawn it and I'm not sure, I'm not keen on it, just iron it off if you've done it with a friction pen, just don't use steam. Jane Greenough was saying, she can't draw but she sees in squares. She's cross-stitch. Um, she's incredible, and she draws in squares. So if you want to create your own uh, design, yeah, this is this is the way to do it, isn't it? To be able to have it with the uh, with the the one-stitch Sashko grid. Now, very very quickly. <laughs> Whoops, it was supposed to be a 50-50 split hour. We've got our needles, we've got our needles, we just need to quickly do the pack of eight. The great thing about Sashko needles and the reason that they're different to embroidery needles is that they've got a really big eye at the top so you can fit your nice chunky Sashko thread through. They're also extremely strong and they've got a very, very sharp point to, uh, to, to insert into your denim or into your fabrics. Um, so you get four, a set of four types, all these uh, beautiful sizes and they've got that gold, um, gold eye as well. Right, over allocated on the Sashko needles uh, that are in baskets. In fact, if you manage to get the needle cases from Avon Macatamini, they'd be a nice little addition to go with that. Plus, we've got the long needles, which are personally my favourite. Those of you that have watched demonstrations of Sashko in the past, these are your official Sashko needles. Um, the reason that um, I love them particularly is because if you've seen demonstrations, you'll see lots of people packing multiple stitches onto their needle in one go, so you can get a really good run at it, um, which is brilliant. Plus, they're super, super strong, very, very sharp indeed, and have that extra large eye for your thicker Sashko thread, £3.49. pence. It's supposed to be a 50-50 split show of Sashko and embroidery. We've got how long? Five, five minutes to whiz through embroidery. Now, we did have Calico, I think it's already sold out on the web, well done if you got it. This is your brilliant seat frame. Uh, if you do like to work from a hoop, if you do like to do bead embroidery, gold work, if you uh, do any hand embroidery, what's brilliant about this is that you can carry on sort of with your, your busy life. So if the phone rings or the door rings and you think, right, I can put my needle in, I can be hands free, and I can be on the move and, and, and know exactly, and come back to it, and it's all nice and taut. So you put your work into the hoop, which is a, how big is that hoop? 10 inch, 10 inch hoop. It also, it comes, um, I'm gonna say the word flat pack, and it, that's hilarious because it's not flat pack, it's about four pieces. Emma put it together in the break. <laughs> so that's how quick it is. 
She doesn't didn't even read the instructions. Get you. Um, it just, <laughs> she says, so it's probably wrong. Uh, but you can adjust the height depending on the length of your torso, obviously, because you're sitting on it. This is one, this is the one that you sit on, which is brilliant. So you don't need to clamp it to a desk. Um, you don't need to clamp it to anything. You literally sit on that and then you can have it in front of the sofa. You can have it on the move when you're on the train. Oh, it, they're genius, Emma. Emma's like, oh, that's very clever. It's very clever. Good idea, isn't it? We used to have so many requests for these and I remember the day that Hayley, our head of TV, got these in. And she, oh my word, she not only sent me an email, she sent me a voice note and she called me. She came into the studio to tell me, I managed to find these, I've got them, because everyone was asking about them. $27.99 for your embroidery seat frame. All of your instructions are enclosed, but it leaves your, your hands-free work. You can just, um, you could do multiple I know when I've seen people working on doing embroidery before, they, they do a little bit here and then they think, oh, actually, I want to do a little bit over there. And they just have loads of different threads and needles all in their work ready to go. So that's ideal for that. We've also got a great organiser box. Um, the organiser box that we have comes with 10 quality DMC skeins. Colour, um, colours are at random, but you'll definitely get 10. Look at the price. You're getting the books for free. These normally over a pound each. That's ten pounds. Well, straight away at least, because they're normally about one pound thirty or one forty, I think. Um, but Cara Ackerman, she used to work for DMC, and they are such beautiful quality. She really, really champions them. Uh, so you've got all ten different colours. And you've got a great box. Now, this has got lots of different storage compartments in here, but it also comes with a hundred paper bobbins, so you can wind up all of your um, all of your skeins. I know that Rebecca Reed actually has sat and gone through all of her skeins. Has she got them all in rainbow order, though? Knowing Bex, she probably has, hasn't she? Knowing Rebecca, she's probably got them all very satisfyingly in, um, in rainbow order. There's also a larger compartment here, which is handy to keep your tape measure and, and your, uh, your scissors, maybe your bobbin winder in there as well. £9.99. Okay, now, come on over with me because we are going to just have a quick look over at the light box. Oh, by the way, uh, we haven't had time, but also have a look on the website at Native Lighting because, of course, one key thing with embroidery is making sure that you've got the right light. So whether it be lights like this or a light box like this. So, um, it's not glass, so you don't need to worry about it breaking. It's really lovely and lightweight. It's nice and slim, but if you are transferring any patterns, especially when it's, it's not bright and sunny outside, it can be quite difficult. So in, in, in transferring your embroidery patterns onto your fabrics, onto your linen or your calico or your cottons uh, can be quite difficult especially how many of us have sort of tried to, to lean up against a window on a grey day to try and struggle transferring patterns and it's just not ideal. Whereas this is brilliant. It's a really good size as well. It's an A3 size. You've got the measurements around the edge here. You've got a lovely light, which is LED, so it's not going to give off any heat. You don't need to worry about changing bulbs. It plugs into your mains, but it also has a USB connector, so you can plug it straight into your sewing machine. Or um, I know lots of uh, lots of new homes at the moment have got the um, USB plug sockets in the walls so this is brilliant but you've got three different light settings so that's off light setting one two and three three different brightnesses but it's not a glaring light it's a lovely um even spill of light 49 pounds and 99 pence your notions a3 light box which is a sewing street exclusive Sewing Street exclusive. Remember, if you're purchasing more than one item today, only one p and including larger items like this, including larger items like your native lighting. I mean, this one's great. It's got the magnifier. It's got the ring light. It's got the really flexy arm. So if you do do lots of embroidery and you want both light and magnification, have a look on the website at all of the different native lighting ones. This is, I think, the only one that's got the... Uh, the big magnifying glass. We've got a little one. 
It's got a smaller magnifier, hasn't it? So if you're doing smaller projects, it's a little um, desk lamp, but this is a big clamp. If you want to go onto our website and find more embroidery bits and bobs, if you go to tools, lighting is over on the left hand side there. You've got the Lumina lights there, the desk lamp, you've got the, uh, the ring light, the light box, the different magnifying ones, the reverse lamp, um, some of the smaller lighting uh, uh, little desk lamps as well are on there. Absolutely over the next few minutes, have a bit of a browse through and see what is available um, and if you are taking advantage of any of the native lighting, even though their big lights is still covered under one postage and packaging. Okay, it's Alison Marion time. She is back with a brand new project. Do not go anywhere. It's super duper cute. It really, really is. I feel so lucky that I feel like my baby shower is just continuing through the week. Don't go anywhere. Alison Marion is coming back up with me right after this. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. 
Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. We've got Alice and Marion here today. We are absolutely loving this week. Thank you all so much for your company again today. Um, we've got the most adorable baby cuddle nest. It's a brand new pattern from Alice and Marion. We've all been cooing over this um, over the last week on Facebook. If you've seen it in the last couple of days, loads of people have been very excited about it. In fact, I know loads of people have been excited about it because that colourway has completely sold out already on um, pre-order. Well done if you managed to get it. Before I introduce the kits, the last hour that we did with Alison, um, we saw uh, the shirt. Now, Alison has very kindly sent in the photograph. So remind us where this was, Alison. This is brilliant. Gosh, now was it Liverpool or Manchester? I can't remember, but it was a Na Royal Navy reunion. So oh. that's a tot of rum in Mike's hand there. <laughs> <laughs> Look how smart he looked. I bet he was so proud. It's, it's such a, a, a yeah. proud moment to yeah. just say, yeah, yeah I made it, made it, amazing. Um, so yes, we wanted to show everybody that because it looks very <laughs> dapper, doesn't he, our Mike? Uh, right, this hour, We've got some bundles to show you. Um, so we've got this one, which is the one that completely sold out. This is the one that Alison made the design up in. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. We have got another one of the um, the yellows though. Should we do the other yellow one, just in case anybody missed it? This one is Stars with Lemon. And it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Why not? Absolutely. Emma's saying, I want to put my puppy in there. <laughs> puppy cuddler. Oh, absolutely. Um, we'll talk through with Alison exactly why uh, she she bought, uh, she came up with this design. It's lovely. So you're getting this time a metre of lemon and a metre of beautiful bright sunshine stars plus you're getting Alison Marion's pattern um, for just £24.99 and, and we will be going through it in today's show so absolutely check out on that one if you missed out on the other yellow one £24.99 we also have the cats yes this is so lovely mm. again really unisex isn't it mm. uh, so the the lovely cute little cats look there's a little bird on there and I love the colours of these together. That works really, really well, doesn't it? So you've got the green, the green spot. You've also got the cat. I love all their expressions, do you? <gasps> They're so cute. Plus, you've got your pattern. Brand new in today for £24.99. Very, very limited indeed. And then our final kit, which is lovely. I think this is very on trend indeed, is your greys. You graze, you can't go wrong. A metre of each fabric and your pattern. Metre of each uh, fabric and your pattern. Same price again, £24.99. Your neutral grey baby cuddle nest. Honestly, we've seen the most beautiful, beautiful baby patterns over the last three days. And this is, again, no exception. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. 24 pounds and 99 pence. So we can do da, 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 the pattern on its own. Already been very, 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 very popular indeed. Um, maybe you got some of the baby fabrics yesterday. We launched the most beautiful range of guess how much I love you fabric. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing this really loud. Just talk about yourself a second. Da, 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 da. There we go. Um, inside here, you've got all of your very, very clear, thorough instructions. Remember, a metre of each fabric. We're going to be talking about freezer paper applique. First time I've seen a demo of uh, freezer paper applique on the show before. Uh, 
that was like pick up a penguin wasn't it um your templates as well included all of your handwritten instructions plus you've got photographs as well and today's show to jot down today's date if you want to watch back on youtube just 7.99 amazing brand new pattern in today and yeah we were thinking there's so many lovely fabrics on the website all you need is a metre of each. We uh, launched yesterday such gorgeous baby fabrics. We can do the lemon poplin spot by the half metre. So if you loved the lemon, um, but you missed out on the hearts, all you need to do is add another metre of the, a, a different fabric. So hang on, no, that one's the lemon spot, isn't it? So is it just lemon on its own, this one? Lemon on its own. £3.49, a half metre. You need two units uh, at £3.49 each. Remember, all that you need to do is go onto the website. When you click Add to Basket, it says Quantity. Just add two, and it will come joined up in a one metre piece. Just £3.49. What about even the tropical fabrics from the first hour? There were some lovely ones. Oh, what about, dare we dive into the realms of liberty? You could even look at some beautiful Liberty fabrics on the website if you would like. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. We've also got the grey poplin spot, which we can do by the half metre. Um, remember, you need one metre. Grey and yellow are very, very popular. In fact, it's colour, Pantone colour of the years uh, it is grey and yellow. And yeah, if you don't know the, uh, the gender, then it's lovely neutral colours. And in fact, if you have a look in next john lewis mamas and poppers if you look in marks and spencers if you look in any of the uh the stores that sell baby things they're all at the moment gray and yellow very very in indeed uh three pounds 99 it's lovely neutral colors aren't they absolutely uh, and then we've also got, which Alison will be working with, the green spot, but we can do it by the half metre. So if you did want to add more fabric, maybe from your stash that you've already got at home, uh, maybe if you want to indulge in some of the brand new fabrics that we launched yesterday or had earlier on, on today's show, £3.99 for a metre, sorry, for half a metre, you will need a metre for the project, so two units. Fantastic. Uh, is there anything else that I need to mention before we... Uh, talk to Alison just very quickly we'll be talking through exactly why you need it and how useful it is uh, there are so many different crafting uh, projects that you can use freezer paper with uh, in fact I remember seeing on Pinterest I think it was something stupid like 50 or 60 it might have even been 80 ways of using freezer paper in um, in crafts but we're going to be using this for one of those today for applique so you'll see it in action but Normally, if I'm being honest, because it's an American product, it's really difficult to get here in the UK. They sell it in the supermarkets in America to freeze meat, to wrap meat with. Um, but actually, in the UK, it's really difficult to get hold, a hold of and you would generally have to pay quite a hefty shipping charge to get it over from America. So make the most of our 1 PMP all day if you bought something already and, and get some freezer paper in your stash. Fab. So this is adorable. I uh, absolutely love it. And you, we were talking about how you came up with, with the, the design, Alison, yeah. earlier on. Well, but when Becky was little, we just used blankets to carry the babies in yeah. and, you know, corners go here, there and everywhere. Shall I get that down and show oh, you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes, please. And it can double up as a, a floor mat, too. Oh, and it's like you say, even when they're slightly larger, it can be a play mat. You can add that. That's to why it. we went with this one, because although it's not overly babyish, yes. once once you've got past the carrying the baby around stage, yeah. um, they could still use it as a play mat. So we've got I mean, it's up to you what side you want to use the fabric because you get you have the same amount of fabric for both sides, so you okay. could swap them around if you wanted them in opposite. But uh, all you do is you've got your little bundle there, and then you pull up the ties at the bottom with their feet nice and cosy. Oh. And then you've got this just to wrap. Oh, I love that. And you've got no loose ends or anything that's, that's going to, you know, get under your feet and, yeah. Yeah, so. that's it. That's such a good idea. <laughs> really, really good idea. 
Aww. I was thinking you could even. I wonder can't whether. Wait for it. Really can't wait. I know. Yeah. Are you going to be on babysitting duty for <laughs> yeah, me? Yeah. Too right. <laughs> I was thinking. Do you know? I actually had this thought. I thought because Mike's in the in the green room. I know that we've got him oh, already doing lots of jobs. But if he comes in and I come into work, then yeah, we've got a babysitter on hand. Not only is he a roadie, and he's yeah. doing all your production line yeah. and doing all your instructions as well. Be babysitter. Brilliant. So, is this a particularly difficult mate? No. No, it's just self-binding again. I did that on the winter quilt um, because it's such an easy process. Mm -hmm. All you're doing with this one is in one of the seams, you're putting in the tie so that you can pull up, pull up the bottom. But the, the thing I have done with this is I've used the freezer paper applique because it's nice and soft. Ah, I've um, not seen this technique of applique with freezer paper. Generally, ah, right. we use bonder web, don't we? Yeah. So you can do it with bonder web, but oh, why yes, are you, you can using do. freezer paper this time? Because you actually take that out and there's no hardness, because this okay. is going to be against baby's skin, isn't yeah. it? So there, there's, no, there's no roughness and it, it's, really, it's soft, ah, you know, because you, you take away the freezer paper. Do you use freezer paper for any other projects? Is freezer paper something that comes in handy? In your craft yeah, room. Yeah, I mean, I love free motion applique, you know, raw edge applique, yeah. but the finish, um, oh, it's on to do list. You know, one of those lovely American um, folk art quilts where they've oh, got nice. the really bright colours and they've got like um, tulips on one and yeah. lovely flowers on another, yeah. And you've got no raw edges, so you actually turn the edges. Right, so, so it's a needle turn applique technique yeah. then. Ah. Yeah. Brilliant. But because you take everything out, it's still nice and soft. And I've also hand quilted because your quilting depends entirely on the wadding that you use. Okay. If you use um, some of the wool waddings mm -hmm. or some of the cotton waddings, you have to quilt within a three inch quilting. Whereas most of the polyester, you can go to about a 10 inch. Right, so you don't It doesn't have to do specify as much. on this one. Right. So, um, you know, with this one, I haven't haven't gone to the three inch, and you can do the applique um, quilting however you like. I've just done a few more hearts with a few hearts in the centre. And you do do you do um, add the heart template, which I suppose you can use again for your quilting. Yes, template. yeah, that's what I've done here, and then in here I've just made some smaller ones. So yeah, it's up to you. I mean, you could just cross check it if you wanted to. We've got the um, Allisons use the crib size poly down, which is just £8.99. Is there a wadding that you would recommend, really, if you're making this for a baby? You want something with a bit of loft. Okay. You don't want anything that's too flat. Yeah. Because you want it to be nice and squishy, don't yes, you? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And then when, you know, as I said, when they're past where you're carrying them around and cuddle them, I mean, you could easily put a teether on one of these. When, oh, yeah. You know, the toys and things could go on there so that they don't get lost and then they can be carried around as well on the on the mat just to play if you're going out when we can go out <laughs> that's it absolutely what was that sorry cat wendy's messaged me on facebook oh you'll have to get into the babysitting queue behind me alison <laughs> is that wendy gardner and that's wendy orlando oh, is it? Oh. she says this is a fab design the design's brilliant love 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 it <laughs> amazing oh yes thank you stop volunteer everyone keeps volunteering for this babysitting <laughs> duties you're gonna regret it we can um, take the, the baby <laughs> fabric shop in wendy <laughs> <laughs> the which one sold out Lemon and Stars is now sold out as well. Lemon's very popular. We've now got the grey and we're working with the cats. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I won't put that back up. It'll take a little while, won't it? Right. So it's a really, really easy make. So I thought I would show you the um, freezer paper applique because I tend to do a double layer of the paper. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've I've already used that four times for this one here, and I'm just going to try, because I think you could probably get away with using it again. It's not sticky back, but it's... No, it's like a wax. wax. It, it doesn't leave anything on your, paper, on your fabric, but you're going to put it on the... Whoops. On the back of the fabric. And because you get a metre of each fabric, I suppose you can use it whichever way around you want, yeah. if you want it with the yeah. cat's border or the yeah, you can. green centre. Oh yeah, there we go. And that's stuck I down. I can still use that one, but I will show you how I got to that. I'll cut that off a minute. Because I use a double, a double layer. 
because it, it gives you more something more substantial to hold on to. So if I just cut one piece off, I wouldn't be as wasteful as this at home. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got one layer. I can, I can put it on the ironing mat because it doesn't matter. It's not going to leave anything sticky or any residue. And I'm just going to put one layer down. If you were doing this at home and you're using the template from the pattern, because the template is in the pattern, you would draw your template on one of these first. But because I do quite a, quite a lot, have I got my template there? Yeah. I've actually got a template that I draw around because I've done several of them. So then... Oh, you could still personalise this, couldn't you, as well? It's too warm. Name it, on it, it won't work. Oh. It's too warm. <laughs> oh, your, fri your friction pen. <laughs> well, I'll use that one. But uh, you can use a Sharpie. A Sharpie doesn't leak. Uh, into your fabric, but I wouldn't recommend using anything that you think because we're going to put liquid on it in a minute I wouldn't use anything that you think might Leach into the fabric where if you put a Liquid on so I wouldn't use a biro or anything like that, but ah. I have used a sharpie Okay. Oh. I don't normally worry about uh, scissors too much but I've got a couple of layers there so I will get my paper scissors paper out scissors yeah oh yeah I'm, don't I'm not I'm not that precious it. about my scissors but I think you're the first so I've ever met to ever say that well I've got one of the Fisker sharpeners and they're brilliant oh, there you, you go. can just you can just sharpen your knife uh, scissors it's no problem so there we go you just cut out whatever shape it is and you you'll see that you can go quite small with these I've got another gadget to try. I asked Kat earlier on if I could try this stiletto because you're actually turning the fabric quite close to the iron. Okay. And this has got the silicon end, so ah, it'll be quite interesting. interesting to see. Yeah. So now you've got quite a substantial um, template there, yeah. and you can see that that's holding the fabric nicely. Mm -hmm. So you just bond that on with some heat. How long does that stay there for, Alison? Um... Well, I could go and leave it and yeah, come and it back would be all right. yeah. days later. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. I think this is why everyone loves these paper, because it wasn't designed for crafters, was it? No, you can store your meat with it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap your sandwiches. <laughs> so I'm cutting about, it, this isn't critical either, about a quarter of an inch around the outside of the template. Do you need to be accurate with that? No, not at all, because you're going to fold it all in. And then I'm just going to do a few snips. You don't want to do too many because you want you don't want to run the risk of actually your fabric starting to fray. So you don't want it to go too close. And then we'll go down into the point. So just on the curve around the top of the heart. Now I brought with me my trusty little egg cup. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Another one of your gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funky little egg cup. It's got feet and everything. Yes, he has. And I also I've got a makeup brush that I've cut the bristles off. So I've got a nice little short stumpy brush. Mm -hmm. And this is where it's going to help me keep the fabric in place because I'm just going to spray a little bit. June says, genius idea, double layer freezer paper. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> uh, she says, I use it for needle turn applique. So, yes, yeah, yeah, double layer it. Go Actually, for it, June. I'll put this up. I don't think that will affect what, will that affect what you see? Because it's going to get a little bit wet. I don't want to get the surface wet. So you want a little stumpy brush because if you've got a long bristle brush, you're just going to lose all your liquid to the bottom of mm. your brush. So you want to keep it quite short. And then we're just going to run that around the outside edge. This is where I say you don't want a pen that's going to make your um, the ink bleed because you're getting it wet now. So a biro or something like that would yeah, probably would start to uh, run into the fabric. As I said, I've done it with Sharpie. I did that purposely to see if it would work and it does. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. So I've just run some liquid around there. 
so starch or best press is ideal. Now let's have a go with this. I'm so used to doing it with my fingers. I'll probably look all fingers and thumbs. I'll oh start no, it's off. good to just, you might as well try out these yeah. gadgets whilst you're here. So we've got uh, the heart and this is all wet around the outside with the starch, which is now going to give me a really nice sharp edge. So I'm going to start at the bottom of the heart. What does the water, what, what does wetting it do? Well, it's best pressed, so it's oh, going to hold oh, it as a nice, it yeah, it's going to hold it with a nice uh, crisp edge. And you're just going to run your iron. This is where I say you use your, probably not the best place to try a new gadget. Oh, oh that, on the oh. telly, why not? Oh, look at that. There you go. I suppose, yeah, getting your finger that close is yeah. a bit scary. There we go, and that gives you a really nice sharp edge oh, all the way around the outside. Yeah. Uh, the stiletto, by the way, the Clover Hold It Stiletto, is just £12.99. And as Alison said, it's got the silicon tip at the bottom, so you can use it as a bit of an extender to your hand. It's also great for, well, there's loads of different um, reasons the people use iron it. iron finger as well, isn't there? Yeah, but I there thought is. That, that's quite large, so that might, uh, yeah, this works lovely. I think the iron finger will show in the next hour anyway, so I can show you the difference. Ah, right, yeah. But this one, uh, people use next to their sewing machine as well. If you don't want to get your hands too close to the sewing machine. Yeah. Oh, that's done a lovely job, actually. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> On the gadget list for Alison. Yeah, that's it. That's the newest one to add. <laughs> so there we've got a lo really lovely sharp edge. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take out the freezer paper ah, and that's its job done. That's brilliant. So then, like you say, you can use that template again. Yeah. Do the next slot. Well, that's the fifth time that's been used. So uh, you could carry on. Right, now, you can just pin this if you want, but by pinning it, you've still got your edges lifting a little bit. So um, have we got so line glue pens in? <laughs> No. They go so quickly, don't they? Don't be daft. <laughs> um, I say that, uh, we should, we'll should. we have a look, but I... Oh, Kat's like, no, I know we haven't. <laughs> um, we're, we're waiting for the day that they can be back in, and I assure you, Kat will be there straight away. A little glue pen. We might have the, um, the basting pen. Have we got the So Easy basting pen? Because that's the same, it's just one that you can't refill. We do have refills of the, uh, the yeah. Solan glue pen, for those of you that have already got a pen. Well, I, I have asked, because there is a liquid glue you can get that's actually heat bondable. And so you, it looks a bit like PVA. You just put tiny little spots of it on um, and then put it down and you bond it with your iron and it dries straight away. And it, it's washable, so once you've washed your um, your uh, item, it, it goes, but it holds holds lovely so there we are that's holding that down I am going to pin it just to hold it in the center so that it doesn't move and I'm doing it on this rubbish bit of fabric so that you can actually see what I'm doing rather than look at that crisp on edge there. so yeah you've got a lovely edge there to sew June is uh, again amazed she's just said jaw drops <laughs> never thought of using best press that crisp edge is to die for <laughs> that's a really good way actually yeah. isn't it so I'll just hold in the centre there to keep it in place. And I suppose the you can personalise it and do as many hearts or as you know as you want. Can't doesn't you? Doesn't have to be hearts. It can be names, anything. Yeah. If you've got a template that you want to use, um, yeah, you can do whatever you like. I mean, there's a heart in the in the pattern, but the um, the little. Uh, raw edge quilt that I did, I did a combination of hearts and stars. Yeah. Right, this is something else. June, do you use silk thread? <laughs> Here we go, June. We'll see if this is another This will be a moment. revelation. Right, so I heard you talking to Kat about silk thread on Tuesday. Yeah, they've got some in. Have but, they? But not a lot. So if you would <laughs> like some, do get on the website now. Okay, um, I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna say it because it will sell out very quickly. So, what's the beauty of silk thread? You can see it's like a hair, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's very so fine. fine. It really is fine. It's still strong, though. It's not. I wouldn't do seams with it. Okay. Um, I only use it as a decorative thread, mm -hmm. um, but it it doesn't bunch up, and you can see it's really easy. I use a milliner's needle, which has got quite a small hole, because it's fine and it's sharp, but 
what you do have to do is tie it on your needle. Now, if this was a cotton thread, it probably wouldn't go through your fabric then. But we put a couple of knots in, and that's not going to go anywhere. What colour is that? Well, this is like a taup. Um, it just you blends don't, in. Yeah, it just, it just buries itself in the fabric. It doesn't really matter about the colour. That's why I thought, if I do it on navy, you'll see, mm -hmm. you know, that you see so little of it. Um, yeah, it just buries itself in. And, I mean, you can just see it round the outside edge. Can I bring that in? You can just see it stock, around. Uh, for a whole day, it's already sold out. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank yeah, you for I mean, asking to get that in. Yeah, there are stitches there, but, I mean, a blind man would be glad to see them, wouldn't he? <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, he, yeah, he will not see them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, June says, no, silk thread must buy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Right, they have to get some more in. They are yeah. get, my next project uses it as well, so... That, um, they do now. They will get more. Be, they will get more in. But they can't, I mean, everyone would automatically think to get white. But if you have, this is like a, a creamy colour. Well, I've got, I've got white as well. Like you say, it blends in, doesn't it? Even more and brilliant tips from different. Alison. Thank There's you so two, much. There's two colours that I use an awful lot. Oh, so. yeah. They, they are going to go with everything, aren't they, I suppose? Mm. Whereas yeah. white can probably show up against you. Yeah. Oh, it helps to not, it not your thread. It won't come through then. Whoops. Not the end. Yeah, so I'm just okay. knotting the end and I'm going to start at the bottom here. I'm going to pull it through on the point. There we go. Now, it's entirely up to you how small a stitch you want to use. And what stitch and do I'm gonna you use? And I'm going to do ladder stitch. Okay. So I'm going to go... A tiny little stitch on the main fabric. Well, we there that we're there. And then I'm just gonna catch a little stitch in the fabric. Now as you're going round, it'll look like it's all gonna be seen because it will be quite loose. But this doesn't knot up as you're using it like a, a cotton thread would either. It comes through nicely. And then a few few stitches. I'll leave it quite loose and then I'll show you when I've, I've done about an inch. And just pull it through. And in theory, most of the time, <laughs> it will disappear. I'll do one more. There we go. And if I do that and just pull it, mm -hmm. it's gone. Ah, oh, amazing. And you say that's the silk thread. That's it is, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you, you can still do the same technique with um, a cotton thread, mm -hmm. but you will see more of the stitch. Yeah. And it's nice and soft. It gives a soft finish as well, because with this, you want it to be soft, don't you? Yeah. I mean, you could, you could easily bond a web it and you could machine applique it, but that will give it, it'll take some of the loft away from it. Okay, so if I want to do um, uh, the freezer paper applique technique, but then I want to do, could I do a blanket stitch around it, or yes. is it because yeah. I've no, needed can, to have You can still round. do a top stitch. Yeah. I mean, you could still machine it. You yeah. could do a machine stitch around the outside there, yeah. around the outside edge. But uh, I think it just gives it such a nice finish. Clean finish, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So that's how you do. But yeah, June, by having a double layer, it, it really helps. It, it, it kind of has something for the paper to, uh, the fabric to work against, whereas a single layer, it can tend to turn up. Right, oh, okay. Yeah. So that's that. Let's get on with this now, shall we? <laughs> Fab. So you just repeat that. You've got four in each. Yeah. You've got four in uh, each. I corner, mean, there is plenty you? of fabric, so you can um, do the other side as well if you want. I mean, I haven't, but you can do if you want to. You could put some on the other side. Well, I'll put that one out there because that's still got a tiny little bit of li liquid in it. I've used this one, the Hobbs Poly Down. Yeah. Because it's nice and soft and um is that polyester it yeah. is yeah because it's going to be washed and if it's going to go on the floor and it's going to be you know you throw it in the wash easily that's it you? yeah yeah it's not going to shrink and yeah and you don't have to worry about quilting it um too much 
fantastic. It's just £8.99. Right, okay, let's get this out of the way. So we've got our backing mm -hmm. and I've used 505 spray for that to hold it down. Um, you could tack it if you wanted to, but it's, it's handy with this technique to have everything um, quite close together because we're going to be folding the corners. They're not actually going to be joined to start off with. Um, we don't need that quite yet. We're, oh, this is one of the pieces that we're going to use for the, oh, I'm caught up. <laughs> A piece for the um, channel to put the, the pulley in, the tie. Yeah. So all that is, you're just going to take over uh, about a centimeter double hem. So if we just sew that one. On both ends of that. You don't have to worry too much about um, finishing off because it's going to be held in the seam. You're not going to see it. Oh, you're not going to see it. It's not going to unravel because it'll be in the seam when you sew it all together. The uh, side graphic, just so you know, is the pattern on its own, which is very, very popular. We found some more fabric. We found another fabric, which I'll show you in just a moment as well, which we think would be you ideal for this. You had some beautiful ones yesterday. Oh, weren't they gorgeous? The, all those um, rabbit ones. Oh. I'd never heard of that. Though, what was it? Something. I don't. Um, how much I love you, or something like that. Guess how much like I love that. you. I'm so never heard of you it. You never heard of it. Well, Becky's thirty-two, yeah. and yeah. She, it was all Peter Rabbit when she yeah, was little. Yeah, Peter Rabbit was a um, yeah. similar age. Uh, but we always had, um, yeah, I guess how much I love you is a really lovely yeah, story. Yeah, I'd not heard of it. I oh, bet Becky would say she'd heard of it, but I haven't. <laughs> right, okay, so on this one, we're going to um, half all the sides and make a mark. We're just mm -hmm. marking it. You're going to iron out the mark so you don't have to worry too much. You can snip it if you want. The pen's not working because I think it's, uh, I got it hot, didn't I? Oh, there we are. <laughs> I think June feels like she's having a one-to-one -one tutorial with you. She <laughs> says, thank you, one-to-one -one tutorial with Alison. I've learned so much. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's the plan. <laughs> so that's the centre again. And you've got, it look a bit strange because you've got quite a bit more for the, um, for the other side than you've got for this centre. Yeah but it'll all become quite evident for anybody that saw the uh, winter quilt, the winter blue quilt panel. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the same technique as that. So there's the centre for that one. Then we'll get the centre for this. And it's a nice manageable size. I know that it you is, don't need yeah. to get your bicycle clips out for this one. No. <laughs> <laughs> But is that's it still been a handy good actually. Size? A couple of people have contacted me on Facebook about that. Oh, good. That's been useful for people. Always get great tips from Alison, don't we? <laughs> I think as a as a community, we just like sharing, don't we? Ah, oh, so lovely. And these two here. Are you still all keeping in contact with your Staffordshire Stitchers, even though you're not doing your meetups? Well, we've got a Facebook page if anybody in Staffordshire would like to join us. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's a bit difficult because um, I don't know really, because we meet at the community room in Tesco's, which is free if anyone needs a community room for a sewing group. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, I don't know what Tesco's will do, that won't be their priority, will it, when mm. everything gets going. So we might have to find somewhere different to meet, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I mean, we've got, we message each other. And, oh, good. Yeah. Everyone's still sewing, no one's lost their sojo. Oh, everyone's gone through that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hopefully everyone's sort of back On now. the other side, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, now we're going to match up Right side to right side. I did mark that. And as the friction I... pen disappeared. Did I? <laughs> I must have marked one side twice. <laughs> or it might have been the one that uh, didn't mark properly. So we're going to ma match up 
our centres. Obviously, this is the longer line. You've got two longer sides and two shorter sides. So, so you right sides to together here? Yeah, right sides together. And then we've got our wadding on the back. So I'll put that there. And then in each corner, we're going to go to the end of the smallest piece. This is going to look a bit strange. Yeah, well, I don't know where we're going with this, yeah, if this I'm honest, Alison. I trust strange. you, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to mark a quarter of an inch in the corner. There we are. So a quarter inch there and a quarter inch there. So we're there. same on here. Going to have a quarter inch in all the corners. We have very limited for all of the kits by the way. Um, the green and the cats is your main graphics. Oh it's gorgeous isn't it? Oh well, they, I just love all their expressions of the colours. Yeah. It's really cute. I just thought it's nice you know as the baby grows because yeah. you know you have a lot of really babyish stuff don't you yeah but then like you say it's a play mat yeah and a little carrier it's lovely right so now i'm going to sew from that that quarter inch mm -hmm. we're not going to sew off the edge we're going to start sewing on that quarter inch mark all the way along that side to the other quarter of an inch mark at this side and then stop at that point. We don't want to go over into the edge. Now the back of it is just your wadding. Is that going to get tangled in no. your feed dogs no, or in the not plate? At all. No. It's fine to sew. That's good, yeah. isn't it? I'll need that again in a minute. Take that out because that's going to shove all that off the table, isn't it? It's just a lovely, quick and easy make. So we'll find our point there. And this is where you do want to um, mark it um, so that you so that you've um, got a point where it's not going to pull. Mm -hmm. So either a back stitch or the lock or the lock stitch. And do a, a quarter inch seam. I think this isn't my machine. I think it's about a quarter of an inch. <laughs> as long as it's consistent, I yeah. suppose. I was talking to Yvonne McAtamney and she doesn't she doesn't use the um the the guard one. Um she uses the foot and oh, I suppose I actually it, yeah. you probably don't want to use your guard quarter of an inch foot with this project because well, it would be dragging on your body. Yeah, you couldn't with this because you've got something over the edge of your fabric. But do you like generally you say, just eyeball it then? Do yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm putting my um, fabric along this inside edge of the foot because that, I think, is way too much. That's about a centimetre, so, yeah. But as you say, as long as you're consistent, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go to that point and then stop. Pull that in because I'm losing a bit. Are you doing a little lock, lock and that, stitch yeah. there? Right, now this is going to be strange. It's going to look really strange. <laughs> Still going to, on this side, match up your centre points. So you're pulling the whole of the piece of fabric over and you're going to be left with some really weird looking dog ear bits at the end but that's right so you're going to fold back the piece of sewing that you've just done and I'll pin that in place and you're going to start sewing again from that point and I haven't marked this end so we'll mark this one So Again, a quarter of an inch. Out a quarter of an inch, yeah. So that's about there. And 
then we're going to sew along to that point again. You want to make sure that that bit gets to the edge, else you're going to have a funny shaped corner. I could have done with pinning it a bit better, really. So we're a lock stitch. So you, you, again, you, you don't need a walking foot for this necessarily, do no, you? No, you don't need a walking foot at all. Um, even when you're because you, uh, when it's finished and turned through you're going to go down the edge but you're going to be stitching in the ditch so it, it really doesn't matter you don't need to uh, have a walk in foot at all for this project which is lovely unless you were quilting it obviously if you were going to do like heavy quilting because it's quite loose in the center when you pull it through Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to heavily quilt it, you wouldn't want the layers right. moving. But if you're hand quilting, that, that's not an issue. Right, so I'm coming up to the dot. I've, a little birdie told me that you got your eye on a long arm quilter. Oh, <laughs> I think that's a long way off. <laughs> I know, um, yeah, I think we've uh, been in talks, this, uh, I don't know, I'm not allowed to say anything. But. <laughs> <laughs> right, this side is a little bit different, this is the bottom, this is going to be the bottom. Okay. I will just mark, mark this, this point here, so we've got a quarter, so we're about there. The bit that we finished the edges off, that's going to be the channel, that's going to go inside mm -hmm. with the raw edge to the raw edge of the fabric. And this channel, you've already stitched the edges. These have been stitched down the ends, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've got to make sure that this part is away from where we're going to sew this other seam. Because you want to be able to put your... Because you need to be ribbon, able to put yeah. your, cha your channel things through. So I'll, I'll just pin that one there and then make sure that when I get to the other end yeah that's going to miss it look so that's okay. Did you see yesterday the lovely butterfly fabrics oh, that we had? Yeah, Did you see those? Gorgeous, weren't They'd they? be nice in this as well. Yeah and Kerry's using um, some lovely fabrics oh. isn't she? Hello Johnny fabrics in her uh, new kit. Oh yes! Absolutely. Who's Johnny? Gorgeous. I don't know but it's a um, a range of fabrics and just amazing. Kerry, they are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, so I'm going to match up now. Oh, is it? No, are you just going through all the fabrics yesterday? No, Kat's just getting all excited. She's like, oh, what about those, the Noah's Art ones, the little whales and the port hole yeah. ones? There was loads of lovely fabrics. Still some available on the website. I think all of the, a lot of the Yes, How Much I Love You, the rabbits one. They I think won. lots of those yeah. sold out, but there are still potentially that that some by the half metre. So you need a metre of each, don't you? Yes, yeah. I mean, you will have some left over. I mean, if you want to get a little bit, nice bit of um, bamboo towel in, you can make some birth cloth, uh, birth yeah. cloths and things. So, you know, you would have, you will have some left over. So I'm enclosing that channel now in this, I'm going to put a few more pins in this bit because I've got that there to deal with as well. But this self-binding method, if you don't want to do too much heavy quilting, is perfect. So this means you do not have to do binding? No, and no mitres. And I mitres. know how much you love binding. I like to sit with them um, and hand finish. That's yeah. what I like. I like bound hand finishes but sometimes you just want something that's easy to Quick. put together mm -hmm. and and don't have to think about it too much <laughs> so is this a bagging out technique yeah. then yeah so we're going to do the same again now you've got your ears there a 
got the sewing machine a long way away, haven't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can bring it closer yeah. if you need to. One of um, one of my friends is having um, quite a lot of back trouble, and it, it's hurting her at the sewing machine. And another tip, if anybody has got back trouble, have I got one with me? Because you wouldn't be as high as I am now, because you'd no, be you're in the sitting chair. down. But if you don't want to look forward, a couple of these little things to oh. prop up your sewing That's machine at the jumper, back. That's not a jumper, is it? That's a doorstop. No, stop. this is a doorstop. And what you do is you just so that you can actually see what's going on your plate without having to be keep that's a really moving good forward. So hack. if anyone has back issues, give that a go. <laughs> that's a really yeah, good hack. I've got a couple there. I keep them because I occasionally need them. I think more and more people are are sewing standing up. Deb, random Deb, our random Deb. She said that she's so standing up, actually. Yeah. Sort of sometimes better for your posture. Yeah, she's had it? a thing built, hasn't yeah. she? She's had a surface built. I mean, I don't at home, but I do on the boat. I loved all your pictures of your uh, your boat. Oh, all my stuff I'd sewn. Oh, it was brilliant. Mm. All the things that you sewn on the boat. And the pictures of your lovely knitted jumpers. And when you said oh. to me, Alison, yeah. oh, I'm rubbish at knitting. My knitting's not very good. Did you see how big that it was? was? Brilliant. It was brilliant. Well, it's nearly as big as my shirt. It was so good. <laughs> oh, I'm so envious. <laughs> Very talented. Thanks, Kat. She just looked through at me with a real sincere look on her face saying, keep going, you will be able to knit one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can knit now. I can do the basic knit, but I, I, I don't know if I can make anything. <laughs> I'll tell you what was lovely. Catherine did that um, thing that you actually start with five stitches yesterday. Yeah. Have you seen someone that? Said, someone said that earlier on. Yeah, um, you ought to try that. You start with five stitches. I, I didn't see it because we were packing away the show and eating yeah. your cakes. <laughs> um, but I'll have to watch that back though. So that was Yarn Lane show, yeah. 12 o'clock show yesterday. Okay, I'll have a look. Right, we're going to match up these ones, but this is slightly different because obviously we need to leave a hole to turn it through. So you can choose where that is, whether it's at the top. I'm going to leave it down here a little bit. So you want enough to get your hand through and be able to turn this through. So a good amount would be about eight or ten inches. We've got about five minutes with you, Alison. Yeah, it's nearly done. Charlie says, thanks for the tip, Alison. I have back problems too yeah, and often have to give stop it sewing. Yeah. We'll try that next time. That's a really good idea. I need to pin that. I've got quite a lot there now because of that other... Is this getting bulky here, Alison, or not? It's all right. No, no, no it was just that I've got uh, everything in the corner now. This is exactly the same oh, in all yeah, the corners. Yeah. Shirley's emailed a message in. Sorry? Um, Pauline, is it? Pauline. Shirley, why does it say Pauline? <laughs> Morning, not Pauline. Yeah. Hello. What a brilliant idea. I'm going to go s send my, my husband out to get a couple of door stops now because she's got a bad back. Brilliant, brilliant, fantastic demo as always. That's from Shirley. That same shop, Shirley, you know, the ones that have everything for the same price. They're open, aren't they, at the moment as well? They're open and they sell them. Right. How did you think of that, Alison? Have you seen somebody else do it? I must have done. I don't know, really. I love hacks. Like, yeah. just... But, I mean, you're here and you're having to look over, yeah. whereas if it's, it doesn't need a lot, just a little yeah. bit of a tip, you can actually yeah. see over it. Really good idea. Right, have you left yourself a gap? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's because I was chatting. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> not guilty. <laughs> 
It might just be four or five inches. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you wrestle it through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's talking doorstops and things, isn't it? And I haven't got my electric gadget with me. Have you got one of those Bridgewater oh, stitch yes. removers? Brilliant thing. Right, before you go and turn through, what you're going to do is you're going to fold your corners together and then where your stitching ends mm -hmm. now when you're doing this at home get your ruler and make sure that this is square you'll just stand your ruler up there so that you've got a square there you'll measure along the bottom and where this stitching ends there is where you're going to sew to I'm just going to wing it but oh sorry you were zooming in then but um, yeah at home make sure that it's square because this is going to give you your mitre. Ah, oh, this is clever. Do you need to trim away all that bulk yeah. or not? Yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of that. Okay, there we go, and then this one. You know which way to go because you're going towards the fabric. So that's going to go up there. And then make sure, just put your finger in and tuck that down so that you've got no, no ridges inside. But as I say, if you mark it, you'll probably get a better mite of me. I'm going to go through without doing the... Has anyone in your family got there. one of these cuddle wraps? No, a friend of mine. Oh. Yeah, a friend of mine. I did one for her. So uh, it was a long time ago, mind you. Emma wants an adult size one. She was <laughs> like, I want a cuddle nest for when I want a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> well, when Alison said earlier on, oh, you know, when they get too old to have a cuddle, then they can just have them as playmats. I'm like, oh, I still need a cuddle. Yeah, yeah. No, I meant when they get, uh, get too old for needing to be carried around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing like the cuddles. I think we're all missing them terribly. Oh, I can't aren't wait we? to have a cuddle with yeah. my mum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Kat said, all I wanted to do yesterday was give you a big hug on your baby shower. Yeah. It was just so lovely, though, just to even to see John just there, and he was there, anti backing all of the bars yeah. and everything for me. And I was like, oh, it's just so lovely to see him, though. I know we've got to be extra careful, but it's lovely to have had everybody here. Elizabeth, looking into getting door stops now as well. Oh. <laughs> there you go. They'll be out of, so, uh, out of stock now. Right, where's my hole? So that's going to go through there. I'm just going to pull it through now. And so your, uh, your channel is sewn in there at the same it's time. It's already in We've there, already yeah. put that in. Yeah. What do you use for the ties? Well, I've got a piece. You, you're given the size. I've got a piece, I'm not going to have time to do it, but you just make, um, there we go, we'll point out, poke out the corners. Yeah, you can use your stick that you, uh, your yeah, my stiletto. Your new stiletto. <laughs> there we go, oh, there's one, I haven't done that one. So you've already got your mit lovely mitres. Oh, nice. Oh, that is brilliant, isn't it? And there's your channel. But what you do... Would you top you've got stitch around when yeah, you're biding it? Or yeah, because you would, you would hand sew that down. Okay. And then stitch in the ditch all the yep. way around the outside edge. So okay. for people that don't know what stitch in the ditch is, you're just going to straight stitch. Well, I suppose you could pattern do a lovely pattern from your machine lovely yeah um and yeah there's your channel so you're going to make this is a, a full width of your fabric mm -hmm. and it can go through although it's not bias and this is basically a bias maker but you can still use one of these to um make even if it's not on the bias you can still use it to fold your fabric as you go through the large bias tape maker is just five ninety nine. And just pull that through and then you've got your your single fold over 
then you're going to fold it again and that's where it's nice on the yellow one i i did a little hearts and flowers um, oh, do stitch stitching. to make your cord then you're going to put your cord through the channel how do you put it stitch. through with a bodkin or yeah. a safety pin yeah, or a bodkin or safety pin yeah, yeah. And then just make sure that you um, stitch. I mean, it's all in the instructions. You make sure you stitch there so that this doesn't pull out. Brilliant. That's basically it. But Amazing. Yeah, we love lovely, it. It's so it? gorgeous. It is absolutely lovely. Please, will you leave that one there? Because I'm going to finish that. That's so nice. <laughs> Um, thank you ever so much, Alison. Oh, and I must say as well, your um, instructions that you get, you know the really big, loud, rustling sound of this? Yeah, it's not plastic, is it? It's no, not plastic. No, it's not, no. I went to quite um, lengths to find one that's biodegradable. It's yeah. not plastic, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? I just wanted to mention that. Um, you're Should back I in on not Monday. not biodegradable, that is biodegradable. Yeah. 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 You're back in on Monday, aren't you? I am, yes. Back on Monday. Yeah. What are you doing on Monday? Put the camp bed up, shall I? <laughs> oh, in fact, actually, it's a surprise what it you're doing a on surprise, Monday. It's yes. <laughs> it's going to be brilliant, though. I can't say any more, <laughs> but it's going to be brilliant. Please watch next week. We won't see you on Monday, but so um, have a brilliant no, show. But yeah. I'll hopefully see you in March. Soon, yeah. I will see you soon. Okay, Thank you ever so much for today and all your Thank brilliant you. tips. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. And again, thank you for my cakes and my prezzies and oh, everything. You're very you do too welcome. much for me. <laughs> too you're much. Very welcome. Very spoiled. Um, so, starting just very quickly with the kit that Alison was working with. You get a metre of your lovely cats. You also get a metre of your green. Uh, and then you also have your instructions. £24.99. Today's show has been filled with lots of brilliant tips, as always, from Alison. So jot down today's date. Uh, but that was the bundle that she was working with, which is lovely. I love that green. It's like an olivey green. It goes perfectly with the cats. Um, and your instructions. Now, also, the grey. You get a metre of your elephant and a metre of your spot, plus you get your pattern, of course, £24.99. pence. All your instructions included. Uh, now, you can, if you've got fabric at home that you want to use, if you bought some beautiful fabric in yesterday's show, if you've got a, a fabric in mind, if you want to have a look back through the website, get some liberties, or, I mean, this one, I'll show you this in a second because this one was supposed to be in our first hour. But um, you just need a metre of each fabric, and that's plenty to be able to do all your applique pieces, your tie as well. And it is a beautiful baby cuddle nest. Um, slash play mat, two in one. Seven pounds 99. As always, love Alice and Marion's pattern, patterns, and that's a brand new one in today. Now this fabric that I was just mentioning, it's Henry Glass. It's absolutely beautiful designer fabric. And it's really lovely. Oh, I'm thinking, right, actually, you're right. It'd go with ivory, a lilac, a mint, a blue, a pink, a, a yellow even. You can mix this with virtually any colour. It would look absolutely stunning. How pretty will that look, especially for the summer? Uh, £7.99, a half metre, and it is Henry Glass. Beautiful quality uh, cotton, super duper soft, which is just what you want next to baby skin. Um, okay, thought I'd let you know, as that was actually scheduled for our 8 o'clock show, there's loads of tropical fabrics that are on the website that we did at 8 o'clock this morning. Um, so have a look through, and some of the guests, how much I love you fabric is still available by the half metre. It only launched yesterday, and a majority of it sold out. So have a look through. Don't go anywhere, though, because we've got lots of gifts. We've got sewing room tools, we've got great gadgets, we've got something for everybody. Don't go anywhere. I'm back in just a couple of minutes. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix? 
There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hi there. My name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hope you're all having a lovely day today so far. It looks nice and sunny outside actually. I think because we're all in tropical gear, it's like, right, actually, I'm, 
I've just thought, I think I'm going to go for a walk this afternoon. I need to just get moving. I'm going to try and do some movement today. Kat's got a pack. She's moving house tomorrow. In fact, you're not here for a whole week. Kat's normally here all the time. So when are you back next Thursday? Literally next Thursday. Gosh, my word. What am I going to do without you? Uh, we, Kat said, right, this is my, my last hour for a week, so I'm going out with a bang. Um, should we start with the reverse light? Now, I love all of the native lighting products are on the website and they are fantastic. They really are. Don't get me wrong. More of an investment, I understand, but please do invest in, in, in the quality because um, when you're looking at getting the right li lighting for your craft, whether it be um, the embroidery lights that we were talking about, the ring lights that we were talking about, they really are uh, sort of produced for with crafters in mind. Now this one is a bit different. This one is different to any other native lighting lamps that, that are available. I think this is the one that you should send as well, as well to Elliot as a hint hint of what you want for your uh, housewarming present. <laughs> Just send him a huge list, Kat. You deserve it. You deserve it. So um, what I love about this is it's so lightweight. It's really, really lovely and lightweight. It's giving off zero heat because they're LED bulbs. And as you can see, there are no cables. It is not plugged in. It is rechargeable. So if you've got this on the brightest setting, uh, which I have now, you've got four hours of continuous light. If you've got it on a dimmer setting, maybe as a night light, then it will last all night, eight hours. So it's absolutely brilliant. You can just plug it into your mains. There's a, a, a cable that comes with it. And you can see on both sides, it's got um, the dimmer, which is just a touch. You don't need to press any buttons. You touch it and it will dim and it will go brighter. Now, the reason it's called a reverse light is because the one side of the light is lovely bright daylight. And then the other side, if I spin it round, it's hard to see on telly, but it will turn. It will come up to a warm light. So I don't know if that's changed on your television, but it's definitely changed here in the studio. Um, if you hold it 50-50, uh, in fact, this photograph's been taken that you can see the warm light on the right-hand side and the daylight on the left-hand side. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here in the studio. It's just hard to capture on camera. Uh, it's got a little handle as well. So I'm thinking if you're on the move, you're going camping, when we can go out camping again, or even just out in the garden, uh, as, as a light for in the garden, this would be lovely. For anybody who wants one in case there is a power cut, it's brilliant that it's re rechargeable. Uh, if you want it, I really want love one of these for the nursery actually, is a little reading light. So you could read bedtime story and then have it as a night light as well, which is absolutely ideal. For um, gifts around the home, especially as it looks like one of those devices that that we all talk to and uh, and say what's the time and do you know what I mean it looks like one of those it will fit in with all of our different speakers at home um, also if you're thinking of having it for in the car if you're thinking of having it um, in the garage if you know somebody who's going off to university or um, this is brilliant just as a nightlight, um, just to have on your landing if you're getting up to go to the loo in the night. That's what Wendy uh, Gardner said, which is a brilliant idea because you've got no cables to trip over, have you? It's brilliant. And you can just dim the, the light setting. So it's got the power on off button, which is a touch button again on the top. Hold that in and the light will go off. Press it in again, light will come on. And it's got the dim, dimmer setting there at the top at the bottom, which is lovely. I remember when we launched this, and if you watch the show back, I was literally like a child in a sweet shop. I was so amazed by it. It was the magic lamp, wasn't it? It was brilliant. It completely sold out in the first showing. It was back on the 20th of November, and Claire, who um, is the, the founder of Native Lighting, uh, she owns the company, she was here. She often comes here, about once a month you'll see her, um, uh, to talk through exactly why it is that she developed these lights. Um, and why it's important to have you know, a daylight or a warm light. I just love it for different ambience as well. I think it doesn't have ambience. 
it just uh, it, it, depending on what you're doing like you say if you're if you're reading a book if you want to have it that you're doing a bit of hand stitching or just to have by the side of your bed um, the different lights are extremely useful and we are going to get to that point as well very soon that we can sit out in the garden maybe have a friend or family over sitting in the garden having a barbecue gets a bit chilly you just after the year that we've had those nights we're just not going to want to end are we so get the night light out the the light that can just sit even on the middle of your you your uh your outside table or even hang it off a um hang it off something as it's got the handle as well it's lovely and lightweight and as i said it is led light so you don't need to worry about replacing any bulbs um if you do have any problems then you do get a, a two-year warranty through native lighting as well Claire's great because um, it's only a small company. Now, when you're purchasing from us, we have a brilliant relationship with Claire. So if you're purchasing anything from us and you, you want to ask any questions about certain lighting, if you've got any problems, then it's definitely worth either emailing us directly or getting in touch with Claire via the Native Lighting website. And um, she's really easily accessible. So she'll be able to um, talk you through different lights and what's best for your needs. Um, we love to just highlight every now and then, just to remind everybody that we have got um, plenty of lights all available on the website. We did have a look at the big chameleon magnifying glass lamp earlier on um, this is the reverse lamp but as I said there's ring lights so the Lumino lights which is the ones with the fabulous gooseneck we've got desk lights there's ones for all sorts of budgets as well have a look on our website because at the moment Claire is really struggling to get more stock um, I think she's in on the 15th of March next um, but I know that she said once all of these have sort of gone um, I don't know whether we're going to be able to get any back until earliest April it just depends on when they come in fingers crossed it will be sooner rather than later but just wanted to mention the reserve the reverse lighting um, as it is my favorite love it love it love it so 63.99 <coughs> I'm ever so sorry I need to stop eating ginger biscuits in the break don't I so well I can't stop eating ginger biscuits because Alison's biscuits are so good <laughs> She is the most incredible baker. What an amazing story. She was saying that she um, she started off going, um, we're just making cakes for, for her daughter, Becky, for, for for birthday cakes. And then there were the ladies at the school were saying, you should you should sell these. You should make a profession out of this. So she said to her, her husband, OK, I'm going to go and, and learn how to do this properly. And then she hadn't even finished the course. The tutor was leaving and said, do you want the job? Do you want to do it? That's how good she is. That is how good she is. Right, let's do the threads. The big box of threads at the front of the desk. Right. We've got 48. Elliot's just come in. He's doing some editing for some of our adverts. And he's just about to leave. And Kat said, uh, and by the way, I'd like the reverse lamp as my housewarming gift, please. That's, I just heard the end of the conversation. Um, <sighs> right, so -hoo -hoo -hoo! 48 beautiful Gutemann threads. Today's early bird was very, very popular, by the way. Very popular. If you want to dip your toe in and have a go with Gutemann threads, then go for it. But it comes in a lovely tin. The price per thread, if you can afford to spend a bit more, your value for money is outstanding. And let's face it, all of these colours. You're going to use them, aren't you? They're useful. They're beautiful colours. You've got a great shade of your yellows and your oranges. You've got your pinks and your purples and your reds. You've got your blues into your greens. You've even got all of your greys and your neutral tones as well. £1.24 a spool, and that's without the lovely, the lovely storage tin as well. Now, they're all 50 weight threads. 100 uh, metres on each spool, really vibrant colours for 59.99, 48 spools. Are you now giving him more demands of what you want? I thought you wanted that Wagamama's book. <laughs> He's asked her if she wants an ironing board. Oh my word. 
He knows how much Cat loves Ernie. Um, what about um, what about uh, um, Wacker Mama's cookbook? Fifty nine ninety nine. I got Cat a smoothie maker because she was saying that um, uh, her boyfriend loves making smoothies. And Kat's going to get into doing all the healthy smoothies that Paul brings into work as well. Uh, so you've got all of your whites and your creams into your yellows and oranges, your golds, your browns. You've got your reds and pinks, purples and blues. All of your lovely greens into your greys for just £59.99. You can use this for all of your sewing. They're basically your sew-all threads, your 50 weights. Perfect. Now, if you don't want... Um, as many as that. We've got some smaller packs, so if you do just want to dip your toe in, or if, like Elliot, you're, you're trying to be kind and do a nice gesture for somebody saying, do you want a little housewarming gift, what would you like? And you don't want to say, well, I want the big pack of Gutemann threads. What about, as a lovely gift for somebody, 10? You've got both. Which colours do you think you'd use more often? I think, especially going towards spring and summer at the moment, these are going to be very, very popular. You've got your lovely warm. Um, and it, there are combination at the moment, Kat, as well, our red and pinks together, our orange and pinks together. They really, really work very, very well. They're lovely. We're at £1.49 a spool here, so still great value pack. 100 metres on each spool. You can use them in your bobbin. You can use them in your... Um, in the top of your machine, you can use it for applique, you can still use it for any of the projects that you've seen today with Alison, whether it be dressmaking or quilting, uh, you'll still be able to use these. It was always a bit of a minefield when I first started in the sewing, sewing world of what threads do I use, what's a good quality thread, why do I need to spend money on thread or... Um, and I think as you're going along your sewing journey, you realise how important your thread is. If you're using a NAF quality thread, then one, your seams will probably fall apart, but two, it doesn't half get loads of lint build up on your machine, it can break and snap, um, and therefore you think, oh, it's cheaper thread, but actually you end up paying again and buying more because it's broken or because you've wasted it because it's all come apart. So um, I do think if you are starting out, one word of wisdom that I was sort of given was always buy a good quality thread. You're spending money on your machine, you're, uh, you're spending money on your kits and your lovely fabrics. Definitely get the right fabrics, to, to the right threads to go with it. And Gutemann are incredibly famous and renowned for their quality polyester threads. We also have the blues and the greens, which are these. Um, you've got lovely light blue right into your real deep indigo navy blue and then lovely shades of green. $14.99, they're all 100 metre spools. Oh, see Kat's more drawn to these colours. Oh, my favourite though, to be fair. Look, you've got the teal and you've got the jade colours in here as well. I suppose it depends what your project is. But if you, and if you want them to blend in or if you want them to stand out, this is this is it. If you're looking at uh, 50 weight threads, it's good to be able to have plenty of them in, in um in your there's in your stash because you might want to really try and match it in. So to be able to have all of these different shades of blue and green, the likelihood is it is going to go with one of your blue fabrics, isn't it? You're going to be able to pick out the right thread to make it just blend seamlessly in. Because there are times, like when Alison was doing her applique, that you don't want to see the stitches. But sometimes you do want to see the stitches. If you're doing a blanket stitch on applique or if you're doing quilting, if you're, you're doing top stitching, you want to see it. And yes, you can buy heavier weight threads for top stitching, but these are still going to be absolutely fine. If you're, if you're using these for dressmaking, you're still going to see them beautifully, and especially if you're using contrasting colours. So, love the Gutemann threads, 100% polyester, 100 metres on each pack, and around about 130, less than um, a spool. So, it's fab value for money as well. Um, can we do the little creative grid roller, please? Uh, I was on with um, Yvonne McAtamney the other day, and she was working on just small blocks, half square triangle units. 
and this ruler for that sort of project is ideal. Don't get me wrong, you're not going to be doing all of your main cutting using this ruler. You are going to need at some point, I think, to invest in maybe one of the larger 24 and a half inch rulers, quilting ruler. But what I love about this is that we are, fingers crossed, seeing a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel where we're going to be able to go back to workshops and classes and, and be on the move with our sewing. Uh, and this is a lovely size to be able to fit in your pencil case. It's different to ordinary rulers though because it's a really lovely thick acrylic. It's um, designed to be used in conjunction with your rotary cutter. So if you are using it for your half square triangles, for any of your smaller, um, smaller pieces, then this is absolutely perfect. Working with a charm pack, five inch charm pack, brilliant. These are, it's a six inch ruler and you've got Obviously all of your inch increments here, but then you've got your quarter of an inch marking, just to be able to have as a bit of a quick reference point, to be able to use it for your EPP, to do your seam allowance. You could just line this up with your, with your fabric and be able to, with your card, and be able to just quickly draw around your hexi um, with your quarter of an inch. You've got every eighth of an inch um, all marked out on here and the hearts aren't a novelty. This is creative grids. Of course, you've got beautiful little sentiment. I love my quilting friends. And you've got your lovely little hearts, but it's creative grid rulers. They are very, very good at what they do. Therefore, they've also put the non-slip grip, which is, let's face it, what creative grids are very, very famous for. They've put it as the frosting on the little heart. So they're all non-slip grips, which is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, now, don't take my word for it. Have a look on the reviews. There's lots of great reviews on our website. Dear Little Ruler, it's a cracking purchase. Thank you, Katie. Wendy said, um, pricey but worth it as need to do some fiddly piecing and my other rulers are too big they'd be too cumbersome wouldn't they wendy if you are using larger rulers on tiny little really intricate piecing like you say where you want to be really really accurate patricia uh, said so pleased with my creative grid ruler thank you it arrived a bit late um, but you did inform me of the delay uh, thank you for for your um your review anonymous um buyer also said, what a lovely little ruler. Uh, a must have for a surprise family. Um, Brantub. Brantub. I don't know what a Brantub is. But I'm wondering whether, if you're thinking right, if, you, um, if you're going away, if you, if you are on the move and you just want to take a few bits and bobs with you, then this is going to be ideal for that. You could do all your main cutting at home and just do your sub cutting then once you're on the move. Um, Anonymous, what's a brand tub? <laughs> Messaging. And then Helen, we've got one final review just to show you. Same quality as the other Creative Grid rulers, but handy to carry around. I like the little measurements um, at, at one end. Yes, these little measurements. Are these every eighth of an inch, I think? I think this is a little eighth of an inch grid, which is really handy, isn't it? Really, really handy. Right. So. Brilliant, brilliant creative grid ruler. We have got another couple of um, creative grid rulers actually. We've got the oval always. So whenever we do the smaller rotary cutters, I'll always talk about using um, curved templates. This is one of them actually. If you've got a 28 millimeter rotary cutter, this is gonna be brilliant for it because um, anything that you're cutting with a curve can be quite difficult. So you can make from this, um, if you fold your fabric into quarters, you can do this. You can also cut from square or rect rectangle. You can do a half, um, a, a half a semicircle, and then you can also do your semicircle. You could do all all blocks like this, plus so much more. Have a look on the QR code reader. Uh, when you go onto YouTube, there are so many demonstrations and so many great inspirational pictures on Pinterest as well. Uh, but it does give you the ability to be able to make ovals of all sizes right from three inch ovals up to eight and a half inch ovals um, very efficiently very easily in fact actually i think it might even go up to 10 inch ovals by the looks of things you've got your 30 degree line you've got your 45 degree line you've got your 60 degree line this is one that i really want to have a bit of more of a play with actually but you have got your grid going all the way through yeah 
If I can have a go at this one, please, I will. Um, you've also got your frosted section between each one. So like with your stripology rulers, all of these little grooves that your rotary, color sl your rotary cutter slots into and can just glide really accurately and precisely. Whereas what are your other ways of doing ovals like this accurately? It's really hard. See, normally with, uh, with sometimes with, um, Sometimes with circles, I think, oh, well, I might be able to go around a plate or something like that. But ovals a bit more tricky, isn't it? Ovals is a bit more tricky, especially to get it perfect to the actual size that you want um, in half inch increments is brilliant. You've got your full inch increments in white and you've got your half inch increments as well in um, in black there. Oh, here we go. Here's a brand tub. A brand tub is a lucky dip, a lucky dip tub. What, so what, what, what did Anonymous say about the um, Lucky Dip, dip Tub? <laughs> oh, it's a brilliant ruler for the Lucky Dip Tub. So, oh, for the family Lucky Dip Tub. What about as um, a quilting group as well, if you want to send it to, to friends that maybe we haven't had a chance to see. Uh, but anyway, that's your oval always non-slip grip ruler from Creative Grid. Thank you for that, Maureen. Thank you, Maureen. You've demystified it for me. I've never... Have you ever heard of that saying? Cat saying no. Have you, Emma? No. I will use it. Like a biscuit tin. Ah. No. Brand tub. Brand tub. I've not heard of it. Uh, right. We learn something new every day here, don't we? We've learned loads of tips today. Uh, now, this one... You cannot go wrong. So you get a blade and a circle. You get two rulers in here. So you get the blade and you get your circle. This is your instructions. Please do not throw this away because this is such an amazing, useful block. Do you know who loves this? Kerry, living in loveliness. Delphine absolutely loves it. Oh, Kerry does the teeny, 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 tiny ones in the middle of little storage tubs. I love them. But these ones you can do right from, uh, well, you can do one inch up to eight and a half inch again. Um, and then you've got your circle that you applique as well with your quarter of an inch seam allowance. It's a three inch finished circle for centres and curved edges. So if you want to do, you don't have to do a full Dresden round, but what I love is that you could do your Dresden like this, where it's got your curved edges, or you could do it as a pointy edge. Um, you could do it just as a corner in a cushion. I think we've seen that with Kerry before. And how about using the blade like this? So that would make a brilliant border, wouldn't it? If you were to use them like that and then slot them in as this way, two different colours. Dresden plate is one of the most traditional blocks. It's one that you see quite a lot uh, in different projects. Um, and it's a really, really effective. Um, in fact, if you just Google, I don't know whether, can we show this? Yeah, just have a look at this. If, if I'll just type into the internet, search engine, Dresden plate, Instagram. Look at all of the different ideas of what you can do. I love the wreath. I love the rainbow of colours as well. Oh, they're gorgeous. That one with a massive circle in the centre as well of some of your favourite fabrics. And then little, um, little, uh, oh, look at that one. See, it doesn't, you would never think that you could do it like that with the Dresden plate ruler. Um, the, my favourite thing about Creative Grid is, is their online presence. They have got so much help, so many tutorials. The first time I saw Creative Grids, I thought, oh, it's making it very complicated. It, there's a lot of maths going on there. But actually, I was completely wrong. It's the opposite. It will take away the maths. It will give you the precision without you having to work out the maths. Can you do a Dresden plate without a Creative Grid ruler? Yes, you can. You can. Of course you can. But would it be as accurate? Mm, would it um, take you longer? Probably yes. Um, so having the right tools for the job, and especially when these are made by quilters, designed by quilters, especially for you, they have so much help on their website, um, on their YouTube channel, and loads of people who are huge advocates of Creative Grids will have done um, different designs with these. And the reason they're called Creative Grids is you can get creative. So the oval always, get creative. You don't just need to do simple ovals. Um, with the Dresden plates, 
Oh, well, we just saw that really cool sort of swirl. It was amazing. They're really, really versatile indeed. So absolutely, please, please do um, make the most of these. They are brilliant. Oh, here we go. Maureen has said, in a few years, Fix, when baby Carol is at school, you'll find the lucky dip tub at a Christmas fair or summer fair. Usually it's a barrel. I know what a lucky dip tub is, though, but I've never seen a brand tub. Julia, a brand tub is a lucky, lucky dip. Originally, it was a barrel filled with bran. Ah, right, that's where it's come from then. Do you know when I really have your lucky dip? And remember when you used to go bobbing for apples and all that sort of thing? Yeah, that's what I know, like lucky dips, but I've never heard of brand tub. You've enlightened me. Thanks, Maureen. Thanks, everyone. Uh, we've had a message from Susan. Hi, Vicky. You seem drawn to greens. I am quite drawn to greens, you know. Uh, both times when I was pregnant, I loved green, but I don't like them much now. You're looking great. Thank you. Um, my mum's favourite colour is green and I don't know why, we always say we're very drawn to green. I've got green eyes and I think I've always, like, I've got quite warm hair and colour, so I've always liked green clothes. But now, yeah, I'm very drawn to green, um, very drawn to green. Mm. These are great. I'm quite drawn to these rose cheek cutters, actually. Uh, can we do the smaller one or do you want to do the larger one first? Oh, the smaller ones, the 28 or the 18? The 18 sold out. We've got the 45 and we've got the 28. The 28, if you did get your curved ruler, if you managed to get the uh, the oval all ways, this is the, the uh, rotary cutter that I think most of our quilters would recommend as you can really get into the groove and turn it nice e a lot easier than if you were to use the larger rotary cutter. Really good for foundation paper piecing as well. Um, lovely if you're doing any free hand cutting. If I'm honest, I'm not very good at free hand cutting. I, I still like to use my ruler, I get very scared. But I, I remember Delphine, I think it was Delphine that told me, put your arm behind your back. So you're not gonna put your other hand there. It's not a, a reflex to put your other hand there. So if you put your hand behind your back and just go for it, and always still, same rules apply, cut away from yourself, um, then you can do some lovely curves with this. But also, if you've got any of her applique projects, like for example, the Tasha quilt, the Tasha quilt has got very small, intricate pieces that you need to cut out that you just couldn't do with a ruler. You'd need to either do the scissors or a small rotary cutter. Uh, I think she used, might have even used the tiny, tiny one, but this one will be um, absolutely suitable. For fine cutting, it is ideal. And it's got a lovely soft grit handle. It's also got the safety um, lever and you can use it if you're a right or a left hander. You can spin it all round. Okay, we also have the 45 millimeter blade. Same brand, still from Clover, which is a very renowned brand in the sewing industry, isn't it? You'll see them in most haberdashery shops. Joe, you know, that's one of my favourite words, haberdashery. I love it. <laughs> I love the word haberdashery. I heard um, one of the ladies, what was it that I, I can't remember what she said now, but I was in the supermarket and I heard one of the ladies say, Oh, it's in the haberdashery section. I thought, oh, it's such a lovely word, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I digress. <laughs> £12.99. This is your 45 millimeter blade. Even if you're ready to buy a second one, ready to go back to workshops and craft fairs and things that you just want to have packed away in your, uh, in your tools bag, ready to go. Um, it's a really affordable price. And as I say, it's got the soft grip handle. It's got your safety lever. Always get into the habit. I was always told when I very first started patchwork to cut and shut your blade straight away um, as they are extremely, extremely sharp. It's not a reason to be put off using them, but as long as you're using them safely, you will get some really great accurate cutting out of them. Uh, so you can use it for, uh, well, right-handers and left-handers can use these, which is brilliant, but it is a lovely functional design um, and a great quality blade. Now you can replace this. Uh, you can sharpen your blades, no problem, but you can also replace them with most of your 45 millimeter replacement blades. It doesn't need to be a clover one. Brilliant. Okay. Should we do some patterns? Lou Orth patterns. I've got Lou Orth 
um, patterns. Oh, the City Lights is actually already on the desk. You can see it over the other side. It's so gorgeous, the colours um, that we've used actually in this is lovely. If you got any of the bundles, lots of which sold out, the tropical bundles, then this is a beautiful pattern to use with the tropical solids that we have. Uh, £8.99. It's a Lou Orth design. Look at that. Who's quilted that? That is done on a long arm quilter, isn't it? That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. What I personally love about Lou Orth patterns is that they give you a breakdown and cutting guide for lots of different size quilts. So whether you want to do this as a baby quilt, a lap quilt, or a bed quilt, so 40 inch, 60 inch, or 80 inch square, they'll give you all of your, your, your fabric requirements, your backing and your binding requirements, your wadding requirements, and it also gives you all of the cutting instructions for each size. So if you, quite often if you get a pattern and you think, ah, I just wanna make that a bit smaller or I wanna go bigger, you'd have to do the maths and try and work out, right, how much more binding am I gonna need? How much more backing am I gonna need? How much more fabric of that color and how much more of that color am I gonna need? Where it's all done for you with these. Brilliant. Plus, you've got your assembly, uh, you've also got finishing the quilt, you've got your, your layout diagram if you're doing it as a baby quilt. Uh, it's the same layout diagram if you're doing it for a, a lap and a bed. Um, also, if you want to do this in different colours, sometimes it's difficult to um, get your eye and visualise um, how it's going to how it's going to work. So, if for example you've got colour one um, and you're thinking, right, hang on, got to keep remembering which one colour one is. You can literally put your own swatches there to remind you. So a quick glance swatch comparison, use this guide to help when piecing your quilt together if you're using different colours. Just little handy things like that I think is really, really useful. And as I said, if you're struggling to visualise um, what's going to work together if you want to start designing your own colours together, then colour it in yourself. Print that off, you can make it even bigger if you want. Um, you can use, put your fabric swatches here and then make a little journal and your you know, go through how it was that you did it. I love that one. That's just City Lights. As I said, it's the one that we have here in the studio. We also did with Sally Ann the Wildflower Meadow, which was one of my favourite Lou Orth patterns. They're all lovely. I mean, they're all very, very popular. But the uh, the Wildflower Meadow, Sally actually, uh, Sally Ann actually did it as a cushion. She did it as a wall hanging and she did it as a, um, a quilt as well. So it was demoed, I can't remember back when, it was before Christmas. It was before Christmas, but we did it, I remember, with the Lynette Anderson Swan Lake, um, the Swan Collection. In fact, Kat is speedy, 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 she's found it on YouTube, it's the 10th of November, if you want to watch it back. Uh, I shall show you. So, this is the nine inch block. So it's, sorry, a finished block is nine, no, an unfinished block. <laughs> Let me start this again. Each block is nine and a half inch square, unfinished. The block is the same size for all the quilt, making the blocks assembly um, for all sizes the same, basically. So this is your nine patch block, but then you've also got these extra triangles round the edge to give it the size. So I remember when um, when Sally Ann first did it, that's your block layout. But then can you see if you put it like that and add your triangles either side, it, that's what it's going to make your finished block. So that one's the nine and a half inch if I'm not mistaken. Um, you've got all of your cutting instructions for one block which is your mini, so a wall hanging, or you could put it on the front of a cushion, you could have it as the front of a bag, there's lots of ways of doing just that one block. Um, 12 blocks together is a baby quilt, 24 blocks together is a lap quilt, but uh, as it says there it's really easy to construct them together once you've, you've got them, but they are What's that called? On point. They are on point. Um, like a ballet dancer. Oh, you thought I was doing the cardboard box. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. 
Plus, you've also got your um, your colouring in page. A little bit of colouring in as well. Uh, £9.49. If you do want to do it in your own colours, though, it's good to try it out, isn't it? Just to see what they're going to look like coming together. We're going to whiz through these other patterns. I've got vintage tiles. Oh, who was this with? My guess is Emma Bradford. I'm going to be wrong. I definitely have done this one before, I think, as well. Your Lou all patterns. If you are after some inspiration, um, we're just showing a very small selection of the patterns that we've got available on the website, but there are loads of patterns out there. It's definitely worth having a look. I love that it, it's, it's got the sort of shadowed version as well. I really like that contrasting colours, but if you're going to do it um, in some really bright, vibrant colours like your Caifs or your Tulas or your Riley Blake, it's going to look completely different, isn't it? could just simply do it with solids and it'd look amazing. Your tropical fabrics for spring. Do you? Just £8.99. And, and then finally from Lou Orth today, the Charmed. Um, they're, they're all really clever patterns and she does talk you through exactly how to assemble them to get this secondary pattern effect uh, nine pounds and 49 pence for your Lou Orth charmed quilt pattern and again you can do it in all different sizes you can do it in baby in square in uh, large lap and in bed quilt as well so there's four different sizes there brilliant nine pounds and 49 pence fab shall we do what sorry yes 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 william morris um, Kat says I never get to do these and I'm not in for a week so I've put in some lovely gift ideas. Um, she keeps talking about gifts at the moment because she keeps asking everybody for housewarming gifts. What's that? You ordered some glasses last night? Oh some blue light ones from the gallery. That's a good idea. Well you need a case Kat. What about a lovely plush William Morris case? And it comes with a lovely golden lily, beautiful cloth as well, cleaning cloth. £7.99. It is lovely, isn't it, that it comes with a matching cloth as well. And it's William Morris, how indulgent. Now, it's a lovely soft brushed cotton, but then it's a hard, hard case. And... I really look for that. Where even when I'm giving my sunglasses in um, in a case, quite often when I buy them, they come in soft cases and they end up getting scratched or damaged or even broken if, um, yeah, I have them in the bottom of my handbag. And you can pay a lot of money for your glasses. So it's nice to be able to have a nice fancy William Morris case as well. Um, whether it be for a pair of reading glasses, whether it be for sunglasses, as I say. Um, I think Joe really liked these, didn't he? And they're nice for, for, for guys as well, really nice for gents. We've got the Strawberry Thief. Did you see the Strawberry Thief wellies now? Kat, in her area, she has got, uh, in her village, uh, like a, you know the marketplace on Facebook where people sell their things. And she's seen William Morris curtains, William Morris wellies, all sorts, they're very classy and cosy. They really are. Um, this is a beautiful William Morris glasses case. It's it's my favourite print. It's the Strawberry Thief. It's the one that we all know and all absolutely um, associate with William Morris. Uh, it's got the lovely little strawberries, the birds, and then inside, of course, you're getting your matching cloth as well. Matching cloth, just eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. They're all absolutely beautiful, really well made. Very, very plush, a nice hard case, but still super, super soft. Be a great gift for somebody, really great gift for somebody. Just £11.99. Then we have two others that aren't William Morris. This is a Blossom one. So if you loved our Sashko show, um, and if you loved Devon McTamini's show, if you love Japanese-inspired fabrics, which I know so many of you do, this is a Cherry Blossom one lovely blossom case again it comes with your your lovely um, cleaning cloth uh, that matches in absolutely perfectly it's 11.99 i think that's a really good price to you yeah cat said in my ear yeah 
And then this is the one that you, um, so on Kat's mood board for the living room, there was a picture of the great wave that her boyfriend had put on uh, that he wanted in the, um, in the house. And it was a great wave. £11.99. Go on. I don't think a rotary cutter would fit in. I don't think. Maybe a little one. Your little one would. There you go. Oh, right, I see. See, your 45 wouldn't, but your 28 millimetre blade would. Oh, good idea. Right, Kat's just trying to justify why she's put these into the show in case the management watch back and say, why did you have those? Because they're not sewing room tools and this was supposed to be a dedicated sewing room tool show, but Kat really wanted to do them. Um, so she said, there you go, it's, it's a tool case. It's a, a rotary cutter case now. And you get your great wave um, cloth as well. Right, we've got less than 10, well, we've got 10 minutes. So, we've got a brilliant value for money on a pack of scissors. How much would you expect to pay for a good quality pair of Janome scissors? Janome, brilliant brand, we all know. Eight and a half inch, all purpose, lovely quality scissors. What do you reckon? 20 pounds? 24.99 we've seen scissors for before. Um, okay, let's go really cheeky. And let's say it's an early bird, a pair of great quality scissors for what, 15 pounds? $14.99. You're also getting your snips. Remember, you're also getting your really lovely quality Janome snips. They're not like a little giveaway to go with the, the main pair of scissors. These are equally as useful. Are you ready for your price? I have no idea how we've got this at $12.99. Both. Both. Two pairs of scissors. £12.99. And you've got a really, really great brand here. This is Janome. Eight and a half inch general purpose, four and a half inch, and these are the ones with the fine point as well. So if you're snipping into your curves, if you're snipping with, like we saw with um, with uh, Alison with the plackets, and you, she wanted to get really, really close to the stitches but without going through them, this is where you get great control. Just to have on the side of your sewing machine, they're really useful. It says they're general purpose. At this price point, I'd be getting pairs for the kitchen, I'd be getting pairs for my paper crafts, I'd be getting a pair for the garden, I'd be getting a pair for, for the children who may be at homeschooling or doing crafts, I'd get a pair for Kieran to have in the garage or my husband, you could have a pair for, um, yeah, when I've got a garage. I haven't got a garage yet, but I will have a garage, yes. Um, also, I'd have a pair for with my wrapping paper. Just, you know, when you've got all your sellotape, your sellotape and your scissors and your wrapping paper in the cupboard. Ideal, 12 99 it's brilliant. And they are lovely quality as well. They're not micro serrated, they're not micro serrated, so you can sharpen these with your viscous scissor sharpener like Alison Marion suggested. £12.99, can't go wrong, can't go wrong. Those of you that have opened your order today, add that on, add that on, because that's a brilliant buy. Um, do you want to just recap the book? Because this was really popular. Over, well, hundreds um, came into stock and loads of these have already got these, way of over 100 of these sold out today. Um, so if you missed the show earlier, watch it back on YouTube because it was really, really inspiring. For anybody who wants to make a shirt, a smart shirt. Do not be put off by things like plackets. Even buttonholes, I know we didn't get around to do it on the show, but um, Alison said the descriptions, the images are fantastic in this book. Now it's designed for everybody. Designed for everybody. So you get five basic patterns, but then you get hacks and adaptations on that pattern. So example, this is a sweatshirt but you can change the sweatshirt pattern into a t-shirt, obviously your sweatshirt, into a tunic, into a hoodie, and into a jacket. So there are so many wardrobe builders just based around um, these five patterns. And then every single one of them, it doesn't just say, oh, here's a little hack, have a go at it yourself. Every single one has got really clear photographs, diagrams, really 
thorough instructions as you go through. The amount of messages that we had coming through about this, this um, book during the show, there's trousers. You can make jogger bottoms. You can make them into classic trousers. You can make them into tapered trousers as well. It's brilliant, isn't it? And then smart trousers for him, for her as well. Uh, button loops, the shirt. So I know that we don't get enough dressmaking in, especially for men. Um, so to be able to do a crisp white shirt like this was, I think, quite invaluable, actually. We definitely will be making reference to today's show a lot. Um, Alison added pin tucks down the front. She was talking about how to lengthen and shorten it, how to, um, to lengthen and shorten the sleeves as well. But this isn't just a shirt. You can make it into a dress with sleeves, with a granddad collar, with a, uh, this is like a lovely uh, Peter Pan style collar actually. But she also talked about if you want it more of a relaxed collar or are you going to be wearing it with uh, a bow tie or a tie and you want it really crisp. She talked about interfacing. It's very, very clear, extremely thorough, uh, and we did a deep old dive into this book. So it's definitely worth watching the show back and, of course, checking out as soon as you can because we ordered in as many as we possibly could for today's show. We've got less than 30 left. Oh, my word. We start with hundreds of these. The coats, by the way, are great as well. Imagine making your own coats like this. And it can be a short, zipped-through anorak, with a hood uh, and shaped high-low hem, like that. You can also do a full-length zip-through parka with shaped high-low hem, standing cuffs and collar and draw cord waist. Uh, you could do it as a fully lined button-up pea coat uh, and an unlined short button-up worker-style jacket. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I don't know how this is 10.99 to be honest. The amount of information that you get uh, and of course all of your patterns are included. Just trace those out as obviously they're all different. Um, co they're colour coordinated so you can see really quick, clearly which is which. Uh, and they've also got the size guides as well which sometimes are really difficult to distinguish but actually these are really, really clear. Just £10.99. We loved that book. Loved it. It's not our Kerry, is it? It is, so you're still here, Kerry. Kerry, I was met, I was shouting you out this morning saying, where's Kerry? I wonder if she's having the baby. Uh, Kerry's messaged in. Is the wildflower quilt pattern okay for beginners? Let's have a look. I don't see why not, because we did do the step-by-step um, -step guide. Oh, this is one with Sally Ann. Yeah, yeah, it will be. Let me see what it says on the quilt pattern. Um, but we did do a step by step with Sally Ann and she's very clear, isn't she? Um, it doesn't say who it's sort of aimed at, but because you've got the chance um, of doing it as a mini, as a baby quilt or as a lap quilt and all of the, the, the blocks fit together. So you, it doesn't matter if you just stop after doing four or six you can carry on and piece them together as you go so it's just about taking block by block and it's only one block and look it's a mixture of squares half square triangles rectangles this one looks a bit of a funny shape but um sally ann will definitely have explained that so absolutely kerry why not why not I'm all for adventurous beginners, so go for it. And remember, did you say it was the 20th of November that Sally Ann demonstrated that? I think it was the 20th of November. Have a look back on YouTube. Um, and if you do struggle to find it, let us know and we can find it for you. Um, so yesterday, oh, I had the best day ever. And we did some brilliant little games and competitions, one of which you were in with the chance of winning a brilliant prize. Are you ready to find out who won yesterday's shop and win? I wonder what that noise was. Was that your drum roll, Emma? Like that in my ear. I was thinking, what is that? Um, Doreen, you are the winner. Doreen Wade, you have won all of that amazing tulip pink fabric. You've won a creative grid ruler 
and you've won a beautiful uh, jelly roll book as well to get some inspiration of what to do with your Tula pink jelly roll. So excited for you. That will be on its way to you. One of our marketing team will probably contact with you, uh, contact you just to uh, to get your your details and your address. But thank you everybody who shopped yesterday. It was a really really busy day and um, it was great fun. So well done, Doreen. But thank you to everybody who did join me. Well, in fact, why don't say everyone who's thank you to everybody who's joined me over the last three days. We've had a really nice week. It's been lovely. It's been really lovely. Tomorrow, um, who's on tomorrow? I'm thinking it's John. John's back tomorrow. He's got lighting and tools tomorrow at eight o'clock. At nine o'clock, lovely Catherine Wright's going to be back with you, um, and she's going to be doing a beginner's guide to bag making. I think that's a book launch actually at nine o'clock. 10 o'clock, we've got books and fabric, lots of inspiration in there. 11 o'clock, mini patchwork projects with Catherine Wright. And then you're getting your daily dose of Yarn Lane and Catherine Wright is such a brilliant teacher. I shall be watching that show. She was only in yesterday, but she was a bit of a part-timer, wasn't she? She did one hour. She came in for Yarn Lane, had a cake and then went home. It was so lovely to see her though, so I definitely will be tuning in because she's a brilliant teacher. Brilliant knitting teacher, I need some help. Um, and all the Twink Knits uh, makes are so nice. They really, really are. Um, right, is there anything else that I need to mention? Have a look back through on the website, the patterns for Alison and Marion's um, projects, the tropical fabrics that we had at eight o'clock this morning were absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna be back on Sunday. I've got Mark Francis joining me on Sunday. We've got a gentleman's robe, which will be brilliant. And what else have we got? And a top, gentleman's robe. And a, I'm being told it's a, not just any top, it's a versatile top. Um, that's gonna be coming up with Mark Francis, but John's gonna be joining you tomorrow. Um, I've also got adjuster forms on Sunday. I've got more fabrics and I've got some lovely pre-cuts as well on Sunday, so I hope you can join me. But John is going to be coming up tomorrow's show. Thank you for the last three days. Thank you again for all of your amazing messages um, yesterday for my baby shower. I can't thank you enough. It was amazing. It was just so special. Um, but we are about to hand over to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers. Stay watching if you can. But if not, we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning with John Scott at 8 o'clock. See you then.